them. When am I getting the money? I mean your house rent. Landlord, please, give me the grace of this month. I promise to give it to you by next month, unfailingly. Caleb, it's not today that I have been hearing this next month from you. Your next month will become next year. It's over three months that your house rent expired. Young man, listen to me. Failure to give me that money by next month. I will make sure I seize one of your properties. Ah, Mr. MD, please don't do like that. I will give you the money. You know I don't even have valuable assets. Please, Mr. Landlord, don't embarrass me. My friend, will you shut up? Nya, 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 nya. Look at the way he is even talking. You don't have a valuable asset, so your wife is what? Valueless. My wife? I don't get you. Don't worry. You will get me when you refuse to pay that money by next month. You see that your beautiful wife, I will abduct her. She will be used as collateral until you pay your rent. And if you waste too much time to pay the money and redeem your wife, your name is sorry because I will impregnate her and she will automatically become my second wife. Gabriel, life has been so difficult for me. Just imagine how that crazy landlord humiliated me just because of my rent. If I were a rich man, he wouldn't have talked to me that way. This poverty of a thing is indeed a curse. I'm just fed up. Calm down, Caleb. Don't allow these words to get to you. Come on, you have a bright future. It's just a matter of time. All this will be over. You're a man of great potentials. You should learn how to be strong every day of your life. I really do understand what you're facing now. But I want you to see all these challenges as temporal obstacles that will be lifted soon. Please keep being the courageous man I know. Okay? Thank you so much, Gabriel. I really appreciate all your words of encouragement. You are one person that always revives my spirit when I feel despondent like this. Thanks, bro. You don't need to thank me. What are friends for? I'm not even happy seeing you going through all this. Gabriel, you have done so much for me. You have been a great support. Please don't allow my problems to be a burden. Just keep praying for me. That's the greatest support I need from you. Sure, fella. I will keep praying for you. Very soon, God will change your story. Amen. Sure, he will. So, you were saying something about the contract that Ben just got. Yeah, he said he needs assistance with the coding and some programming as well. So, I asked him to give us the job. And what was the, his response? He was reluctant initially, but later agreed. The guy is not even willing to cash out well for the job. We're just going to do it and manage the dime he's paying. The man I know hardly pays well. Let's just manage any token he gives us as you said. Myself really needs cash this period. So I have to grab any little I see. Yeah bro, we should. It's well. Charity. Do you know that your friend Cynthia is back in town? Yeah, she already told me she would be returning this month and that was the last time she phoned me. How did you know she's back? Actually, I ran into her at the mall today. Saw her with a strange man at the mall where they came for shopping. Hmm, fascinating. So, did you have any conversation with her, like chatting or hanging around? You make me laugh. Why are you sounding as if you don't know who Cynthia is? You have to see how she acknowledged me in a haughty manner. Hmm, are you serious? Please, Flora, tell me more about this. You can't believe that Cynthia was introducing me to a mystery man and was caressing and smooshing him while doing the introduction. Hmm, gosh. I felt embarrassed. I had to quickly leave that mall without buying what I wanted to buy. Cynthia is such a bimbo. What was she thinking? That she's not better than me because she now hangs out with a man at the mall. Nonsense and ingredients. <laughs> you must be kidding me. How can she display such childish attitude? Oh no, that was really embarrassing. Huh, poor Flora felt intimidated. Hmm, I don't blame her. It is not easy to go out with a man for shopping. I think there was a superiority there. Flora went to the mall all alone with her telephone bag, while Cynthia showed up at the same mall with a smoochable mystery man. Hey, yeah, uh, so sorry for the Romeo and Juliet's road. 
rough shot over poor flora sitting beside me charity you are crazy Cindy, why didn't you go to work today? Not really. They feel like going today. Cindy, what's your problem? Why are you taking your job for granted? What kind of lazy woman are you? Nowadays, you have sent yourself from work just to stay at home, cook and eat. What an awkward life. Cindy, if you don't want me to get mad at you, you better go to work tomorrow or else. Connor, please. You mustn't be this mean to address me. I'm your wife. Besides, it is my job. You don't know if I still find the job convenient. You don't find your job convenient, how do you mean? Cindy, a job that pays you salary of 60 figures is what you don't find convenient, eh? Tell me. Honey, you won't understand. I just feel like I'm under pressure doing that job. I don't find joy working with that company at all. Cindy, I'm not sure you are okay, cause if you are, you won't make such statements. Your boss keeps complaining about the way you are shanking from work lately. Cindy. If you continue this rubbish attitude and end up losing that job, I promise you that I won't help you get another job. And not only that, you will also see the other side of me in this house. Nonsense. Ta, my man, my nigga. What up, my guy? MD, the authentic landlord. I hear you, brotherly. Ah, man, how things now? You just disappeared for some time now. See as you are looking fresh. I bet cut soap for me. This guy is safe. You are just too funny. Between you and I, who looks fresh? Can't you see how your stomach is getting bigger? Imagine that. Evidence of big manhood. <laughs> you can say that again. My guy, God punish poverty. We need to chop money before money chop us. Sure things, my guy. How is your family, your sweet wife Dodo, and your carbon copy son, Jumbu? They are fine, no. My wife has gone to her shop as usual. Why my little man, JB, is at school? Not as much. So tell me, are you turning up for Felix housewarming this weekend? Sure. If I not show up, who will? Guy, we are going there to scatter that house. They will know we showed up. You can say that again, MD. I defeat you, my guy. So tell me what are our plans for the party? I mean, how are we showing up? Guy, first and foremost, we are going on designers, Gucci and Versace only, plus confound Rolex wrist watch for our hands. Get one better diamond chain, hang that one on the neck. Then we will now dilute our body with Cleave Christian. Then use D and G latest sunglasses cover our eyes. Then find better Tom Ford briefcase, join body. Finally, we will hire original Lexus, LC. Guy, you see all those chewing gum babes that would be present that day. We must make sure we sweep them off their feet. <laughs> MD, the authentic man. I defeat you, Joe. Guy, that means we are stealing that shoe now. Didn't you hear my last statement? We are sweeping them off their feet. Charity, you are now looking older than your age. Your husband isn't taking good care of you at all. Honestly, I don't like the way you are looking. Cynthia, you know my husband is still a student. It hasn't been easy for us ever since he started having kids. I have been toiling day and night to make sure my children don't go hungry. So Charity, what you're trying to tell me is that the reason for your looking this wretch all because your husband is still a student. What nonsense! Student my foot. He impregnated someone's daughter and makes her suffer in poverty all because he wants to become a graduate. That money he's spending on education is supposed to be the money he should be using to take care of you and his children. Charity, why did you marry such a selfish man? Cynthia, you won't understand. It was a mistake. You know I got pregnant out of wedlock. The young man wasn't ready to settle down. We were both still schooling then, when the heat from my parents became too much. He had to run around and raise some money, which he used to pay my dowry. And that was how we got married. But Charity, you fucked up. 
Since you know he is not financially buoyant, you should have secretly gotten rid of that child and move on with your life. Come on, you are still young to be going through all this suffering. Cynthia, what are you saying? That I should have aborted my child? God forbid. Why will I do that? And now you are struggling to take care of that child. Oh, Cynthia, please stop it. Can we just end this conversation here? It's all right. I will be on my way now. Just came to check on you. But I'm still disappointed that a 25-year-old is looking like a 50-year-old woman. I actually wanted to invite you for a dinner party tomorrow, but with this your appearance, I'm not sure I will still do that. Good night, ma. Charity, what is the problem? You should be sleeping at this hour. Why are you awake? Caleb, you are the problem and the reason why I'm awake. Really? How am I the problem? Caleb, when am I going to be free from this bondage you kept me? When will my sufferings be all over? Tell me. Charity, I thought we are done with this topic. No, we can't be done with this issue until the suffering is done. Charity, please I beg you, don't feel frustrated. I know you have been a great fighter and I appreciate all your efforts in supporting this family. I also know it can be frustrating at times, but I want you to continue being strong for me because very soon our story will change for good and you shall reap the fruit of your labor. Kelly, when will that be? Because for over six years now, I kept hearing very soon, but the soon comes longer than expected. Charity, I am not God. That soon lies in his hands. I believe he hears our cry and he will surely change our situation someday. Caleb, I'm tired. Had I known, I wouldn't have agreed to do this with you. I am now an object of mockery just because I chose to be a wife and a mother. I dropped out of school to have your child. I no longer have the time and resources to adorn myself as a woman. And yourself don't even care about your woman looking good like other women. Imagine someone said I look like a 50 years old woman when I'm just 25. Caleb, have you seen the kind of shame you brought on me? Oh my God. Charity, why are you saying such kind of words? Charity, you know I have been doing my possible best. Caleb, your best is not even good enough. You keep failing as the head of this family. Please let's end this discussion here. Can you please continue your sleep and let me be? Babes, you have to see Mirabel's wedding. Ha! It was lit. Our baby girl was glowing like the sun. You have to see her bone straight hair with frontal lace and the metallic luxury nails she did. What about her face beat? It was so charming. I heard she spent 300k just for her makeup. 300k just for makeup? It's expensive to you. The babes guy has the money so it isn't expensive to them. What about her silver sequest wedding gown? I heard she rented the gown for 500k. Hmm, she really spent a fortune on her wedding dress. I can't believe this. 500 what? What about the wedding cake? It was my first time in my life seeing a designer brand cake. Mirabelle's cake was a Versace cake of 10 tiers. If you see the five-star hotel, she lodged her bridal train, babes. I'm so happy I was among the bridal train. We had fun. Babes, imagine where they were pumping champagne like water. Mirabel really got a loaded man as a husband. I tap into her blessings. Me, Cynthia, I will never marry a poor man. No. My wedding must be the talk of the town. I must be a big girl like Mirabel. Congratulations to her. I wish her a happy marriage life. Because that's what matters most. Mind you, luxury wedding doesn't make her a big girl. She would be called a big girl if she makes a marriage colorful as well. What is this one saying? My friend, if you don't know what to say, keep quiet. Uh-uh, Cynthia, that was too harsh. Apologize. I don't need an apology. I'm still baffled that she still lacks manner at this age. Charity, see you later. I'm out of here. Flora, please, do not walk away. Pardon her manners, please. 
Leave her and let her go. She is so annoying, always making stupid statements. She is such a bad vibe. Gabriel, I don't know what to do. God knows I have been trying my best. This family issue is really eating me up. Caleb, your family should be your top priority. As they say, family first. I know you are fighting to be great, thereby building up your career. But that shouldn't make you to overlook your responsibility as a father and as a husband. You have to take care of your wife and kids. Gabby, you know I am an orphan. I am not as lucky as you, who has supportive parents. House rent, children's school fees, medical bills, feeding and all that are on me. I break down a lot these days because of the hectic life. I understand what you are going through. I know it's not easy. But I want you to make sure you take care of your wife. Because she has been so supportive. Investing all she gets into that home. That she barely has much to take care of herself. I know Charity is trying. She is indeed a strong woman. When I'm counting my blessings, I do count her face. But it's like someone is poisoning her mind lately. She is beginning to feel frustrated. Always brooding over our predicament. Maybe she's been enticed by other women around her. Come on, she's a woman and she would definitely want to look good like others. For over a month now, I noticed she hasn't made her hair. You ought not to overlook such. Come on, she's your wife. With the little you have, make her look good. Most women who are struggling mothers tend to be frugal when it comes to spending on adornment while she struggles to raise the kids. It's your own responsibility to take care of some of her feminine needs. Gabby, I will do all that when the money comes. Put a smile on her face. No, Caleb. You mustn't wait for the money to come. With the little you have now, put a smile on her face. Charity, I think it's high time I cut off my relationship with Cynthia. She's such a bad influence. She can't address people without condensation. She's so full of herself. Who doesn't know that Cynthia is a lady that has her head in the clouds. Nevertheless, I think she got some good vibes. What nonsense good vibes? You better separate yourself from that idiot before she ruins your marriage. Oh, come on, Flora. Am I a baby? Why will I allow her to control my life to the extent of ruining my marriage? I have known Cynthia for a long time. I know she has this crazy attitude, and I already know when to draw the limit in our relationship. Is she wiser than me? I'm just warning you because she has been all over you these days. Be careful with that mad girl. Okay, madam. Don't know why both of you are just behaving cat and rat. I dislike her character. Jumpu, I don't like the way your father is treating me. You are no longer a baby. Why don't you talk to your father to change his behaviors? Mommy, what happened? What did my father do this time around? Haven't you been saying how he has been humiliating me before his friends? Imagine making your wife an object of ridicule before your friends. Jumpu, tell me what your father is doing to me. Is it fair? Sorry about that, mom. But tell me more about this. Why are they ridiculing you? They were mocking my appearance the other day. They said my eyes looked like that of an owl. Imagine, the other day I wanted to go out with your father for a wedding, but he refused. Why did he refuse? He said I am ugly, that his rich friends will mock him because of me. Jambu, can you imagine how MD is treating me as a slave? Sorry, mom. Don't worry. I will talk to him. But mom, I want to ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. What is the age difference between you and my dad? Your dad is three years older than I am. Now I see. You are the one that caused all this. Why did you marry a man who is just three years older than you? Come on, as a woman, you're supposed to marry a man older than you by 20 or 30 years. Eh? Jumpu, what did you just say? 20 or 30 years? 
Oh, come on. I know you are still a child, but don't say ridiculous things. I know it sounds ridiculous to you, but this is an actual fact. A woman should marry a man who is 20 or 30 years older than her, so that by the time she starts losing her beauty, the husband will start losing his eyesight. Had he been my dad is far older than you, by now he would have started losing his eyesight and won't notice if you are beautiful or not. Mommy, are you surprised? Too much brain, they worry me. <laughs>
Hello, good afternoon, sir. How may I help you? I am Mr. MD by name, the landlord of House 55 at Progress Estate. I came here to lay a complaint. Okay, I'm all yes, Mr. MD. Good. Before now, we have been receiving monthly electricity bill that is not more than 10,000 Naira. But this month, we got an exorbitant bill of 30,000 Naira. In fact, I was flabbergasted when I saw the bill. I came here to understand the reason for the sudden increase of our house monthly electricity bill. Young man, you know we are in the rainy season. Sleet storms and high winds have damaged so many power lines, thereby causing frequent power outages lately. In order to fix this, we have spent a lot improving the connection quality of conductors and also installing a lot of capacitor banks along transmission lines so these and many more contributed to the sudden increase of your electricity bill for this month young man i don't even understand all the vocabularies you have been vomiting here white and storm damage power lines how is that my fault so i should pay for the havoc that nature cost is that what you are telling me please calm down and understand this you are not the only one suffering this likewise many others Hopefully, in subsequent months, the bill may reduce. I mean, going back to the usual. Okay, so let's do this this way. For now that the bill is hiked up like this, can I subscribe for low current? I mean, you guys should be giving my bill the low current henceforth. Besides, almost all the tenants in my house are poor people. They only have yellow bulbs in their rooms. They don't have even electrical appliances. So tell me, Oga, how much is your low current? Are you kidding me? So, Caleb, you said Ben sent you 30k. Yeah, he did. I was even expecting more than that from him because that job was so stressful. It took me more than two weeks to finish it. True, dear. I thought he would pay up to 50k. That man can be stingy most times. Don't mind Ben. He's an economical person. Anyway, I appreciate the little he paid. Besides, he always assists me in getting other contracts. He's a nice man, though. Yeah, Ben is a nice man. Just that he's kind of stingy. So you're going to use that money to complete your rent? No, I want to use it to pay for an online training that I applied for. Caleb, another online training? Come on. How can you be wasting money on such? You've acquired a lot of certificate already. Why are you still spending more on that? Caleb is like you prioritize your career over your family. Come on, your family needs should be first. Gabby, both my family and my career are important to me. The course is just a two weeks program. I am not just after certificates. Rather, I want to expand my knowledge of computer science. I want to become a tech expert. Adding value to myself will result to adding value to my family. Likewise, giving them a better life. I understand this, Kele, but always try to put your family first. Using your house rent to acquire a certificate is not wise. What if your landlord throws you out of his house? Where will you keep your family? Or do you want them to be roaming around the street? God forbid, it will never get to that extent. Though my landlord is a crazy man, but he has kind heart. Besides, I'm expecting a job from a friend next week. I believe before the end of this month, I will pay the balance of my rent. Okay, I know it has never been easy. The Lord is your strength. Please, as I always say, family first. Make sure you take good care of your family as much as you can. God will help you, Caleb. Flora, how is your mother's health now? She's better now. Thanks for your concern. I came to check on you yesterday morning, but you weren't around. Yeah, that's true. I went out in the morning, came back very late. Okay, you went to buy goods, I guess. No, I went out with Cynthia. You went out with Cynthia? To where? We went for a wedding party. Cynthia's friend wedding, to be precise. She invited me for the wedding. I was glad I went. We had fun to the fullest. The bride was so stunning. She was a beauty to behold. The wedding was a classic one. I really enjoyed myself. Charity, I am not happy with the way you rapport with that lady. Don't allow her to mislead you. Stop listening to her sweet talks. 
Flora, I know you dislike Cynthia, but she is a nice person. You both should stop all this hating. Charity, I do not hate Cynthia. I just don't want her too close to me because I dislike her attitude. She's too proud for my liking. I know she has insolent attitude, but if you look beyond her bad sides, you'll realize that she is nice and caring. She's nice and caring, maybe to you, because the Cynthia I have known has been so rude. What pisses me off about her most times is her bluntness, but I love her regardless. I think you should also find a reason to like her too. Maybe until I see that reason. For now, she isn't my friend. You better be careful with that lady. Welcome, honey. How was work today? Work was fine. Good to hear that. I mean, you look so tired. Yes, I am. Just want to eat, shower, and go to bed now. Hope there's dinner. Sure. I prepared fried plantain and vegetable sauce. Just go have your bath while I dish out the food. Okay, thanks. Cindy, did you go to work today? Um, we didn't have much at work today. So who permitted your absence? No one. So you were just sitting at home throughout today, doing nothing? No, I was busy. I went to the market, bought some food items, came back home and prepared three dishes. You are not okay, Cindy. Others were at work today Why you chose to stay at home cooking all day. Now listen to this. Lazy women's education hands in the kitchen. I don't know what is interesting about this cooking. Cindy, you better get your priorities right. Excuse me. Welcome, baby. How was business today? Fine. Where are the kids? They are inside sleeping. Hope they had dinner before sleeping. Yes, I made something for them. Okay. Did they bath before sleeping? Yes, I bath them. What about their school uniforms? I soaked in the bathroom before leaving. Did you wash them? I washed them this evening, but haven't dried them. I just folded them inside the bucket in the bathroom. Why did you not dry them? Do you want them to smell? Actually, I forgot to do that. Can you hear yourself? You forgot to spray the clothes you wash. That's how you always do your thing. Please excuse me, let me go dry my children's clothes before they start smelling. Gabby, you're just getting worse these days. Come on. How can both of us be sleeping in the same bed over a month now and you have never bothered to touch your wife? Gabriel, is that normal? Very much normal. I don't see any bad about that. It's sex food. You know I hate hearing those words. Gabby, sincerely speaking, I am not happy about our sex life in this house. I am beginning to doubt your faithfulness in this relationship. Gabriel, tell me the truth. Are you still physically attracted to me? <laughs> Flora, you sound funny most times. How can a man marry a woman who he isn't physically attracted to? Flora, you know my predicament. Don't make me look stupid. Gabriel, don't give a damn about that. It is your own problem. Stand to your feet and deal with it. I can't keep suffering because of your predicament. I'm fed up. I need a change. So what do you want me to do? As I always say, look for a solution to your problem. Good night. Pablo, when are you paying me my house rent? Oh, God, landlord, I am very broke this period. The money I'm expecting this month hasn't come. Anytime it comes, I will pay you your money. <laughs> Wonder shall never cease to happen in this, my house. So your landlord should sit down and continue waiting for you and your indefinite money. Pablo, you are a Nikon poop. Ah, oh, God, landlord, take it easy, please. You know I am just a hustling guy. And things are very hard in this country. Really? Things are hard? Oga oh landlord, the economy recession is really affecting me. Shut up! 
see it's more like economy recession if business moguls like me are complaining about economy recession but why tapas like you will also be complaining you don't have money but each time that your american girlfriend comes to visit you buy her full chicken and red wine you think i don't see all that oh landlord my girlfriend is my top priority i can't trade her for anything i buy her anything she wants so that she won't leave me for someone else pablo you are more than stupid now listen i give you just seven days to pay your rent or else you see that your top priority girlfriend that is shocking you i will kidnap her anytime she comes here she will become a kidnapped collateral until you foot your bills let's watch out and see okalalo tell me that this is a joke and not a threat don't worry when you see her inside my house with pregnancy come back and ask me this question no nonsense and ingredients <laughs> coming to pick up your goods i will send my sister that reminds me let me call her before i forget hello ada where are you now okay when will you be going home please stop by at that mama's shop where we used to buy food things i bought some food items there just tell the mama that felicia sent you She will give you the food items, all right? Let us see. So, Mama, how is my balance? Young lady, why do you like addressing me as Mama? I have told you severally not to address me that way. Simply call me Charity. That's my name. Mama, I can't call you by your name because I respect elders. You look like my mother age mate and I can never call my mom by her name. So why will I call you by your name? Are you serious that I look like your mother's age mate? Yes, I am. You should be in your 40s, am I correct? Do I look like a 40 years old woman? Oh yes, so I'm sorry I can't call you by your name. I will just keep calling you, Mama. Have a nice day. I don't understand. Why are they saying I look too old for my age? I'm really bothered about this. Charity, it is me. Haven't I told you to, but you got angry because you felt I just wanted to ridicule you. Charity, you are stressing your ass out. You are a woman. You shouldn't be walking from down to dogs. You hardly have time to pamper yourself. Quit all this strenuous work and take good care of yourself. You will see how fresh you will become. But you know, my husband is still a student, a final year student to be precise. He has a lot on his shoulders this period. If I abandon my business, how will I take care of my kids? Charity, it isn't your responsibility to be taking care of the children. It is your husband's responsibility. The children, do they bear your father's name? And they bear his name? They are his burden and not yours. He is not taking care of you and also not taking care of your children. Struggle less and have time for yourself. If he likes, let him be doing nothing and allow his children starve. Let him man up and take up his responsibilities. Listen, I'm not happy about this, but I will accept my fate. My friend, will you shut up? You will accept your fate as if you aren't the cause of it. Now that the company has sacked you, you have enough time to continue mooning around. You have always wanted to become a housewife. Here is a golden opportunity. Indulge yourself with food. Cause that's how you know, cooking. You came to this world to cook and eat. I am disappointed in you. Listen, before I started that job, I told you what my passion is. You cajoled me into doing that job. I was doing the job because I wanted to please you. I never wanted you to label me as a lazy woman. Listen, can you please stop imposing your will on me all the time? Cindy, you are never serious in life. That's why I keep pushing you to become a better person. I am PhD holder. Therefore, my wife should be a prestigious woman. So Vincent, you think I am not a prestigious woman because I am not in agreement with you in doing a white collar job. Vincent, I have dreams and passion before I married you. Please stop making me look stupid. I am not a lazy woman. You know what? 
I will have to end this discussion here yeah, because the more I listen to your stream of gibberish, the more I get irritated. It is your life. So do whatever you want with it. Excuse me. day please i came to see charity okay you are welcome she is busy in the kitchen just have your seat while i go call her all right thanks i guess you are her brother relative i'm her husband really wow sorry if i didn't greet you well initially i am cynthia by name charity's friend okay nice to meet you cynthia you are welcome once again i am caleb please have your seat all right thanks Wow, Cynthia, you are here. When did you come? Just now. I'm even just having my seat now. Oh, okay. Welcome then. Baby, I'll be right back. Wanna go check Gabriel. We have somewhere important to go this morning. See ya later. All right. Please um help me remind Flora to send me those items. Okay, madam. Your wish is my command. Take good care of yourself, sweetie. And also take good care of your friend. Cynthia, do have a great day. You too, Mr. Caleb. Wow, Charity, your husband is so young and handsome. Gosh, I mistook him for your sibling. But wait, too. Charity, why is your husband looking younger than you? You better touch up before another woman snatches him away from you. Cynthia, please, spare me that talk. I don't like it. Stop saying insensitive words. My friend, go and sit down. You get angry easily. <laughs> Mommy, I just discovered something this morning and I want you to make it clear to me. What did you discover and what do you want me to make clear to you? Mommy, that time you sent me to go give Mr. Caleb's wife that frying pan. I saw her crying, staring at a mirror in her hand. So what's surprising about that? Haven't you seen someone crying before? Mommy, my surprise is that she was crying and staring at a mirror. That's the same thing Oga Pablo's girlfriend did the other day. I also saw her looking at herself in a mirror while crying. I just want to understand the reason why women stare at mirrors when crying. Is it that they want to know if they are beautiful? when crying jumbo you are a child suck as a child and mind your business mommy do you know what is going through my mind now what is the nonsense going through your mind i can't wait to see you cry bitterly you have a very big eyes i don't think crying will fit you thank god that we also have mirror maybe you too should check out how you will look when crying. <laughs> Baby, I am so happy our final year exams will end this week. Oh, I can't wait to wrap this up. Yeah, guy, you've been a strong man all through. I really admire your courage. Very soon, you'll be a great man. Amen. Thanks, Gabby, including you too. You are a man of great potentials. I have really learned a lot from you. Thanks for your encouragement. Oh, come on. You don't need to do that. What are friends for? So tell me how far with the training. Going well. Have really learned a lot. So glad I applied for that course. Never knew web development was that broad. Once I'm done with exams and clearance, there is another training I will be going for. And it will cost me a fortune. I pray God provides because I need to get that program. Hmm. Caleb. The way you are pushing this your career seems like you want to acquire every knowledge about IT. If possible, dear, knowledge is a principal thing. I just want to be a tech expert, as I always say. So help me God. Amen. Charity, you shouldn't be listening to what people say. Come on, you are a mature woman. Stop allowing criticism to get to you. It is normal for people to say annoying things to others. 
but don't let their insensitive words to steal your joy. Flora, I want you to tell me the truth. Am I looking too old? No, Charity, you are not looking bad. I know how stressful your business is. Most times you look worn out because of the stress. And that's why I keep telling you to make sure you have enough sleep every day. Try as much as possible to go to bed on time. Exercise, eat well, and be happy. Stop wearing your problems as a veil. Depression kills you. Stop thinking. But Flora, you know how difficult life has been for me. How do you expect me not to think? Charity, please stop thinking. It is not in our power to change situations. It is in God's hands at the appointed time. It will cause his light to shine on us. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Imagine, my husband is now looking younger than me. Caleb that is older than me by seven years. I am not surprised, Sha, because himself is always indoor, studying all his life. He doesn't even think much as I do. He doesn't struggle under the sun as I do. Why won't he look young? Charity. I see you are already allowing this to affect you psychologically. Who told you that your husband isn't working hard? He is a man. Come on, do you expect him to be crying before you will confirm that he's struggling to take care of his family? Caleb is a career man, just like my husband, Gabriel. Most times it's not easy for them, but they keep pushing. Charity, please be patient though. No condition is permanent. You are even lucky that you have such an industrious husband with great potentials. Please just be patient, okay? So baby, tell me, have you accepted my proposal? I really need you in my life. Charles, you are actually a nice man, but I think we shouldn't rush things into a romantic relationship. Let's just be friends and see what the future holds. Oh no, please don't waffle on this. Give me a definite answer. I really need this to be something serious. Hmm, something serious as how? Cynthia, I really need a companion, not just a girlfriend. From the very first day I set my eyes on you, I admired you greatly. I just want you to share your positive vibes with me. Just give me your heart and you will never regret it. Trust me. Chance, I've given so many others my heart. Trusted them, but in return I got heartbreaks. Therefore, I'm skeptical of your professed love. If I would love again, it would be under an assurance. Really? Okay, what assurance would that be? I won't say much for now, but I just want you to know that all I need is an assurance. Yeah, assurance of your love. Assurance? Alright, let me try to get this. Oh, come on, stop that pretense. You already got it. <laughs> Charity, what is going on in our marriage? Why is this relationship getting borer every day? We hardly sit down and have conversation these days. We don't eat and bath together like before. Even our sexual life is going downhill. Charity, if I have wronged you in any way, please speak up. I will go down on my knees and apologize. Caleb, why do you like disturbing me with trivial talks like this whenever I want to rest? You know I have been busy all through the day. Why won't you allow me to have a peaceful night's rest? Charity, I am so sorry if I am disturbing your sleep, but I really want you to make this clear to me. I want you to tell me why the sudden change of attitude. It's really bothering me. Charity, I love you from the depths of my heart. Please, tell me how I have wronged you. I promise to apologize. Caleb, go to bed. There is no problem. Stop disturbing me. Charity, you are saying there is no problem when you have been denying me of my rights over a month now. Oh, Charity, please stop treating me like this. I am sorry for any wrong I might have done. Please talk to me. Kelly, why are you disturbing me now? You are such an insensitive man. You know how hectic my days are and you still expect me not to sleep just because you are having stupid urge. Charity, I know. I appreciate all your efforts in supporting this family. So, soon, all this suffering will be over. Trust me, baby. You won't do this forever. Please, let's continue to share our love for each other. Hell no. If you want me to actively perform my wife duties in the other room, then you should be ready to take full responsibility of your duties as the head of this house. I can't stress myself throughout the day and also stress myself at night when I should be resting. You have succeeded in deforming my appearance. Now you want to kill me with disturbance. Please let me be. Don't ever wake me up again at night. Rubbish.
Good day, Madam Selomina. Good day, Jumbu. How may I help you? Madam Selomina, I am not happy this afternoon. Oh. Young man, why are you not happy? Because I ought to get all the questions on the English test today. But you marked down one question. That means you didn't answer that question correctly. No, Madam Selomina. I answered the question correctly. I wrote, give him him book, and I failed it. Yes, you are wrong. It is not give him him book. It is give him his book. Uh-uh, Madam Selomina. Why are you trying to confuse my intelligence? But you told us that give her her book is correct. So, why is give him him book not correct? My dear, that is the rules of English grammar. It is give her a book and give him his book. Hope I have made this clear to you. Madam Philomena, it's like I will stop trusting this English language. The more I try to understand it, the more it will be playing with my intelligence. It will be doing my head. Why is that English language always favor your gender? Anyway, I don't need to talk much. I am done learning English language. Maybe I should consider learning Chinese or Spanish. I hate anything that stresses me. Have a nice day, Madame Philomena. Mommy, you won't understand. I have been adhering to all his instructions just to make peace reign in our home. But Vincent keeps imposing his will on me as if I'm a little child that knows nothing. I have my dreams, vision, and passion before I marry him. Why doesn't he want to support me to achieve those dreams? Mommy, I have supported him through difficult times, even in his career. But Vincent doesn't give me listening ears whenever I'm trying to tell him things about myself. He always calls me names like lazy, foolish, unserious. Mommy, just imagine. You have to see the way he talks to me. Mommy, better warn him. Mommy, you know I suffer from cardiovascular disease. I don't need anything that will hurt my emotion. Please talk to him to change. Happiness is all I need and not money. All right, mom. We'll talk later. Have a nice day. Madam Charity, please be fast. Oh, please, just be patient, okay? The soup is almost done. I just put in the vegetables now. It's just for it to boil for two minutes. All right, have you packaged my Eba and Semovita? Yes, dear. I have done that already. Do you have cold drinks? I mean soft drinks. No, I don't have soft drinks today. I have Zobo. Wow, you sell Zobo too? Yeah, do you like it? Very well, I guess you make them yourself. Yes, I do. How many do you want? Just one bottle. How much is it? Just 100 naira. All right, let me have it. Good day, young lady. Good day, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I am Sharon by name. Won't be bad if I get to know your name. All right, Sharon. I am Caleb. Have a nice day. Baby, how are you doing? I'm fine. Came to inform you that I have gone to pick the kids from school. I made lunch for them. They are eating now. Please, when you are less busy, you can go check on them. Just got an urgent call I need to attend to immediately. See you later. Take care, baby. I love you. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. Madam Charity, is that your husband? Yes. Any problem? Wow. Your husband is so handsome and sexy. Hmm. He doesn't fit you at all. I beg your pardon, young lady. Watch your tongue.
Hello, sweetie. What's up? This one you are sitting like this. Hope no problem. There is. Yes. Serious one for that matter. Really? Okay, let me sit and hear you out. Baby, what is it? Gabriel, you are the problem. Me? Yes, you. Gabriel, why have you decided to punish me in this marriage? What wrong have I done to deserve this punishment? Baby, but you know this predicament is beyond my control. Flora, you know I have tried my best possible. No, Gabriel. You haven't tried the best. Yes, stand to your feet and look for solutions to your problem. Alright, please, but you know you have been my backbone. I can't handle this without you. Please, I want you to support me to defeat this. Gabriel, I will always have your back. Gabriel, I love you so much. And that is why I have endured this extent. As your wife, your problem is also mine. Gabby, please, let's do something about this because I'm fed up. Shh, it's alright. I will. <laughs> Charlie, what are you still thinking of? Give her the assurance now. She be the assurance she want. Oh boy. Just find one for the assurance, give her. Guy, is this kind game that I even like playing? MD, that babe is a gold digger. She wants to rip where she did not sue. Don't that fire her. If you see the kind of expensive dish she was ordering when I took her out. Guy, this babe almost dried my pocket that day. See, guy, you see that lady? By the time I finish dealing with her, I pray she won't commit suicide. <laughs> no go keep her CPQ, no. She be she want assurance. She go see assurance run. Don't worry. I have gotten a toy to play with. Mumu gear. <laughs> Chai. Charles, are you sure you will make heaven like this? See this zombie. Me and you who will pass. Get out. <laughs> For how long am I gonna do this? When will my suffering end? My husband now looks younger than me. Imagine someone who is seven years older than me. Oh, life, why have you decided to treat me this way? My mates are still looking young and youthful. But take a look at myself. Too much stress and toiling makes me look older than my age. I am just 25, but suffering has made me look 50. Caleb himself doesn't even care about this. He doesn't even look at my appearance. All he is after is that I should keep working hard to feed his children. I don't blame him. I blame myself for agreeing to settle down with him when I know he has nothing. Marrying a poor man is such an agony. Oh, charity, when will all this end? I feel like running away. Yes, I need to leave Caleb and his children and go to a faraway place where I can take good care of myself. I'm just tired. I never knew this is how tough this journey would be. Raising up kids isn't an easy task, especially when one's partner isn't financially buoyant. Some women are in their homes enjoying, eating, and living well without stressing themselves. Their spouse takes good care of them and their kids. But here I am walking my ass out every blessed day. Oh God, I am really tired. Please come to my rescue before I run away from my home. What's up, Caleb? This one I didn't see you for days now. Hope no problem. No probes, fella. I was just busy hustling for money. This week has been a hectic one. Hmm. No Hope you didn't attend classes this week. No, we just finished our exam, so nothing much on campus for now. So I have to use this opportunity to hunt for money. Being a family man and a student the same time is not easy at all. Oh yes, it's not an easy task. I understand, fella. God will help you. Amen. I need God's help, honestly. Sometimes it's tiring and makes one feel like giving up. But by His grace, we will keep pushing. Because we believe that very soon, all this will be a story to tell. Oh yes, this phase of life will soon pass. Just keep being strong, bro. The Lord is your strength. Amen. Thanks, fella. So tell me, what have you been up to? I mean, what job are you managing for now? My dear, your man here has been engaging in so many jobs this week, have been on different construction sites, doing different kinds of jobs, bricklaying, painting, tilling, cleaning, and so many others. I am just following some of my guys who do these jobs. After assisting on site, any little they give me at the end of the day, 
your man will just pocket that one. What a man go do? To be a man is not easy. That's so. To be a man is not easy. God will continue to strengthen us. Amen. No. Oh. Charity, why didn't you come for Bible study yesterday? I was tired after yesterday's sales, so I just went home to rest my head. How was the service? It was great. We learned so much last night. I was very glad I went. Ah, I wish you were there. But Charity, maybe every Wednesday, you should just cook small quantity of food so that you'll be able to close on time. I'm not happy that we keep missing Wednesday Bible study programs. Flora, you won't understand. Most times, my customers come at night, and if I don't finish selling whatever I cooked for a day, it might soar the following morning, and that will be a great loss for me. It might sir. Do you have a fridge or freezer to preserve them? Flora, I don't have. I have asked Caleb to help me get one, but he keeps telling me that he doesn't have money to spend on that. Hmm. My dear, you won't understand. Your friend here is going through hell. Flora, I regret doing this with Caleb. I, I, I feel like... Shh. Keep quiet, Charity. How many times have I told you to stop brooding over this problem? Caleb is trying that he doesn't cater for all your needs does not make him incompetent. It isn't easy for him to. Being a student and a family man, do you think it is easy? He pays his school fees, his kids' own, house rent, other bills, and also provides money for the upkeep of his children. Isn't he trying? Flora, please, stop defending Caleb. He isn't doing well. Say the truth. Don't you have a fridge in your house? You were the one that told me that the other day that your husband bought a laptop for you to use for your online business. Why is my own man not supportive? Flora, please, call a spade a spade. Charity, comparison is not good though. Don't compare your man with another. All fingers are not equal. I know, all fingers are not equal. But my own shouldn't be the shortest. Oh no, Charity. You better stop all this. Not allow anyone to mislead you. Charity, your husband is not a lazy man. He is hardworking. He is educated with good skills. He's a man of great potentials and he has been striving hard to make sure he gets to the top. If I were you, I would gladly suffer with such man that has great vision. I would be his greatest support and wouldn't relent in praying for him. Most widely and successful couples in our society today started from the scratch. Yeah, some experienced bad times before they got where they are today. Charity, be patient with your husband though. No condition is permanent, as I have said. Good, Angel. How may I help you? You sound cool. <laughs> of course, I am a cool man. Besides, I am also cooling my temperature with this chill beer. Hope you don't mind joining me. I'm okay, thanks. Please, can I know your name? Sure. My name is MD. Okay, Mr. MD. I want to ask you a question. Wow, go ahead, pretty lady. I have all ears. Mr. MD, are you single? What a wonderful question. I am absolutely and perfectly single. Wow. Okay, thanks. Sweetie, baby Dave, please come over here. Baby, let's sit here. This young man is single. Ta, what is going on here? What do you both think you are doing? Oh, I see the both of you want to add Romeo and Juliet in my front. Thunder plus a little bit of lightning. Fire the both of you. Charity, guess who I saw at the mall yesterday? Who? Angela. She came to shop at the mall with her husband and kids. Hmm, so Angela is married? Yes, so she is married with two kids. My dear, if you see the kind of expensive car they dropped to the mall yesterday, black color confirmed Range Rover Sports, clean and branded new tier leather car. My dear, our baby girl is on money. Are you serious? The same Angela I know that can't read and write. Who reading and writing help? Imagine what she is saying. 
as a woman for you to succeed you don't need education all you need is a pretty face and a banking body our baby girl got those physical attributes i'm not surprised she jumped beta maga the babe makes sense i heard her husband is a pilot hmm a pilot wow she is so cute yes so the babe is on money i thought from her blessing my dear if you see how fresh she looks now her skin like milk babe her husband don't use money wash her from head to toe the babe is glowing like the sun what about her kids oh my goodness those children are so fresh like today's bread they look like creatures that sun doesn't touch hey babe money good though. may god punish poverty yes so god punish poverty my sister Cindy, what's wrong with you? Vincent, I'm not strong. Please, can you take me to the hospital? When did this start? This morning. I just started having chest pain. Later, I developed internal cold and severe headache. Please, take me to the hospital. Alright, let me call our family doctor first. Have you eaten? No, I'm not hungry. Lost my appetite totally. So you haven't eaten anything since today? Yes. Cindy, you need to eat something. Let me go get you something to eat first. After eating, we will go see the doctor immediately. Okay, dear. Thanks. I will be back soon, okay? All right, there. Cynthia, thank you so much for those clothes you bought for me. Every one of them fits me perfectly. God bless you. Bless you too, dear. Don't worry. I'll keep buying more for you anytime I go for shopping. Wow. Thanks, dear. You are welcome. My dear, let me give you some gist. Hmm, madam gist. I'm all ears. Babe, that guy I went out with last weekend is a loaded guy. Babe, if you see the bands he came with, what about his Gucci outfit? From his head to toes, we are all Gucci. Babe, in fact, I was swept off my feet. <laughs> Cynthia, hmm. the way these young men sweep you off your feet, eh? They shouldn't sweep you inside the gutter one day. <laughs> <laughs> Charity, you are stupid. Nonsense and ingredient girl. <laughs> but babe, that guy too makes sense so. You are always lucky meeting rich guys. How I wish I'm that fortunate. Charity, it is you that choose to suffer. If you decide to touch up and upgrade your class, you will definitely find stinkingly rich men to roll with. Keep dulling yourself, no open eyes. Are you saying I should leave my marriage? Madam, that's not what I mean. I said leave suffering and touch up. Enjoy life because life is too short to waste in boredom. Baby, this one you are sitting quietly like this. Hope no problem. So sitting quietly is now a problem, isn't it? Baby, don't get me wrong. Ever since we got back from church, you have been moody. Come on, you also refuse to eat with the kids and I. Baby, tell me what's wrong. Caleb, nothing is wrong. All right. Can you please accompany me to go see a friend this evening? Which friend are you talking about? A cosmate. He is celebrated his birthday today and he invited me. He invited you alone, I guess. So why are you asking me to go with you? No, baby. He equally invited my family because he knows I'm married. He has been longing to meet you and the kids. Steve is a very good friend whom you would love to meet. Caleb, I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm not going. Why? My kids are going to school tomorrow. I need to get their uniforms arranged. I also need to wash some of their clothes this afternoon because I may not be chanced within the week. So, please go to where you were invited. Don't wait for me, please. Charity, this is not excuse, okay? Okay, don't worry. I will help you iron the children's uniform when we return. And as for the laundry, I will do that before leaving the house tomorrow morning. Charity, I really want you to go with me. It's been long we attended occasions together. Caleb, I am not going. Period. Charity, this dress you are wearing is so beautiful. I haven't seen it on you before. Yeah, it's a new dress. To be precise, someone gave it to me as a gift. Not just this. There are many. Wow, the person must be so generous. This particular dress must cost a fortune. Sure it does. It's very beautiful. So, so beautiful. Oh, I like it. 
I know you do, and I would have loved to give you some of those dresses. But what? Never mind, Flora. Try to spill it out. But what? But you might not like to wear them. Why would I like them? I mean, they're beautiful as this one. They are all beautiful, but you might not like them because of the person that gave them to me. Really? So tell me who gave it to you. Cynthia. She bought them for me when she went for shopping with her boyfriend. What? Cynthia bought clothes for you and you accepted them? Charity, I said that you don't like your peace of mind. Keep following her until you cry, I die no. Young man, when am I getting the balance of your rent? I will pay it into your account before weekend. Caleb, I heard you clearly. You said before weekend though. Yes, Mr. MD. You will definitely get it before weekend. All right, no problem. You can go. So, Pablo, when am I getting yours? Oh, God, Lord, please, have patience. I will pay you. I haven't been paid salary where I'm working. Please, have patience. Pablo, my name is not patience. So, don't expect me to be patient. In fact, in my lineage, there is no one that bears that name, patience. Therefore, that trait has never been in my blood. Pablo, you better pay me my house rent before I squeeze out mineral salt from you. The mat, do I look like an object for caricature? Ah, Oga okay, landlord, please calm down. It hasn't gotten to this now. I will pay you your money. Do you know what, Pablo? Just give me collateral. Something I will hold on to while waiting for you to pay the money. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Oga okay, landlord, collateral? But I didn't borrow any money from you. You are not serious for saying that. You didn't borrow any money, but you are owing me money. What is the difference? All right. What do you want as collateral? I only have box TV and DVD player in my house. Which of them do you want? I don't need any of those things. I need your girlfriend, Nancy. Yes, I am taking her for collateral. Ah, Oga okay, landlord. Which kind of play is that? Imagine, you want me to give you my girlfriend. What do you want to do with her? Never mind, young man. Just give her as collateral. He that wants her knows what to do with her. Charity, I saw your message last night, but I wasn't strong. I told my hobby to put a call across to you. Hope he did. Yeah, he called me that night. All right. Hope you have gotten the goods. Yeah, I got them this morning. Okay, that's fine. Hi, babes. What's up? Hi, dear. Welcome. Good day, Cynthia. Hello, Flora. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good, baby girl. So, babes, I brought good news, okay? Guess what? Cynthia, please just go ahead and tell us. Patricia is getting married this Saturday. Sorry, which Patricia? Patricia Isaac that used to be our cosmate. Okay, she lived in the same hostel with us. The fair pretty girl with British accent. Oh, okay. Now I remember her. Wow, congratulations to her. Flora, don't you know her? I do. I'm happy for her. May God bless her union. Babes, we are sure going for that wedding now. Really? But she never invited us now. That doesn't mean anything. Let us go. Listen, this is not just ordinary wedding of common people. Her husband is a rich politician. Gosh, you have to see her diamond engagement ring. I heard they will be traveling to Dubai for their honeymoon. Chai, our girl is very lucky. Come on, let's go and have fun. I would have loved to be there, but she didn't invite me. When I got pregnant and dropped out of school, she was one of those that mocked me. I heard so many bad things she said about me. And ever since then, she hasn't even called me or I don't think I should go. Because it is obvious that we aren't friends. Charity, why do you like bearing grudges so much? Anyway, you are already under a man, so you might not find it interesting to go. Myself needs to be there so that I can hook up with one of those rich politicians that will grace that occasion. I need to go and look for a nice cleavage show prom dress that will advertise me on that day. Cynthia, I'm not going, no. Flora, maybe you should go. Patricia is your friend. Oh, come on, Charity, what do you take me for? It is only one drag that moves from one to another without invitation. Charity, did she indirectly call me a wanderer? Flora, you are intentional stupid.
Cynthia, you deliberately mad. Oh no, why do you both like quarreling all the time? Please stop it. Carl, how far? Have you completed the rent? Yeah, gave the naughty man his money last night. I can now rest from his wahala. That man is Money Miss Road. He's a nuisance. <laughs> Why did you call him Money Miss Road? Because being rich doesn't fit his personality at all. That landlord is a nuisance with unbridled tongue. You can't believe he threatened me of constraining my wife if I don't pay my rent. <laughs> Are you serious? That man must be crazy. He is super crazy. I don't understand. Doesn't he have a wife? He has, but he is never contented with the one he has. I pray he receives sense and stop misbehaving. He is also this extravagant type that loves material things. I doubt if that man has any other investment aside that dilapidated building he has there. <laughs> Please don't crack my ribs this morning. You and this your landlord, I see you now see him as an adversary because he has his eyes on your wife. Guy, you better hold your wife very well before that crazy man snatch her away from you. If he tries it, I will strangle him. <laughs> man, that dude is crazy. Mr. Vicent, your wife has been diagnosed with coronary artery disease. What? Coronary artery disease? Oh my god. Why such terminal disease? Oh no, please doctor. Tell me that my wife's life is not hanging in the balance. Relax, Mr. Vicent. It is below 70%. Thus, it isn't in the critical stage yet. So tell me doctor, how can you save her life? Is it curable? We have already administered some beta blockers blood tiners and calcium channel blockers to her with the help of these medications the symptoms can be managed as well as reducing the chance of its severity okay doctor so aside these drugs is there any ameliorative measures that need to be personally observed in order to prevent this from getting worse yes mr vincent that will be some changes in her lifestyle henceforth she should exercise regularly maintain a healthy weight and she should strictly be on a low fat diet don't worry mr vixent we will try our best she is already responding to treatment and we believe she will be fine in no time oh thank you so much doctor i am grateful please help me save her life god will bless you thank you you are welcome mr vixent it is my pleasure <music> Good day, sir. JB, welcome. How was school today? School was fine, Daddy. Madame Philomena taught us a very wonderful topic on civic education today. Wow, good to hear that. Daddy, you need to hear what she told us. Really? What did she say? She taught us about her apparent on civic education. Her apparent? Yes, Daddy. She said that we children are her apparent to our parents' properties, especially someone like me that is the only child. She also gave an illustration. She said to me that I will be the her apparent to all your properties, including this house, after your death. You mean Madame Philomena said this to you? Yes, yeah, so, Daddy, among all the topics she has been teaching us, today's topic is my best. It was as if the topic was all about me. What do you mean by that? Daddy, I hear people say that this country is tough. So I have been thinking of how to survive if I become an adult. So I was much relieved today because Madame Philomena made me to know that I don't have to struggle much because if you die today, I am automatically becoming the owner of all your properties. 
I can't just wait for that to happen. Child, can someone tell me what I did to deserve this kind of child? Gabriel, I don't understand your nonchalant attitude about this. Gabriel, this is not fair. How can we call ourselves couples without being intimate? Gabriel, don't push me into temptation. No. I'm saying this out now so that everyone can bear me witness. It's really frustrating now. I have already booked an appointment with the doctor this weekend. I hope we find a remedy to this. There is a remedy to this, Gabriel. It's just that we haven't stood to our feet to tackle this problem. I'm running out of patience. Our, se our sexual life shouldn't be hanging in the balance. You are legally married for crying out loud. You better be serious this time around, because I'm already fed up. Oh. Flora, I'm sorry for the pains I must have put you through because of this. I can't really tell what happened, but I said earlier I pray I find solution to this. I'm not happy about it either. Cool. Then we should do something about it with immediate effect. This weekend, baby, we would both be at the hospital. Alright, that's fine. Flora, I heard what you said about me. You opened up your stinking mouth and call me someone who doesn't have a life. Isn't it? Flora, I will deal with you. I will make sure I treat your fuck up. I see so, Charity. You went and reported me to Cynthia. Yes, of course. Because you crossed your boundaries. You have beaten more than you could chew. And you deserve to be dealt with. I see. The both of you now sound like besties, right? Of course we are. You are just jealous because of my closeness with Charity. You this in Baker girl. Jealousy will kill you. Hmm. Look at who is talking. Imagine. A bimbo. Beauty without sense. And as for charity, I pity you. You have chosen this bimbo as your best friend. You now rapport with her. When you get home, your husband will become your enemy. As they say, charity begins at home. But it is unfortunate that your own charity began from the highway. I pity you, charity. <laughs> Flora, you are very stupid. In short, you are an idiot. Don't worry, I'm going to make sure I disfigure that your mouth very soon. I'll make sure I scratch that your face to the extent that your husband won't be able to recognize you again. A small rat like you daring me, I will squeeze you. Now listen to me. Airhead. I may be small, but I am mighty. The both of you in addition, raised to power 2 and multiplied by the square root, can't still do anything. I have better things doing today. I shouldn't be standing here changing words with airheads like you. If you don't mind, Get the hell. This girl is playing with fire. I will consume her very soon. Charity, let's go. So, Cindy, what are your plans in getting another job? Have you started searching for jobs? No. Why? I don't want to do white collar job anymore. I want to become an entrepreneur. Okay, so what do you intend doing as an entrepreneur? A chef. A chef? Yes, I want to become a freelance chef. Interesting. So cooking is no longer a hobby, but now a career. Vincent, I have play for cooking. Yeah, it has been a hobby, but I want to make it a profession henceforth. And I believe I'll be happy doing that. So what you're trying to tell me now is that your passion in this life is cooking. Am I wrong? No. Nope. Fascinating. It's all right. Go ahead and cook. It's your life. You can do whatever you want with it. I believe I have tried my best as your husband. I think this discussion should end here. Good night. Baby, but I told you to wait for me as the calf. You shouldn't have left there. Baby, I waited for you so long at the calf. When you called and told me that you were driving down the junction, I decided to wait for you there so that it would be easy for you to pick me. I didn't know it would turn out that way. I knew that junction is dangerous at night. That was why I asked you to wait for me inside the car. It's alright. So sorry about that. Hope you are getting better now. No, baby. I'm still sad. I miss my iPhone. Can you get me another phone? You need another phone? Yes, I need it as soon as possible. I have a wedding I'm attending next week. I need a good phone for taking pictures on that day. It's alright, I will get your under phone.
an iPhone, right? No, I need Samsung phone this time around. Which model do you want? Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. Okay, no problem. I'll get it for you this week. Oh, thanks, baby. You are so compassionate. Don't mention. That is a minor issue to me. I will get it for you this week. Maybe let's have fun tonight. Forget about all that. I will sort them. All right, baby. So, Caleb, you had the guts to report me to Flora. Hmm? Despite all you've been doing, have I reported you to any of your friends before? Charity, I will prefer you reporting me to any of my friends so that I can know my wrongdoings and amend my ways. Instead of you keeping quiet, bearing unending grudges for me. Charity, I am sick and tired of your behavior. If you have anything you are yet to say, please spill it out. Caleb, you are an ingrid. How am I an ingrid? Kele, because of you, I dropped out of school. Point of correction, you didn't drop out of school because of me. Rather, you dropped out of school to have our first child. Really? Exactly. Kele, you have failed as a man. <laughs> Ever since we settled down, you have been busy chasing shadows. Can you man up and take care of your family? I'm chasing shadows? It marvels me why you sound like an illiterate most times. Now listen attentively, young lady. I never forced you to have a child for me. We both did that mistake of having a child out of wedlock. We weren't ready for parenting. And that's why we are both struggling to keep up this family. In as much as I love and cherish my family, my career equally matters to me. Before I become a father or a husband, I had dreams and I won't allow marriage to quench those dreams. If you can't support my career, please don't try to put down my career again. If you think I'm not taking good care of you, you are free to go back to your father's house. Just keep my children for me. Nonsense. Caleb, you have the guts to say all this to me? It's all right. We shall see. Charlie, it be like say bomb day for that your babe head, though. Imagine, you should buy her Samsung Galaxy X21. You forget to add a sub. Ha ha ha. Yes, yeah, so she needs it as soon as possible, as if they pluck money from the tree. Imagine, this one an epitome of gold diggers. She wants to reap where she did not sow. Let thunder plus 20% of lightning. Fire her there. No need yet. How can you say thunder to fire her ass? So what will be my benefit? Haha. <laughs> Omo, oh, see human being, oh. Charlie, you will never make heaven. You, this guy, you get mine. So you send guys to collect that phone. Of course, why won't I collect it? What good does she have to offer aside sex? I was happy they even landed her hot slaps. That lady is a bimbo. Chai, Charlie, it's not good though. Now, Percy Pekin, no. Percy Pekin, we define who she goes scam. She don't jam her fellow arm robber. I'll make sure I frustrate her life. Mumuge. Ha ha ha. Which kind of human being is this guy? Charlie? Chai, Charlie, you are a bad boy. <music> Good day, Mr. MD. How may I help you? I don't need your help. I am here to give you serious warning. Warning? Yes, serious one. Ah, hope no problem, sir. There wouldn't have been any if you had minded your business and follow what you should teach in the school curriculum. I don't understand, sir. What wrong did I do? You don't know what you did, Abby? No, please tell me. Why did you tell my son that I would die very soon and he would be eligible to inherit my property? Are you okay? Is that what they say you should teach? Ah, sorry, sir. I didn't mean it that way. I never said anything about death. You know how forward your son is. He was the one that initiated that death topic. I only gave simple illustrations that to enable the children to understand the topic. I don't believe you. Your grandma sounds like someone who is lying. Now listen, what teacher? Any time you are teaching any useless topic, kindly send my son away. Or better still, use cotton wool and block his ears. Thank you. Thank God you already know how forward that boy is. Therefore, don't ever teach him any stupid thing. Because if others forget, John Boo will never forget. He is only good at remembering stupid things. Let this not repeat itself again. Have a nice day. Gabriel, I'm just tired of this whole thing. After having a long day, 
Each time I come back home to rest, I am always welcome with acrimony. I don't even understand why that lady is fighting me. Gabriel, am I not trying? It hasn't been easy for me. I am an orphan. I sponsor my education and also struggle hard to make sure I provide money for the upkeep of my children. What else does she want me to do? To kill myself? Calm down, Caleb. Some women don't really know how to control their emotions. Some allow their emotions to be cloud their sense of reasoning. I'm thinking if she is under some pressure from outsiders. I think you need to find out about that. Gabriel Charity is a child. Why would she allow people to dictate her life for her? She just kept complaining about how she is suffering and always looking one out. The one that shocked me was when she said, I look fresher than her because I'm not suffering and I have nothing to bother about. Can you imagine such kind of statement? This is serious. I pass through a lot as a man, but I don't parade myself for people to see. Last week, my son was very sick. She called me and told me about it. Heaven will bear me witness that I had no dime on me that very day. After exams, I had to stop by at a car wash and wash some cars so that I could raise some cash to get my son some drugs. Gabriel, am I not trying? Why is my woman not supporting my career? Why will my wife be my biggest critic? Can I please calm down? I think this is just a result of misunderstanding between the both of you. Please continue to hold your peace as a gentleman. Mommy, I have something important to discuss with you. Really? What is it? Mommy, are you still gonna give birth to another child? Hmm, what a question. Why do you keep disturbing me about giving birth? No, mommy, I am not disturbing you again. In fact, I don't want you to give birth to another child. Uh-uh, when did you change your mind? Because I remember vividly you telling me to give you sibling. So why the sudden change of mind? That is because I want to be the one and only her apparent to my father's property. I don't want any other person to compete or drag that title with me. So, mommy, please, I beg in the name of our forefathers, don't give birth to another child, okay? Jump! Baby, you are looking so delicious. Oh, thanks. Please, can you remind me that your sweet name again? I'm fancy. Wow, you look so fanciful. I can't wait for you to fancy my life. You're so funny. You make me laugh. It's a pleasure making you happy. So baby, I want you to tell me something that will increase my heartbeat this moment. Really? Like what? Baby, anything that will make my heart leap. Okay, Mr. MD, do you know that your wife is sitting behind you? Jay! Eh? Docas! For we Oh my gosh! <laughs> Baby, please! Don't play such prank next time! It's too risky! I said, say something that will make my heart beat faster! I didn't say you should say the one that will make my heart fly away! Imagine, I almost had heart attack now! In fact, my heart had already left me! Baby, please! Don't repeat same joke! You're so funny! <laughs> Baby, I'm so sorry. I was the cause of this. Please pardon me. Cynthia, I gave you time. I told you to be there before 10 p.m. But you are nonchal at most times with appointment. Now see what you have caused. Baby, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Imagine, do you know how much I bought that phone? Phone that cost me almost one million naira. Just within an interval of two weeks. You've made me lose millions. Cynthia, I'm not impressed at all. Baby, please calm down. All these are the devil's handwork. They are all temptations. We will overcome them. Imagine four hefty men attacked me. I was at the process of struggling with them not to take the phone. That one of them used his gun to break my hand. Just imagine if I had died. Maybe they would have shot me dead. God forbid such would never happen. Please don't say that again. Ha! Huh? You want me to become a widow? A widow as how? I don't get you. We aren't married yet. So whom do you want to leave me for? Who do you want me to go marry? 
This sounds fascinating. Mr. and Mrs. Gabriel, the result of your test shows that Mr. Gabriel has libido and that is the cause of erectile dysfunction he is suffering from. His testosterone level is too low as well, so he needs to be placed on medications immediately so as to help him alleviate this illness. But doctor, who could have caused this? Some of the major causes of low libido are aging. When one advances in age, especially after 50, chronic illness could also cause that. Likewise, some medications like antidote present, antipsychotic, benzos, and so many others. Baby, do you hear that? I think I took some of these drugs you just mentioned some years back. Really? Why did you take them? I was battling with depression then. I was deep of a huge amount of money by fraudsters. It affected me psychologically that I couldn't eat nor sleep. So I went to a pharmacy and explained my conditions. They gave me some of these drugs he just mentioned, if I could recall. I think that was when my libido started dropping, though I thought it was as a result of trauma I went through. Hmm, you see, it is always good to see a professional doctor when you are going through any health challenge because most of those pharmacies lack professional medical personnel. Some of those over-the-counter drugs can cause serious health problems if taken without a prescription or taken for a long period of time. So doctor, is there any remedy to this? Please help my husband. This health challenge kept our sexual life hanging in the balance. Please, can you do something about it? It's alright. He will be placed on therapy henceforth. We will try our best to ensure that sexual health is restored in no time. Thanks, doctor. I'm glad to be here and I believe God will use you to solve this issue. Amen. You are welcome. Honey, are you going out? Yes. Can't you see I'm dressed up for work? I wanted us to have some discussion last night, but you came back late. And what is the discussion all about? About the cooking business I want to set up. Yes, go ahead and start up your business. Am I going to be cooking with you? No, dear. I actually need some money to run the business. Firstly, I would like to enroll in a culinary school in order for me to gain more knowledge to become a professional chef. Secondly, I would also need money to buy some utensils I will be needing for the cooking business. So all this while, you have been working, you haven't saved money to do your cooking business because I believe this decision was not planned in a day. Baby, the money I have in my account won't be enough to run all this. I need your support, baby. Cindy, I don't have money to give you for cooking. What I don't understand. If you need money to start up any nonsense business, then go to the bank and get a loan. Excuse me. When am I getting the 20000 that you borrowed from me? Flora, I don't have it now. When I have it, I will give it to you, please. Charity, don't tell me that. You promised to give me that money last month, but you failed to do so. I have had patience enough. Please, give me my money. I want to use it next week to pay off a debt. Flora, why are you acting like this? I thought we are friends. We used to be friends, but I don't think we are still friends now. You have made me an enemy because you now found a bestie with Cynthia. It's alright. Keep rolling with her. I don't care. Just give me my money. Flora, I have never labeled you as an enemy. We only had a misunderstanding. Yes, a misunderstanding that made you call hoodlums to come and fight me. I never knew you were like this. I don't feel like having anything to do with you again. Flora, I am sorry for my actions. I knew I overreacted. Please forgive and forget. Come on, we are still friends now. Charity, I doubt if you are still friends. Because if we are friends, you won't team up with that idiot to fight me. Flora, I'm sorry about that. It will never happen again, okay? So, Carl, where will you be doing your service? I will be serving under one of the government-owned media houses. Wow, that's good. So, what will be your job there? As an IT personnel, of course. Wow, that's good. It will even enable you to expand your knowledge and also add up to your working experience. Yeah, you are right. It's a great privilege. Have you told your wife about this? I believe she will be happy on hearing this. Happy? I doubt that. I haven't told her and I won't tell her because I don't want anything that will kill my joy. Really? 
He won't tell her. What about if she finds out that you are now working? Won't she be mad at you? Charity doesn't care about anything that concerns my career. I can't remember the last time she asked me about my studies. Please, let's leave her matter and discuss about other things. Hmm, it's okay if you say so. Charity, I don't know which kind of bad luck is this. It's as if my village people are following me. God forbid, village people will not follow you. Please stop saying negative words to yourself. Charity, what do you want me to say? Honestly, this looks like a handwork of the devil. How can I meet a rich guy who can change my life, but misfortune keeps boiling my plans? Charity, I'm just sick and tired of all this. It is okay, Cynthia. All will be well. Sometimes, when there is a bigger blessing ahead of us, we might be allowed to experience such kinds of temptations. Please, my dear, be strong, okay? As it is now, I believe that guy would be having doubts about me. He might be thinking that the spirit of bad luck is following me. Oh no, Cynthia, don't think about such. Just let him be for now. Don't pressure him to get you another phone. Just be patient with him. I believe he would get you the phone soon. I pray so, my sister. I think it is high time I pressured him to marry me so that I can have full access to his wealth. Don't you think you are being too forward, Cynthia? Oh no, Charles is thinkingly rich. He has the money to pay my bride price, even if it is today, so why the hesitation? I really have to start pushing for that. I have to play my game well before another woman steps in. <laughs> Kelly, when are you going to foot our electricity bill? The landlord is already complaining. This is almost two weeks that you were told about the bill, yet you haven't been bothered to pay it. Please give me the money before leaving. I have gotten enough embarrassment from the landlord. How much is the money? Just 2,000 naira. It's all right. I'm going to pay it today. I don't have cash on me now. As I'm going now, I will drop by at the nearest ATM terminal and transfer the money into landlord's account. Once I do that, I will give you a call so that you can confirm the payment from the landlord. Caleb, I don't want any further embarrassment though. You better pay him his money today. Charity, I thought I just made this clear to you now. Why are you stressing the matter again? That's because I don't understand is why you are saying you don't have any money on you. How much is 2,000 naira now that you can't give me before going out? It has taken almost two weeks for you to pay common 2,000 naira. Oh, wow. Charity, I believed you heard me clearly. And I don't have to waste more time standing here. Listening to your nagging. Have a nice day. MD, that lady is really a good digger. But I will fall her hand, trust me. You better be careful with those daughters of Delilah. You might still be forming sharp guard before you realize yourself. They have already brainwashed and bottled you with Kayamata. My guy, be careful, oh. Never. It's like you don't even know me. I carry anti-charm enter of me. Ta, they can't do anything. Okay, oh. That one are your business. So tell me, has Jimmy imported those cars? Yeah, he did. One Lexus and two Range Rovers. Wow, I would like to buy that Lexus, oh. Ah, ah, what about the beans you're already paying for? I'm still gonna buy that too. I want to acquire so many cars this year. Wow, my guy don't blue. Oh boy, cut so for me, you. Not the only soap. I go cut my hair too for you. See your mouth. When I asked you to invest in that business, you were doing anyhow. Using your money to flex daughters of Delilah. Guy, within one month, if I tell you that I have made almost two million naira, you won't believe. Wow. You be like, see, I go join you. No, don't join. Stay there. You go tell me if the woman you come this world to come do. Guy, I am buying another house this year. Turn that fire poverty. Yes, so fire poverty plus in generation joy. MD, my man. I did feel you, Joe. Hmm. So my father is this wealthy, and I don't know. He wants to acquire a Lexus and a Benz. Hmm, interesting. That means my future is super bright. He also wants to buy another house. Imagine him acquiring all these properties and dies afterwards. That means 
My life will be filled with sauce. Ah, my hair apparent title will make sense. Oh boy, I can't wait to. Jumbo, will you answer me before I swallow you? Why did you take my phone to school? Daddy, we had practical computer science class today. Our computer science teacher wanted to teach us coding. So he asked everyone to come with a mobile phone. So that is why you went to school with my phone. Jobu, I don't understand. Do you smoke weed? How can you take your father's phone to school without his knowledge? Don't you know I use my phone for my daily business transactions? Jumbo, what gives you the effrontery to take my phone to school? Answer me now before I squeeze mineral salt out of you. Daddy, what actually gave me the guts and infantry to take your phone to school is the fact that I am your hair apparent and I have legal right to all your properties. Eh? Wonder shall never cease to happen in my lineage. Jumbo, what did you just say? You have legal rights to all my properties? Exactly, sir. As your hair apparent. Daddy, you don't need to get mad at me anytime I take any of your belongings. Because if it happens that death visits you today, I will automatically become the owner of all your properties. So, Daddy, just chill, okay? Jumbo, may thunder plus a little bit of lightning. Fire that your mouth, dear. Charity, hope you are not still treating your husband badly. Treating him badly as how? I mean, you have stopped keeping malice with him and also showing him love as your husband. Flora, I have never kept malice with Caleb. And it is the man's duty to show love to his spouse and not the woman's duty. I am only doing my best to make our marriage work despite the difficulties we've been facing. That one alone is a great proof of my love as his wife. Hmm. Okay. Please, whatever it is, always try to be happy and let your husband see the happiness in you. Very soon, all will be well. Amen. Thanks. You are welcome. I will be on my way now. My husband asked me to get some items for him at the supermarket. I need to hurry up before he comes back. All right, dear. Take care. Have a nice day. Have a great day, too. Boo, you haven't given me the assurance I asked for before we started this relationship. Really? Okay, baby. You know I can do anything for you. Just go ahead and tell me the assurance you want. Charles, I want to know where this relationship is heading to. To marriage, of course. Wow, baby, tell me you are serious. Baby, I've been searching for a life partner for a very long time. I am from a royal family, to be precise. I'm a prince in our kingdom, and according to our tradition, I am to get married before I clock 30. Wow, so you are a prince. Yes, baby. My father is the ruling king of my community, and I am his only son. I have seven sisters. Wow, that means you are the heir apparent to the throne. Exactly, baby. So that is why I am expected to get a wife as quick as possible. Hmm, fascinating. So tell me, have you found the wife? Of course I have. She's the pretty damsel lying beside me now. A woman, very good at bedmatics. Wow, you keep sweeping me off my feet. I love you, baby. Me, I love you, Skata. Daddy, good afternoon. Mommy, good afternoon. Andrew, you are back. Welcome, baby. Where is your sister? She is downstairs with her friend. Okay, go in and remove your uniform and have your lunch. Okay, mommy. Mommy, I want to tell you something. All right, go ahead, my dear. Mommy, when are you going to pay my school fees? I have not gotten textbook this term because I am here to pay my school fees. Mommy, please come and pay my school fees. Andrew, that is your father sitting down there. Go and tell him. I won't kill myself. 
I'm not the only one that gave birth to you. Everything is always mommy. You have a father. Go and tell him. Daddy, please pay my school fees. Andrew, you don't have to beg me. I will come pay your school fees, okay? I already spoke with your headmistress this morning. I will be at your school first thing tomorrow morning. All right, Daddy. God bless you. Bless you too, my son. Go in and have your lunch, as your mommy said. Okay, Daddy. <music> Charity, what's the meaning of what you just did? Yes, I did what I ought to do. Is it not your son? Is the school fees not your responsibility? Excuse me, please. <laughs> Gabriel, for how long am I going to suffer this? Gabriel, I need a child. Ah, Gabriel, this is not fair. It's not fair at all. Flora, please, I beg you, bear with me. I believe very soon all this should be over. Gabriel, I don't understand. Does it mean that the treatment the doctor gave you is not effective? I don't just understand. Heaven bears me witness that I have been taking the prescribed drugs religiously. I don't just understand this kind of temptation. I have left everything in God's hands. Does it mean that I'm not going to have a child? God forbid. I will give birth to my own child the way others did. I can never be childless, so. Hmm. See, Gabriel. You have to go back to that doctor and tell him that this is not working out as expected. I will, baby. But the doctor is just a human. He can only do what he can. I pray God intervenes in this as soon as possible. You better take that prayer point serious because I'm getting frustrated. How can I be married and I haven't had sex with my husband for almost a year now? Eh? Gabriel, not all women can bear this. Oh. I have had enough patience. Gabriel, I need a child. Eh? I need a child. Flora, please calm down. I understand how you feel. Myself feels the same way. Let's just have faith in God and put our hope in Him. As well as I believe, He will surely come through for us in this situation. Flora, please don't leave me. I love you and I believe we are going to carry our child in no time. My love, please bear with me. MD, please bring me 20 key. I need it urgently. What do you want to use the money for? My payment is seriously sick in the village. I want to send the money to my younger brother so he can take the old man to the hospital for treatment. Charlie, I think you should travel down to that village and take care of our father yourself. I don't understand why he falls sick every month. Or better still, bring him down here and take him to a good hospital. I think it's high time you take that man's health serious. Before he dies, you know, if that happens, you are finished. Considering the fact that you are the first son and your siblings are still in school, bring that man to the city. Let's know what is wrong with him. MD, you know bringing him down here is not easy. Besides, I don't want that Cynthia get to know about this. <laughs> oh, I see. I have forgotten that I'm talking to a self-acclaimed prince, the prince of Igodo Kingdom. MD, please stop. This is no time for that. Shut up. This guy called Charlie. Your karma is waiting for you. You want to keep deceiving the baby, baby? Chalifia Godo. Baby, I'm over the moon. Baby, guess what? You know I'm not good at guessing. Please tell me what's the good news this time around. Charity, my man is a prince. What? Are you serious? Yes, so your girl is gonna be a princess soon. Wow, how did you know about this? He told me he has given me assurance that he's gonna marry me. Babe, I don't blow. Babe, you really need to cut soap for me, oh. You are such a lucky woman. Hmm, I'm already jealous, so. <laughs> Henceforth, I think I should be addressing you as Princess Cynthia. Yes, yeah, so that should be my new title. You can say that again. <laughs> don't you think this calls for celebration? Yes, so, in fact, I'm taking you out tomorrow. We need to go and celebrate this. We need to go and indulge ourselves because we don't blow. Wow, I can't wait for tomorrow. I am not selling any stupid market tomorrow. Cynthia is going to flex me. This is the time for me to pepper them. I need to pepper all my enemies, especially that Flora that said I don't have a life. I need to show her that I'm now on top of life. They are far down. Babe, you don't catch beta fish, oh. This one is what we call biggie fish. Yes, yeah, so in fact, this bull has finally swept me off my feet. Hi, <laughs> dear. How are you today? 
I'm fine. Welcome. Cindy, meet my colleague. She's barrister Felicia by name. Felicia, meet my wife, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Felicia. You're welcome to our home. Cindy, Felicia here is a phenomenal woman. She graduated from the prestigious Harvard Law School. She's a prestigious barrister with so many accolades, both in this country and worldwide. It has been a great privilege working with her and she has really inspired me. Barrister Felicia, it is a great honor to have you under my roof. Barrister Vincent, why all this hype? Please just simply introduce me as Felicia next time. No, please, you deserve the accolade, dear. Cindy, please go in and prepare a sumptuous meal for this wonderful lady. Barrister Felicia, come with me. Let me get you something to drink first. Mr. Vincent, ah, you will never change. <music> Who is that yellow popoge I saw with you last night? Dokas, when did this war start? Who are you to question my authority in this house? Fight of correction. I am not questioning your authority. Rather, I am questioning your fidelity. MD, who is that girl? Oh, I see. You now want to me, Abby? Yes. Since you don't want to change from your evil ways, MD, I won't tolerate your nonsense anymore. Andy, I am your wife. You need to be loyal to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Wonders shall never cease to happen under my roof. I, MD, Mark David, should be loyal to you. For what? Had it been you are beautiful like Cinderella, I would have considered this your statement. MD, what wrong have I done to deserve this from you? Why are you treating me this way? Since you know I am not beautiful enough for you, why did you marry me? Why did you bring me out of my father's house to punish me this way? Envy, I can't we judge you. Oh, cry, baby. I'm coming. Let me get you towel to absorb that tears. Vincent, what's the meaning of what you did this evening? What did I do? What are you talking about? Vincent, the way you introduced that lady to me, does it seem right? What is wrong with the way I introduced her? Do you know the educational qualification of that lady? Do you know the kind of calibre of woman she is? Vincent, I don't care whatever she is. Vincent, I am your wife and not your maid. How can you command me in her presence to go make food for her? What a humiliation! Cindy, all I can perceive in your words is jealousy. That woman is not your level. You shouldn't address her that way. You are lucky you didn't add any funny drama. Had it been you did, this house wouldn't have contained us by now. Kitchen women like you should learn how to respect career women. Vincent, how dare you denigrate me? Oh, it's not your fault. I think I made a big mistake of marrying you. Good night. Jumbo, what's the meaning of this nonsense? Get off from here and go open that toilet for me. Imagine, you still have the strength to command me. Oga Pablo, I am not opening that door. How many times will you poo-poo today? Do you want to fill that toilet today? Oga Pablo, I suggest you go to the bush and defecate the remaining bacteria in your stomach. Jobu, I should go to bush and poo when there is a toilet here. Am I not paying house rent? Mister, you are paying house rent, not toilet rent. So, please don't stress me this afternoon. Just go to the bush, as I said. I have been counting how many times you have entered that toilet. This will be the fifth time you have been overprivileged to visit that toilet today. It is enough. Jumbo, please now. It is not my fault. I am stooling. I am suffering from diarrhea. I don't know what's wrong with my stomach today. Let me just use it for the last time. How will you know what is wrong with you? When you and that your American girlfriend will consume pizza, shawarma, ice cream, burger. In fact, all the junk foods in this world, you guys will consume everything at once. The worst part is that they won't even call Jumbo and say, Come and take. Oga Pablo, he who eats alone dies alone. 
Andrew, I am so sorry for my actions yesterday. I want to apologize for talking to you that way. Baby, please forgive me. Mommy, why do you and my daddy always shout at yourself? Mommy, please stop being angry. My dear, I promise you that I won't be angry again, okay? All right, mom. Please don't shout at me again. Baby, mommy is promising you that you will never be angry again. I won't shout at you again, okay? Okay, mommy. So, have you done your homework for today? All right. Go get it. Let's do it quickly before I go to prepare dinner. Also, call me Eva. Tell her to come with her own assignment. Okay, mom. Let me go and get my own work. How is work? Going well by his grace. And yours? Great. I saw you and your wife in front of the general hospital on Friday. Wow. Were you at the hospital? No, I was driving past. My boss and I went to get some items. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were at the hospital on that day. I guess my godchild is on the way coming. Funny you. I pray so. I don't understand. What do you mean by I pray so? Don't tell me I guess wrongly. Come on, Gabriel. Why do you keep wasting time on this? Please, my son is waiting for you to give him a wife. Hesitate no more. Caleb, please don't make me laugh. So tell me, how is the training going? Hope you are assimilating. Sure, I am glad I applied for that program. Honestly, I really learned a lot. You can't believe I'm already good in web development and designing as well. Wow, good to hear that. Well done, fella. Thanks, fella. <music> to make a cake for my birthday. Eva, mommy don't have money. Mommy, every time. I also to buy me something. You will tell me you don't have money. Mommy, I'm not happy. My friends had this. She did a bad in the school. And her mommy did a very big cake for her. Mommy, I want you to do my own birthday like that. Eva, go and tell your dad about this. Tell him to give you money for cake. I have told daddy. He said I no have money. Eva, please don't disturb me. I want to sleep. Now leave here. Go. Charles, I want you to tell me how our wedding will look like because I'm already fantasizing that. This my baby is so funny. <laughs> it's alright. Since you wish to know, let me give you some insight into our proposed luxury wedding. Wow, go ahead please. I'm all ears. Baby, our wedding would be themed Gucci wedding. Wow, you mean everything will be Gucci? Yes, baby. It's gonna be Gucci with a little touch of Versace. Our outfit will be Gucci from head to toe. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, baby, I'm feeling blushing already. Guess we will have our wedding reception. In a private jet? Um, not really in a private jet, but we're gonna use either a private jet or a luxury yacht to cruise around that very day. Wow, so where would the wedding take place? It's gonna be at Maldives Island. And we have our honeymoon in one of the best underwater hotels in that same Maldives. Don't worry, just chill, baby. Our wedding is going to be one of a kind. What? Baby, you're kidding me. Wow, I'm speechless at this moment. Caleb, concerning your daughter's birthday I told you about, you haven't said anything about that. Charity, I don't have money for now. Why don't we celebrate her birthday next year? You know, I just finished paying their school fees last week. My pocket is in that dry for now. Caleb, just listen to yourself. So, because you paid your children's school fees, that's enough reason for you not to celebrate your daughter's birthday. Caleb, the way you are treating your kids, is that how your friends treat theirs too? Caleb, when will you start showing your family love for crying out loud? 
Charity, please, can I have peace this night? I had a long day at work today, and all I need is rest. Let me have a peaceful night's rest. You're indirectly saying I'm not giving you peace, isn't it? Charity, what is the meaning of all this? Is that what I just said? Oh, yes. Caleb, each time I'm complaining about your incompetence as the head of this house, all you end up saying is that I am not giving you peace. Caleb, if you think I am a thorn in your flesh, just tell me and I will take my children and leave. How can I be suffering for a man, yet he still sees me as a problem? Oh no, Caleb. In fact, I am tired of this marriage. Good night. Taliso, you don't give that babe assurance like this. Which can you hear assurance? It is not only assurance. I also give her insurance. <laughs> I am always asking you this question. Charlie, are you sure you will make heaven? Charlie, don't allow daughters of Delilah to cage you inside but who? Ta, they no born them way. They never reach. That lady is a good digger. Imagine her telling me that she wants us to have our wedding inside the private jet. Me, we never even enter play before. Private jet will kill her dear. <laughs> Charlie, where you they jam all this homo highway? You better safeguard your pocket, oh. Anyway, for now, you are still a broke guy. She no go see she she collect. I just pity the poor senseless lady. Chai, Charlie. Guy, I beg, leave that stupid game, Mata. Let's talk about business. MD, there's this guy that wants to buy a car. I'm thinking you should sell that your savage car to him at a very cheap price. How much does he have? He said he needs a good salon car with the budget of two million. So. Let's offer him that your car for 1.5. The guy go rush him. Hmm, Charlie, you know that my car has already turned into a condemned vehicle. Most of the parts are not good at all. Oh boy, you go just carry him go mechanic, go paint him. Fix the gear and the brake. Then sell it to this guy, sharp sharp, and collect our money. Guy, if you no need money, I seriously need that move. No do yourself. Hmm, make person picky no enter the car. Can't get accident, die. If he die. That's what no concern us. Grand plenty, then go bury him. Ah, Charlie, will you make heaven like this? Charity, anything you have, just try to organize a small birthday party for her. Even if it is just a family party, I guess she hasn't celebrated her birthday before. Yes, since I gave birth to her, we haven't done any birthday party for her. Oh. The poor girl would really be happy if she gets the privilege. Is this not her father's responsibility? How can he say he doesn't even have money to get his daughter? Come on, cake. Charity, please, if you can afford the cake, just get it for her, just to make her happy. Mind you, Eva is also your daughter. Therefore, making her happy is also your responsibility. No problem. I have already decided that I would throw a small party to mark her birthday this year. I already planned to cook and take some gifts to her school. I don't have money for soft drinks. I will just make Zobo drink for adults in her school and then buy mini fruit juice for our classmates. Wow, that would be great. The money I'm about to spend on this is the money I wanted to send for my sick mother at the village. I will end up sending her half of the money and use the rest to buy things for Eva's birthday party. What will I do? I can't fight fit because of the condition it has kept me in. It is well. It is well, my sister. God will surely replenish your pockets, okay? Amen. Thanks, dear. Young lady, whom do you say you are looking for? I am looking for Mr. MD. You are looking for MD? Please, who are you to him? I am his babe. You are his babe? I don't understand. Which kind of babe are you talking about? I am his side chick. We regularly hook up. Hmm. You are his side chick? Fascinating. Please, who are you? Okay. I am his main hen. Main hen? What does that supposed to mean? Meaning that I am his legally married wife. Such as much because you look ugly just the way he described you. I beg your pardon, young lady. Did you come to my house to insult me? Which one is your house? The one I'm about to take over? You want to take over my house? With what position? A side chick? Now, listen to this, ho. Huh? Glad you already know that you are a side chick. For your information, 
I alone still remain the one and only wife of Envy. After messing up with you as a side chick, your position will always remain by the side. He is definitely not bringing you into this house. You will keep remaining by the side. I, Dukas, remains the mother hen and the certified wife of Envy. Now, get out of my house. Envy, I won't keep tolerating this nonsense. Why will you give that prostitute our house address? Is that what she told you? That I gave her my address? Empty, if you didn't give her your address, how come did she know your house? Eh, answer me. Dokas, please. I am late for business. I have an emergency call to attend to now. Don't worry, just wear your boxing gloves and wait for me till I return. Just imagine what you are doing. Empty, consider it. Is it fair? Empty, I am your wife, oh. I am your legally married wife. Hope you know that. Do I know? Let me remember. Envy, you don't know that I am your wife. Maybe I have forgotten. You know what, Dokas? Just wipe your tears. In order to fix this issue, I think you should be reminding me every day that you are my wife. Envy, you are very, very stupid for saying that. Mommy, thank you for celebrating my birthday. Mommy, we build the cake for me. You or Daddy? Both Mommy and Daddy bought them, okay? Okay, Mommy. Why did my Daddy not come for my birthday party? Mommy, I'm not happy because my Daddy don't come for my birthday party. Shh! Don't say that again, Eva. Your Daddy loves you so much and you must also love him too. If you love me, why did you not buy me birthday gift? Who told you that your daddy didn't buy you a gift? The dress, the cake, and all the decorations. It was daddy that bought them. He was busy at work. That was why he couldn't show up on the birthday. So when he comes home today, you have to go to tell him, thank you. Also tell him that you love him, okay? Okay, mommy. <laughs> Baby, you didn't have your dinner I kept for you at the dining. I'm not hungry. I've had dinner already. You've had dinner? Where? I went out with Felicia after a meeting this evening. We were so tired and hungry, so we decided to fill our stomach in an tree close to our office. But Vincent, I called you this evening and told you I already made dinner for you. You should have come home directly. Cindy, is it a must that I must eat at home every day? I was very hungry and I decided to quench that hunger elsewhere. Please just get that straight. I don't have the strength to talk much this night. It's alright. One more thing. What hell's again, Cindy? Vincent, it's been long we made love in this house. What's the problem? Don't you find me attractive again? Cindy, you should know I am a career man. Fascinating. So career men don't make love to their wife, isn't it? You see, that is one very big problem with women that are housewives like you. If you were a career woman, you wouldn't have asked me such silly question. Do you think it is easy to walk from dawn to dusk? Do you know how stressful each of my day is? Felicia will never make such statements. You just made. You kitchen wives are just annoying. It's alright. I hear this almost every day. And I promise myself not to allow those words to get to me anymore. Good night, career man. Daddy, thank you for buying me. Birthday gifts. God bless you. I love you, daddy. God bless you too, my daughter. Daddy loves you too. Wow. So tell me, you had your birthday party yesterday? Yes, Daddy, at school. You don't know, Daddy. Um, I knew. Mommy told me. Yeah. Why did you not come to my school? Baby, so sorry about that. I was very busy at work. Pardon me, my angel. Daddy, I'm not happy. I wish you they are there. Pardon me, Eva. I promise you that I will attend your next birthday, okay? Okay, Daddy. I love you. I love you too, my angel. <music> Baby, thank you so much for Eva's birthday party. 
I'm grateful. God bless you. Amen. Thanks. Charity, I'm still the head of this family, and I ought to know about things like this. I don't need to tell you, Caleb. Why? Because you don't deserve to know about that. Come on, you never cared now. Really? Caleb, please, I beg you, let me be this night. When I was asking you to bring money for your daughter's birthday celebration, you turned a deaf ear to my plea. Now that I have struggled to do that, you want to use it against me, isn't it? Caleb, you are a very difficult and annoying person. Please, let me have a peaceful night's rest. Good night. What's up, baby? You're looking dope tonight. Oh, thanks, boo. I have missed you for some days now. I miss kissing those sweet lips of yours. Oh, they will always be there for you, boo. Wow, sounds sweet. So, baby, you haven't updated me about the diamond engagement ring. The one you took away from your ex. Oh, the ring is still there. Yeah, still in my closet. Okay, I'm just imagining how beautiful your diamond ring will look on my finger. Oh, yeah. Let me take a look at your fingers. Wow, they look cute. The diamond ring definitely gonna fit those sexy fingers. Wow, then I can't wait to put it on. I should try it out very soon. Oh, okay. That would be nice. You sure gonna have it and definitely have it forever. Wow, I'm blushing. Baby, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever set my eyes on. Everything about you is just so sexy. My sweet potato, my cupcake, my sweet candy, my chocomilo. Baby, I won't mind dying for you. You're my everything. Oh, baby, please don't make me feel mushy tonight. Gabby, how far? How have you been? Been fine, and you? Same fella. You were kinda busy this week. I noticed it. Oh yeah, I was so busy trying to meet my target for this month. You know banking sector and their wahala. <laughs> That's true, dear. The Lord is your strength. Amen to that. So tell me what's up about your wife. Hope you guys are getting along now. I have just been trying my best to maintain peace in that house. Honestly, I wish Charity was a better wife. Oh no, Caleb, please don't say such. You know women are very emotional beings. Sometimes they allow their emotions control their attitude. Just be patient. With time, everything is going to fall back into place and places. I pray so. It's all right. Thanks, fella. So, tell me, Charity, how did Eva's birthday go? It was a memorable one. Oh, you have to see how happy my baby was on that day. Oh, that's why I told you to just do the little you can. Happiness matters a lot. Yes, so I haven't still gotten over the prayers my daughter rained on me after that day. I'm so glad I did that party for her. Oh, Eva is a sweet girl. Charity baby, my bestie for life. My baby girl for life. What's up now? Baby la hot. Always looking fresh. Welcome, sweetie. Babe, how you day? Babe, no be you are the great. Will you say you didn't hear me? Point of correction, Cynthia. My name is not Babe. My name is Flora. Or better still, address me as Mrs. Gabriel. Stop calling me Babe. I know you now, Madam Blunt. You will never change. I better get out of my sight. Look at how she is short like mortar. I may be short, but I'm way better than you. You are nothing but a dumb ass. Has anyone told you that you have a heart of a witch? I'm not surprised why you haven't given birth to a child. Your barrenness is as a result of your wicked heart. Go to hell. Cynthia, in every dimension, I am 100 times better than you. At least I'm married. I'm better than a dumb house like you. Full-time bimbo. Oh no. When will you both stop fighting like this? Stop this childish behavior, please. Mr. MD, I am sorry for what happened here this morning. I wasn't around. I was at work, as usual. I promised to talk to my wife. I promise it won't happen again. You better talk to that to your cantecarous wife. She should never in her life bring mad people into this compound again. Or else, I am giving you eviction letter. And that would be with immediate effect. So sorry about that, Mr. Landlord. I said earlier it won't happen again. I will give her strict warning concerning this. You better do before I take actions. 
I know that birds of a feather flock together. But please tell your wife and her cantaqueros cycle that my house is not a circus of lunatics. Next time they come here to fight, I will use blow and uproot all their premolars. I don't take nonsense, oh. Mommy, you won't understand. I am not disrespecting my husband. I am only trying to fulfill my dream. Mommy, I know I caused what happened at my workplace. Yeah, I'm to be blamed for that. But why hasn't Vincent gotten over that? He keeps reminding me about that every single day. I never found that job conducive. I was just managing it because I never wanted him to be mad at me if I had resigned. Mommy, please help me talk to him to support me. Cooking has always been a hobby, but this time around, I want to make it a profession, and I will be glad if I achieve that goal. Okay, mommy, I have heard you. All right, mommy, thank you so much. I love you, mom. Take good care of yourself. Bye, mom. Jambu, what is your problem in this house? Why have you been stopping us from playing in this compound? Because your father only paid house rent. He didn't pay compound rent. Really? Exactly. Jambu, tell me what's right. Do you have to be intimidating us this way? Are you the landlord of this compound? For your information, I am the hair apparent to this house. Therefore, I act on that privilege. What is hair apparent? What does that mean? Young lady, consult your dictionary. Or better stay at your English teacher. Jambu, you are nobody. Stop being silly. It is your father that is the landlord of this house and not you. Young lady, number two point of correction. I and my father are one. Get that into your head. <laughs> Charity, what happened? Why the altercation here this morning? Caleb, it was just a little misunderstanding between my friends. A little misunderstanding? And you couldn't handle it as a mature woman? Come on, Charity. I am disappointed in you and those your friends. Imagine the landlord talking to me rudely this evening because of you. Caleb, please don't raise your voice at me. Why are you shouting at me as if I was the one who fought? Oh, yes, you didn't fight. But those that fought were your friends who came to visit you. Were you not there before the fight started? Why didn't you stop them from fighting? Kelly, please, don't allow me to lose my temper. Just let me be tonight. Thank God you know where Flora lives. You can go there and shout at her. Please stop blaming me unnecessarily. Excuse me. Charity, you are playing with my gentleness. Charity, come back here. Charity, I won't keep tolerating your nuisance in this house. Enough of your misbehavior. Charity, don't make me lose my cool. I promise you that you won't like to see the other part of me. Charity, learn to respect me. I am your husband for crying out loud. I still remain the head of this house. Flora, I have always warned you about breathing your tongue. Silence is golden and it can never be misquoted. You should have ignored that lady since you already know she's that Cantecaro's type. Only you won't understand the beef between us. Each time she sees me, she's always saying annoying things that will cause me to quarrel with her. And you don't expect me to keep quiet and let my fellow woman trample over me. Hell no. Baby, please learn how to control your anger. Maybe next time you should just ignore her or walk out. To be honest, I am not happy about this because I believe my wife has grown out of such infertile behavior. Flora, please avoid that lady. 
Whenever you go to see charity and you find her there, please just make a U-turn. Baby, there is no gain in making trouble. Please henceforth ignore her. I may ignore her on other things, but if she dares address me as a barrier witch again, Gabriel, I promise that I will beat the daylight out of that lady. Hold on. You mean she called you that? Oh yes, she did and also mocked my childless state. Me, Flora. Ha! God, hope you are hearing people smoke over my life. How long will I continue to be an object of mercury? What wrong have I done to deserve this punishment? Ah. <laughs> Sorry about that, baby. I didn't know she said such to you. Please don't allow that to get to you. Baby, please wipe your tears. Very soon we will celebrate God's breakthrough in this family, okay? Babe, do you know that Sylvia's wedding is this month end? Really? I thought it would be next month. No, I told you now. The traditional marriage is taking place this month end, while the white wedding will be next month. Wow, already at the corner, just two weeks from now. Exactly. So tell me, have you started making plans for your outfit? Madam, you have to look sophisticated on that day or else you won't follow me. If you dress anyhow, I will leave you behind. You better go shop for nice clothes to wear on that day. Cynthia, come on. Must you put it in that way? That's rude of you. I'm sorry, but get what I said. Anyway, I have managed to save 30,000 naira. I want to get nice lace, beads, and a good head wrap. What about shoes? Don't tell me you're gonna be wearing that a cake still toast of yours. Cynthia, I will manage that money. I can't kill myself. If it is enough to buy all that, good. If it isn't enough, I will manage any shoe I have. Hell no, you are buying new shoe. Maybe you should buy for me. I know that will be the next sentence. Look at her mouth, big head. Small head. Baby, you remember that my friend's wedding I told you about? Um, the one you said she used to be your cosmate. Yes. Baby, you know the wedding is taking place this month and... Wow. Okay, that's good. So you're gonna attend the wedding, right? Sure, she is a very good friend of mine. Besides, she invited me, so I have to be there. Alright. But baby, I would like you to come with me. I wish I could, sweetie. I'll be traveling this month end for a very important business meeting. Maybe next time, baby. Alright, so what about the money I asked you for? The shopping money. You know the wedding is already at the corner. I need to get what I will wear for the wedding. And I want to go for that this weekend. Okay, so how much do you need? Just 50k. 50k? But baby, you only told me you wanted to buy only bag and shoes. I later changed my mind. I want to shop for my complete outfit. Babe. You know I lost a lot of money recently on those missing phones I bought for you. Those phones were pretty expensive, thereby eating deep into my pocket. My container hasn't landed for more than one month now. Custom officers seized my containers and I'm to pay millions of naira to redeem it. So I will just give you 20 k to manage. Once my container lands next month as expected, I will give you more money to shop for anything you want. All right, honey, but that 20k is too small. It won't go anywhere. Why not make it 30k, please, baby? My sugar pie, the absolute love of my life. Okay, I'll try. Just give me some days. I'll send money into your account before this week runs out. All right, baby, thanks. I love you. I think you deserve a kiss. Mwah. Okay, go ahead, love. Give me a kiss and the other one. MD, I am tired of that baby. All she knows is money. She is too demanding. She just wants to be attending all the parties and events in this town. Today my sister is wedding. Tomorrow my cosmate is wedding. Next month, my friend is marking her birthday. Such a party animal. I'm just tired. Hey! This is just the beginning. You never see anything. You never cheat on chill. Good for you. Haven't I been warning you concerning those daughters of Delilah? You told her that you are a billionaire. So what do you expect? 
whatever you call yourself, please bear the name and make sure you bear the responsibilities too. Prince of Igudo Kingdom. MD, please just bring me 30 key. I promise I will give you as soon as I get it. Charles, I don't have money to give you, especially the one you will give one nonsense woman. If you don't have, tell her that you don't have, period. MD, please, I will give you back. Just tell her to go to hell. Unarmed highway robber. That's what she is. Come, Charlie. It's like that lady has charmed you. Because I don't understand why you are freaking out just because she asks you for money. The Charlie I am seeing now is not the Charlie I used to know. MD, don't worry. I'm not under a spell. I know what I'm doing. I already know what to do with that lady. Just give me the money. Let me give her. Later, you understand the paru I'm running. Hmm. Andrew's teacher called me today and I went to the school to see her. Okay, hope no problem. Did she complain about Andrew? Hope he is not too playful these days. Not about that. Caleb, she informed me about a quiz competition coming up soon, which would take place outside the school. She said Andrew would be among those representing their school in the contest. Okay, that's fine. Sounds good. So how do we support him as his parents? We are asked to pay the sum of 30,000 naira. 30,000 Naira? Isn't that much? As I said earlier, it is an external competition. Apparently, it would run for days. Therefore, the children would be lodged somewhere until the competition ends. I believe that money covers the transport cost, feeding, and their welfare as well. Is the competition venue that far? I think so. I would like Andrew to attend this. But I am too rich this period. I haven't gotten this month's salary. Please, can you help me sort this? As soon as I get my salary, I will give you back the money. Caleb, all the ones you borrowed in the past, have you paid them? Caleb, why is it that you don't usually have money when it comes to your family needs? Why are you so selfish? Charity, watch your tongue. I said I don't have for now. Do you want me to go and steal? You don't have, but I overheard you telling Gabriel that you paid money for a certificate last week. Yes, I did. It was a certificate for a training I did three months ago. It was because of lack of money that delayed it to last week. After paying the bills last month, I managed to save some money to get that certificate. This Andrew's competition is an urgent need. If I had known about this before now, I would definitely suspend the payment for the certificate. But I'm just hearing this now and my account has run down. What do you want me to do? Then go and look for a way to borrow. Yes, borrow the money and pay. Stop asking me to do your responsibilities. I don't have the money. The deadline to pay that money is this week Wednesday. Run around and get the money or else you'll be a disappointment to your son. Good night. Honey, are you going out today? Yes. But well, today is Saturday. I have some clients I need to attend to. All right. Baby, we're running out of food stuff. Madam Chef, that is all you know. Cooking and heating. You have finished all the food stuffs in this house, isn't it? Can I go to the market and get some food stuffs? We all consume food in this house, including you and your children. Cindy is not the only person that has mouth in this house. Look at how you are getting bigger every day because of too much food. You better start watching your weights. You remember what the doctor told you. If you like, stay at home, eat and get fat to your own peril. Anything you want to buy, go to the drawer in our bedroom and take money. I'm out of here. Have a nice day. Vincent, can you stop being harsh? When will you become a romantic husband? Gosh, he's becoming too host time. Mommy, what is the opposite of sad? Happy. What is the opposite of under? Above. What is the opposite of build? Destroy. What is the full meaning of WHO? World Health Organization. Daddy, welcome. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? We are fine, Dad. How was work today? Fine. Daddy had a great day at work today. But unfortunately, I lost my phone on my way back home. How come? How did it happen? I blame myself. 
I slept all through inside the bus and I remembered holding the phone in my hand before dozing off. I think it fell down and someone might have picked it. Maybe those who were sitting beside me. And who were those sitting beside you? By my left was a young schoolboy returning from school. And my right was a young lady with some luggage. Have you tried calling the line? Yeah, I did. It has been ringing, but no one picked. Caleb, how can you be this Caleb? Jumbo, what is wrong with you? Why have you been causing nuisance in this house? Daddy, it is not nuisance. It is called expression of power. Star, shut up. Which power? Who gave you the power? The power was bestowed on me from above. Yes, the very first day I came into this world and become your first child and first son. That was the day I got that title that gave me the power to be doing all this. Which title are you talking about, young man? The hair apparent title. <laughs> Look at this boy, yo. So, in your mind, you think you are the heir to my properties? Ta! Get out from here! Listen, I am getting a second wife soon, and she will give birth to the real heir apparent. Once that happens, I will dump you and your mother in the village. Daddy, I won't take this serious. Let me just take this your statement as a joke. Hmm, tell me you are not serious. Are you okay? Do I look like a clown who jokes? I believe you heard what I said, and I meant every of those words. Daddy, let me ask you a question. What about if you sleep this night and didn't wake up tomorrow? Who is gonna be your hair apparent? As I am standing right now, I am imagining such scenario, and our teacher told us that most times our imaginations can become a reality maybe this imagination can become a reality tonight jumbo young lady this is three days i have been calling this line why did you decide to punish me this way please sir i am so sorry the phone fell into one of the baggage and ever since that day i haven't opened that particular bag Besides, the phone was on silent. I couldn't hear it ring. I just opened the bag this afternoon and saw it. Sorry about that, sir. Please, where can we meet so that I can give you the phone? I'm sorry if I may have sounded harsh initially. Pardon my manners. It's all right, sir. I understand how you feel about this. I'm not angry at all. Thanks, madam. You're welcome, sir. So when are we meeting? I'm still at work now. Immediately I close from work. I will give you a call. It's all right, sir. I will be expecting your call. Have a nice day then. Thanks. Have a nice day too. Cynthia, thank you very much. You really surprised me. God bless you. You must have spent a fortune on this. Oh, you really want me to attend this wedding? Yes, I want us to be there. I won't be happy if I go without you. You know that very day I went home and pondered on what you did. I realized you did the right thing. Because that was the same thing my mom used to do for us when she was alive. Several times she pleased us to displease herself. There was one particular time she even sold out most of her nice wrappers just to raise money for our school fees. Oh, she was a caring and loving mother indeed. May her beautiful soul rest in peace. Amen. Indeed, the love of a mother is one of the strongest and greatest things in life. Exactly, dear. May God make us beautiful and wonderful mothers to our children. Amen. No, very soon, Charles and I will be getting married and I will experience motherhood. I can't wait to... <laughs> you and this your Charles that is obsessing you like this. Oh, yes. Who doesn't know that I am addicted to Charles? <laughs> Crazy girl. <laughs> Mrs. Cindy, don't know where to start in expressing my gratitude. You are indeed a good Samaritan. If everyone in this world had your kind of heart, this world would have been a better place. From the depth of my heart, 
Thank you so much and God bless you. Amen. God bless you too. I am happy I could put the smile on your face. You're welcome, dear. So tell me, do you live in this town? Yes, I live here. My house is just some kilometers from here. Oh, okay. That's fine. Would like us to meet some other time. Maybe get you some appreciation package. Oh no, you don't need to do that. It isn't necessary. Really? Yeah. You sound shy. Guess you are a shy type. Yeah, I used to be shy when I meet someone for the first time. But once familiarity comes in, hey, we then see a drama queen. Yeah, I can be so dramatic. Wow. <laughs> And I love dramas. Maybe some other time, when we have enough time, I would love to watch your dramas. You're funny, Mr. Kelly. Please don't crack my ribs. Gabriel, guess who called me today? Who? Your mother. My mother? What did she say? Hey, she spoke Ashley to me because of our childless date. Imagine her asking me if I had tempered with my womb before marrying her son. My mom asked you such question. Calm down, Gabriel. I allowed her to finish uttering all her words, after which she hanged up the phone on me. You didn't reply her in any way. What reply do you want me to give her? I should have told her the problem is from her son, who hasn't been able to make love to his wife for over a year now. How do you expect her to believe that? She would have rained more curses on me. But why will my mom call you and begin to say nonsense to you? How can she do such a thing? Oh no, I have to call her and warn her not to repeat such again. Don't, Gabriel. She is not the right person you need to call. Go on your news and keep calling God. Since the doctor and all his prescribed medication has failed us, let's turn to God and keep pouring our heart to him. Mm, God, why am I facing difficult temptation? God, please come through for me. So, how come she hasn't been hearing the phone ring all these days? The phone was on silent mode, and according to her, the bag where the phone fell into has been in her kitchen store, and she didn't open it until today. Okay, she is a good Samaritan. May God bless her for her kindness. You have to be careful with your phone next time. Always put your phone inside your bag or pocket whenever you are in a commercial bus. Sure. I have taken that precaution. I was actually exhausted that very day. Didn't know when I dozed off. Why won't you be tired when you don't have enough sleep at night? Every time you're always on your laptop coding. When you code all through the night and code all through the day at work, while you won't sleep like a bull inside the bus. You are silly, Charity. Sometimes you behave like my grandmother when she was alive. When will you stop being this harsh? Maybe when you stop being incompetent husband and father. Charity, you know I just got this job. Please, stop making me look stupid. I am toiling each day just to give you and your children a better life. I promise you that very soon all this suffering will be over. Please, bear with me. Story for the gods. Baby, thanks once again for the wedding. You have to see my appearance that very day. I was glowing. Oh, my glow baby. I trust my slay queen. She definitely slayed everyone that day. Wow. So how did it go? The wedding was amazing. It was a super elaborate wedding. Apart from her blessing, I pray mine should be wonderful like that. Baby, yours will be 10 times better than hers. Wow. I'm so happy to hear this. Is that an assurance, baby? Yes, baby. We we'll shut down the whole town for our wedding. Oh, don't make me to start feeling over the moon. Baby, when am I meeting your parents, His Royal Majesty and Her Royal Majesty? I already told them about you. Wow, you did? Yeah, they're already anticipating your visitation. I told them how beautiful, charming and lovely you are. Oh, then they will definitely like me when they meet me. You already did a proper introduction. Wow. Baby, I love you. I love you too, baby. How about the diamond ring? The nigga is still there inside my closet. Maybe I should see it one of these days. Relax, baby. You don't need to see it. You only have to wear. Yes! 
then I can't wait to bear it. Charlie, can you believe I know that your babe very well? Which one? The Cynthia girl now. The one I saw inside your car last night. Isn't she the Cynthia you have been telling me about? Yes, yeah, she's Cynthia. You know her. Very well. She's a close friend to one of my tenant's wife, Mr. Keller. Are you serious? Do I look like a comedian? Someone that I do see in my compound regularly. Are you kidding me? No, I am out you. See stupid question. Tell me, does she know you very well? As in, have you had any conversation with her before? No, she only greets me and pass. Hmm. That means I won't be coming to your house again. I don't want her to know that we are friends. Why am I not a responsible person? Not at all. Charlie, what's the meaning of that statement? If she finds out we are close, I'm sure she will come to you to find out more about me. And the MD I know has loose tongue. Once he's high on alcohol, he can say anything. Charlie, don't fire you for saying that rubbish. Cindy, how much do you need? I need 200,000 naira. It might not be enough, but I will manage it. It won't be enough, but you will manage it. Yes. Manage it as how? I will use part of the money to register in a culinary school so that I can learn more on cooking. Then I'll also get some cooking words and utensils that I will start with. So, Cindy, so you are trying to tell me that out of all the valued and prestigious profession in this world, it is cooking that you chose as a career? Hmm. This is surprising. Baby, what about those millionaire chefs, both locally and internationally? There are many successful chefs that have made great fortunes from cooking. Baby, I will be happy and fulfilled if I achieve this dream. Really? So, Cindy, cooking is what will make you a fulfilled woman? Exactly, Vincent. This is fascinating. You are really amazing plus weird. Hello there, how are you doing today? I'm good, and you? Doing great there. Guess you're still at work. Yeah, but we'll be leaving soon. So, how is your day going? Great, I'm in the kitchen now. Doing what? Cooking, of course. I'm making a delicious meal for my husband. Wow, he must be a lucky man. Of course he is. My hobby likes good food. The dude doesn't joke with his stomach, and I enjoy cooking for him. Today, I'm preparing vegetable soup with pounded yam for him. Wow, my favorite. Someone is already salivating here. Wish I can disappear from here and appear in that kitchen. You're very funny, Mr. Caleb. Tell me something. Is cooking one of your hobbies? My greatest hobby, to be precise. I love cooking and presenting to others to eat and rate my culinary skill. Maybe one of those days, you would be my judge. Wow, I can't wait then. It's like someone over the phone here is a foodie. <laughs> Not just a foodie, but a foodaholic. Permit me to use that word. <laughs> this man is so funny. Sweet potato, you look so delicious. Baby, your look is so angelic. Is your name Angelica? Young man, if you don't have any reasonable thing to say, you better say it first or else I'll walk out of here. Baby, the only thing I want to say is that I need you. Yeah, I need a life partner and I want you to be my soulmate. Wonder shall never cease to happen. See me see Wahala. Life partner indeed. I can see you don't have any reasonable thing to say. I think I should leave here immediately. Hold on baby please. Don't be in a haste to go. You know you look angelic. And angels don't rush. Please, behave like an angel. Oh, so it's you. You are the one that my father wants to marry as second wife. Isn't it? You want to deny me of my title, Abby? Anyway, I am not scared of you. For your information, I am constructing a very big trap that I will use and ensnare all your children. None of them will ever take my title. 
I remain the one and only her apparent to my father's properties. What is he saying? Is he a son? I don't even know him. Maybe he is one of these less privileged children that roams on the street. Ah, daddy, you are denying me because of this lady. Daddy, fear God. Oh. Caleb, how have you been? Been fine, and you? I'm good too. How is work? Work is great. Wow, good to hear that. Felix called me this morning asking about you. Hope no problem. He said he has a job for you. A job? Did he tell you the kind of job? He said he needs someone to help him design his website for his business. Okay, so you gave him my contact number, right? Yeah, I did. I believe he would call soon. With the way he sounded, I guess it's an urgent one. Alright, thanks fella. I owe you a lot as my foreigner. Funny you, bro. Cynthia, I love you from the depth of my heart. Don't know why you have been avoiding me. That's simply because you don't have what it takes to marry me. Ben, I'm not interested in having any relationship with you. Period. Oh no. Why are you saying such? Please change your mind. I love you so much, Cynthia. I promise you that I will not let you down. Just accept to be my wife and watch how I will make you happy for the rest of your life. Did I just hear you say make me happy? Come on, tell me how you can make me happy with your empty pockets. If I agree to marry you now, can you do an elaborate wedding party? Cynthia, I will try my best to make our wedding colorful. Cynthia, stop looking at my pockets. I may not have today, but tomorrow, I can be a great man. See them motivational speakers. Whom do you want to motivate? Me? Hell no, because I'm ten times smarter than you. You want to marry me and put me in poverty, isn't it? Cynthia. I am not going to keep you in poverty. You will definitely have a roof over your head, good clothes to wear, and I'm also capable of feeding you three times in a day. So food, clothes, and house are the only things I came to this world to achieve, isn't it? Young man, I was expecting you to say you buy me a car, build a house for me, or even buy a diamond ring. Baby, when the money comes in, I will give you whatever you want. Such a broke ass. Get lost. Charity, can you imagine? What nonsense. That guy keeps disturbing my precious life, saying he wants to marry me when he is as poor as church rats. But I thought you said he is a businessman. Which nonsense businessman? He is into fairly used goods. Is that one a business? Can he buy me a diamond ring? Can he afford bone straight hair for my wedding? Can he take me to Madav Underwater Hotel for honeymoon? Hmm. Cynthia, you better calm down with this your high test. The young man only expresses his feelings for you. If you don't like him, just tell him and stop condemning his financial status. All fingers are not equal. I will keep embarrassing him if he doesn't stop disturbing me. He should stop coming to look for me. What if Charles sees me with him one day? How do I explain this? Simple. He's an admirer. Oh no, I'm too classy for that kind of guy. It would even be an embarrassment to me if Charles sees him. Why? Come on, Charles knows that I am high class babes that rose with rich guys. I'm not supposed to be seen around this pooper. Please, just gently tell him to leave you. That you are in a relationship with someone else. I've already told him, but that dumb head won't listen. He wants to come and pour sand into my gary. I will use slap to emphasize on that when next he comes. Ah, please, Cynthia, don't slap you more. I know you to be hot tempered. Better behave yourself. Remember, he is a man. He might beat you up and injure you. Please avoid trouble. Why are you sounding as if he paid you to say all this? I won't be surprised if I found out that he is your village person. Cynthia, you are sick in the head. Baby, I want to tell you something. What's that, Angel? Um, um, I, I... Oh, come on, baby. Stop being childish. Please go ahead and spit it out. I think I'm pregnant. You think or you are? Which of them? 
I haven't seen my message for two months now. I guess I'm pregnant. Hey, why am I getting this news today that I am not happy? Baby, why are you not happy? Didn't you hear that Chelsea lost their match against Arsenal today? As a Chelsea fan, I am very devastated right now, as you are seeing. Really? But we just finished making love some minutes ago. Oh yes, I used that to cool my temper. Now listen baby, I am not in the mood to have this conversation, not now. Not even tomorrow morning. Maybe after some days, when I have gotten over this Chelsea's loss. So keep this issue for now. After like one week, remind me so that we can discuss about it, okay? Good night, baby. I love you. But baby... Shh. Good night. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, Mr. Caleb. How is your day going? Great, my dear. And yours? Same. Good to hear that. Thanks for the food yesterday. It is one of the most delicious and sumptuous meal I have ever tasted. I was waiting for this hive. By the way, thanks, Day. I'm glad you like it. Like is an understatement. I overliked it and I really enjoyed it as well. Oh, I'm blushing already. Come on, you are a fantastic cook. You even deserve a trophy for that. Wow, <laughs> that would be great. A trophy? I'm definitely going to adore that. Really? Actually. Okay, maybe I should go design one very soon and put this inscription on it. Chef Cindy, best cook in the whole wide world. Caleb, you're very funny. Why are you pulling my legs this afternoon? I am not pulling your legs, there. I just said what the incredible me can do. You've made my day, dear. Always happy speaking with you. And what will I say? It's a great privilege knowing you. You have such a sweet personality. Oh, thanks. God bless you for always making me happy. Have a nice day. Bless you too. Do have a great day, dear. Cynthia, you just calm down. Since he already gave you a specific time to remind him, he just be patient and follow his instructions. But how can he add no challenge about this? Do you know he is testing your patience? As I said earlier, just be patient. Okay, it's alright. That reminds me, Cynthia, do you know Caleb has been cheating on me? Really? Please tell me more about this. Recently, he has been staying up late at night chatting. He also came back on one certain time with a food flask filled with food. When I asked him who made the food for him, he told me he bought it. Cynthia, have you ever seen any restaurant that sells food for customers inside a vacuum flask? He is a liar. Charity, don't believe him. Why will I believe him? Am I a child? Besides, I have caught him severally doing video calls with a strange lady. Hmm. Didn't I tell you? You are here suffering while himself is looking fresh and handsome all the time. I know he must have some side chicks. His own suffering doesn't tell on him like yours because he has his concubine taking care of him. Babe, you better wake up from your sleep. Cynthia, I know. See, I have already taken one lady's number from his phone. I did that secretly when he was in the bathroom last night. I went on Facebook and I found her there. I also discovered that she is married. Guess what? I equally found her husband's Facebook account too. The man's number is visible there. And I have already copied his number. I am thinking of calling the man to report his wife to him. Wonderful. Do that. Trust me, dear. I also screenshotted lots of their WhatsApp chat. And I have sent the screenshotted chat to my own phone. I am also going to forward all that to her husband. This is so smart of you. Young lady, before I say anything concerning the allegations you laid on my wife, Firstly, I would like to know how you got my phone number. I got it from Facebook, sir. Having found your wife's Facebook account, I realized she's married and I was able to track your own account. Alright, so do you have any concrete evidence to prove that my wife is really having an affair with your husband? Sure, sir. I have some of their chat on WhatsApp. Immediately I drop this call, I will follow them to you, including your wife's phone number to my claims. Alright, I think you should do that right away before we proceed with this discussion. All right, just give me some minutes, please. Sure, I'll be waiting. Cindy, you are such a very big disgrace to yourself. Oh, now I see. So this is the reason why you chose to be a housewife. 
so that she will have the time and freedom to play dirty games and commit adultery, isn't it? No, Vicin. It's not what you think. Please hear me out. I don't want to hear anything from you. You are such a horrible liar. Cindy, you are an ingrid. This is not up to a month. I gave you half a million to start up your so-called cooking business. Now, this is the best way you think you should pay me back? Vicent, God will be my witness that I am not dating that man. Caleb is just my friend. Come on, will you shut up? Liar, he is just your friend and the both of you kept exchanging romantic messages. You know what? I think I'm done tolerating your nonsense. Vincent, please, don't do this to me. I never cheated on you. Please believe me. Vincent, I love you and I cherish you as my husband. I will never cheat on you. You are crazy. Now listen, I am going in there to get your bags. You will be going back to the village to stay with your mother because I can't keep a adulterer under my roof. When you get back to your family, make sure you tell the whole truth about your stupidity. Now get up because you are leaving my house right now. Vincent, please don't do this to me. Vincent, this is not fair. Vincent, I'm begging you, hear me out. I can explain. Madame Felomena. Madame Felomena. Madame Felomena. How many times did I call you? I want you to tell me why you taught my son that kind of topic that has obeyed him to the extent of turning him into a nuisance. Why did you teach him the meaning of her apparent? Do you have any of your properties you want him to inherit? You did not see photosynthesis and teach him. What about part of speech? Nine planet, personal hygiene, and other relevant topics for his age. Why must you teach him her apparent? I am very angry with you because my son has capitalized on that topic to cause nuisance for me. See, if you know how you can format that information from his brain, you better do that fast before I will return here and arrest you. Caleb, what wrong have I done to deserve this? Cindy, it's enough. I am so sorry about this. I don't even know when she did all this. We haven't even talked about you the day I got my phone back from you. Had it been she called me directly, I would have kept distance with you if that's what she wants. Why would she call my husband? Why does she have to ruin my marriage? See, nobody is capable of ruining your marriage. This is only a temptation. Trust me, very soon all will be well and you will go back to your home. My dear, you get my back on this. I'm gonna be by you and we will both overcome this temptation, okay? Alright, thanks, Caleb. I'm just heartbroken because I don't know where to go now. Don't worry about where you will stay. I will sort that out myself. All I want from you is that you should be strong and courageous throughout this period. Hope you have eaten something. No, I haven't tasted anything and I'm not hungry. Oh no. I won't believe that. You have to eat something first. I will go get you food before we leave here, okay? Alright, thanks. Charity, what did you just do? Come on, will you answer me before I pounce on you? Oh, you want to beat me because of another woman? Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Caleb, go ahead and beat me. Shameless adulterer. Charity, did you just call me an adulterer? Oh, yes. Because that is what you are. You think you can frustrate my life the way you like? Never. Before you succeed in frustrating me in this marriage, I, Charity, will make sure I frustrate you and make your life miserable. Charity, have you gone nuts? Are you sure you are still in your right senses? Oh, yes. I am 100% okay. Rather, it is you, Caleb, that is not okay. After all the pains and sufferings I went through to support you while you were schooling, this is the way you want to pay me back, isn't it? You want to go and marry another wife because I am no more attractive to you. Caleb, you are very wicked. My God will judge you. Charity, have you gone mad? Charity, I am just trying to control my anger right now because if I dare lose my cool, I bet you won't find it funny at all. Caleb, lose it. 
Lose it though. I want you to lose it right now. Incorrigible cheater like you. He's not even remorseful at all. Baby, there's this business I want to start up. Tell me, what business is that? An online business. I want to start selling synthetic hair and human hair. Okay, good business. So when do you intend starting this business? It should be ending of the year. My stepbrother who stays in Canada is coming back this year as mass and he promised to give me some money to support my business. Wow, he must be a kind brother. Of course he is. Ever since we lost our parent, he has been so supportive. He sends money every month for our upkeeps. He is a nice man. That's good. So how much are you expecting from him? He promised he would give me one million naira when he returns. But baby, you are also going to support me with one million naira too. I need two million to start up this business. Alright, no problem. Since you will be starting up the business by the end of this year, I will definitely support you when it's time. Alright baby, thank you. You are welcome my angel. Cindy, I want you to feel free, okay? It is well, my dear. I know how bad you feel about this. I want you to be strong in this adversity that showed up. I have severely warned my wife and I promise you that she won't act any funny drama again. I blame myself more as a cause of all this. Caleb, you don't have to blame yourself. You never caused this. We were just friends. There is nothing else attached to our relationship. I think your wife and my hobby are the ones misunderstanding this whole thing. Exactly, my dear. They are accusing us wrongly. Anyway, the God of justice will surely vindicate us. Amen. So, whose house is this? My mentor's house. He traveled abroad to visit his family. And he isn't coming back anytime soon. Because he will be staying there for a year. Okay. So, does he approve me staying here? Of course. I already told him about you and explained this whole issue to him. He accepted and said you should stay until the issue is resolved. Oh, he's a kind man. May God bless him. Please, next time you speak with him, kindly extend my regards to him. All right, that's fine. Let me get you something to eat. Not now, Caleb. I'm not hungry. Maybe later. But you haven't had anything since today. Cindy, I beg you, stop starving yourself. MDC opportunity. Wow. One millionaire opportunity. You this guy, you get mine though. So you want to scam that lady? I should not scam her. Come on. MD, stop doling yourself. You see that lady? I go run on street. Hmm. I'm just scared because I care about you. I don't want someone to put you inside bottle or take your name to River Niger. Guy, you see that gender that had one on one conversation with the devil at the Garden of Eden? Fear them all. Star. They never reach. They cannot do anything. Hmm. Okay, oh. If you shall succeed in this coming, don't forget me, oh. If you give me, I go collect, oh. Really? Yes, now. Nah. That means you two will enter inside bottle. Ta, you know who I be? Me, which run there inside my body? Charity, how could you do such a thing? Is that the best approach for such situation? Oh yes, I am never regretting what I did. Caleb has been taking me for granted for a long time. Enough is enough. Charity, you are not an illiterate. Why are you acting like one? Oh no, I am. Pardon? Yes, you heard me. Let me act like an illiterate. Flora, you keep judging me because you are not in my shoes. This same man that is doing all this rubbish, it's the same man that made me drop out of school. So let me act like an illiterate because I have already lost my sense of education. Hence food. I will be acting like an illiterate because I am tired of tolerating nonsense. Ah, Charity, you really need help at this point. You need to visit a psychiatrist or better still visit a rehabilitation center because you are gone mad casually. You are already acting like a bipolar disorder patient. I need to take you to psychiatric hospital. Flora, you are the one that needs to visit the psychiatric hospital. You need to go there so that they can deliver you from this blunt speaking. Or better still, you should go to a deliverance ministry so that they will deliver you from the spirit of rudeness and harshness. <laughs> hey, I really feel you are cause you don't know what you are doing. I pray you shouldn't realize your stupidity when it is late. I'm out of here. Have a nice day. 
Bye. Don't even come back. Cynthia, I haven't seen Caleb for three days now. Are you serious? You mean he hasn't returned home since then? Yes. Ever since that day we had arguments over this issue. Caleb hasn't returned home. Neither has he called me. Hmm. Huh. He must definitely be with one of his mystery women. My dear, don't let that bother you. Anything he likes, let him do. Very soon, Nemesis will catch up with him. I hope you have reported to his family. No, I only told my family about this. Inform his own family too, so that whatever that happens to him, nobody will question you. Let them know about his escapades. Hmm. The children have been asking about their father. Don't even know what to tell them at this point. Simple. Just tell them that their father is an irresponsible man, sleeping around with women. I should tell them that. Those little children. Oh no, I don't agree with you on this one. Anyway, I already told them that he traveled. Hmm. So you are still covering him. Why not expose that idiot so that his children can know how irresponsible their father is? <laughs> you coming back from Caleb in case you have forgotten I am your wife and I have every right to question your absence in this house okay thanks for reminding me that you are my wife because I have actually forgotten that now listen you have messed up the privilege you have as my wife don't be surprised if we start living like strangers in this house henceforth Caleb what did you just say I believe you heard me clearly and I am not gonna repeat myself now, read my lips. You see that lady you pushed out of her husband's house for no reason. Henceforth, she would be my second wife because you have indirectly given her to me as a responsibility. I never planned of marrying a second wife, but if that lady's husband refuses to take her back, definitely she's gonna be my second wife. And guess what? She's gonna be the head wife. Excuse me. Good morning, John Boo. How are you? I am fine. How is Eva, my chocolate princess? She is fine. Oh, God, landlord, well done, oh. Charity International, I salute you. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Are you sure you are fine? Why asking such question? As you can see, Mr. MD, I am fine. Hmm, I'm just asking because I don't believe that someone whose husband just acquired a second wife should be fine. Mommy Eva, is that true? Mr. Caleb now has a second wife. Hey! There is fire on the mountain, oh. So that means very soon, my dear friend Andrew will be facing a lot of battles in order to retain his hair apparent title. Shut up! Come, you this boy. Are you sure you are still alright? They use hair apparent, do you? Caleb, you really need to control your emotions at this point in time so that you won't cause more mayhem. Gabriel, I don't care. I have tolerated enough of Charity's madness. How could she do such a thing? Her action shows that she doesn't even have regards for me as her husband. Caleb, you know how crazy women can be most times. At times, they allow their emotions to cloud their sense of reasoning. I think you should sit her down and gently talk to her. Sit who down? Charity? It's like you don't know how difficult that woman is. Maybe you should come stay with her for some time so you discover how Kentakero she is. Caleb, calm down. Every woman has her own bad side. I know they can be difficult most times. It takes patience to live with a woman. When I married my wife, Flora, initially, she was this rude and blood-speaking type that never listened to instructions. I sat back, studied her well and reassessed her relationships to know where I wasn't getting it right. That made her marriage face turbulence. Then, after all that, I realized my mistakes and she equally amended her ways. Today we are living in peace and harmony. But Gabriel, you know I have been trying my best. I have done everything possible to please Charity, but she still seems unimpressed. I understand that you have been trying your best. 
You see, sometimes what causes fights and quarrels among couples is misunderstanding. When you don't really understand someone, you find it hard to condone that person's bad sides. Kele, please, I want you to exude wisdom as a man at this critical time. Gabriel, you don't understand. Just let me be for now. Hmm, Kele, two wrongs do not make a right. Hope you know that. Whatever, man. I'm fed up. Hmm, I don't know she has such a bad attitude. Imagine cheating on your husband right under his roof. I am not too surprised because I have always known her as a busybody who enjoys being high to doing silly things. Can you imagine? This nonsense happens just one week after I gave her half a million to start up her business. Hmm, are you serious? She's an ingrate. What a gross stick and repressible behavior. So where is she now? How are you sure that she has gone back to her hometown? I don't even want to know her whereabouts. Anywhere she likes, let her go. So where are your children? Hope she didn't live with them. She won't even dare that. My children are in the boarding house. They attend a boarding school. Okay, that's fine. Don't allow her have access to your children. She is a shameless woman. Very shameless. Please don't forget about that idiot and discuss important things. So, Barista Felicia, what would you like to have for dinner before you go? Um, Vincent, can I sleep over here? Because I'm very tired. You know, today was hectic. I just need to rest. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll go. Just order anything for us to eat. Okay, no problem. You can sleep over. I even wanted to say that, but was thinking if it's going to sound absurd to you. Since she left, I have been all alone in this house. I will really appreciate you keeping me company tonight. All right, that's fine. I'll sleep over. Thanks, dear. Let me get you something to eat. Thanks, dear. Cindy, hope you are not still brooding over this. Caleb, I'm fine. Thanks for all you've done for me. You don't have to thank me, Cindy. I should be the one thanking you for trusting me enough to cry on my shoulders. Tell me what's bothering you right now. Speak to me. My keys. I really want to see them because I don't know the lies Vincent might feed those children with. I don't want my children to see me as a bad person. I don't want them to see me as a disappointment. Cindy, please, not again. Please, each time I see you like this, I always feel like crying with you. Just can't imagine all these are happening to you because of me. So tell me, how many children do you have? Just two children, a boy and a girl. My daughter is older than my son. So where are they now? At home? No, they are in boarding school. Wow, in boarding school. Are they that big to be in boarding school? Yes, they are already in secondary school. Really? You have given birth to grown-up children? Yeah, my daughter is 12 and she is in year 2 in college. Why my son is 10 and he just in year 1. Wow, they are already grown-up kids. Please, can I ask you a question? Alright, go ahead. How old are you? I'm 28 years old. Wow, you already have grown-up kids. You must have been married at an early stage. Yeah, I gave birth to my daughter when I was just 16. You gave birth when you were 16? Yeah, I gave birth out of wedlock. Before then, I and Vincent, who is now my husband, we are just friends. He do come around to play with me and my brothers. When I reached puberty, I realized that I was having feelings for him. We became more closer and we started dating. The rest became the story that brought us together as husband and wife. Hmm. And I understand your pain. He is your first love and the both of you have lived together for a long time. It is well. Cynthia, I don't care anymore about Caleb. Anyhow he likes, let him live his life. Once I have enough money, I will rent another house far away and pack out of here with my children. Due to this issue, I have been facing a lot of embarrassment from neighbors in this house. Caleb has turned me into an object of mockery. Hmm. I blame you, Charity, because you refuse to listen to me ever since I've been telling you to leave this to your Caleb. Can't you see he doesn't like you? How can a man abandon his own wife for days to be with a strange woman? What nonsense! Tell me, has Flora heard about this? I believe that idiot will support him. Of course she did. The rude and blonde speaker called me a bipolar disorder patient. What? 
Flora called you that and you let her go scot-free. You didn't beat the hell out of her. Cynthia, just leave Flora's case. I know how to handle her. She's a minor case to me. Why is that lady so rude and annoying? No wonder maybe her attitude is the reason why her village people had tied her womb. Who knows the person she insulted that placed the cause of barrenness on her? Charity, I'm going to confront her about this. I think it is high time we dealt with that lady so that she will learn how to bridle her tongue. Cynthia, you don't need to bother yourself. I can handle her. Trust me, I will treat Flora's fuck up. Charlie, how are we going to turn up for this end of the year party? Which end of the year party? The Anna Committee of Friends party now. Oh, okay. Wow, you just reminded me something. Guy, we need to start planning for that party. Most of our club members have been buying exotic cars since this year began. It would be a shameful thing to us if we didn't change our own cars too. I mean, we have to discard those crabs. Exactly. You just said what I wanted to say. So how are we going to raise money to buy new cars? MD, you should go get a loan from the bank. How much loan are we talking about? It depends on the kind of car you want to buy. Me, I would go for a BMW. What about you? I would like a Range Rover Sport. So, how do we apply for this loan? Firstly, you have to find out the actual cost of those vehicles, after which we would know how much loan we need. So, what thing we go use as collateral? Ah, see me see question. Before waiting you won't use, you have to use your properties. For example, that's your ugly wife that I don't even understand her value in your life. We can use her as a collateral. Charlie, turn the fire you. So tell me, Charles, what's the next step in this relationship? Of course, the relationship is stepping higher. Hmm, Charles, I know why I'm asking. Why are you asking, baby? Because I'm pregnant for you again. What? Are you okay? Why will you be getting like a chicken? Didn't I tell you that I am not ready to have a child now? Come on. I'm a royal priest. Our tradition forbids me to bear children out of wedlock. It is a taboo in our kingdom. Since you know all this, why have you refused the idea of safe sex? Come on, Cynthia. You're not a child. I believe you are matured enough to run this kind of paru. Charles, why don't you come and pay my bride price? This is almost a year we have been dating. Why are you so impatient? It is not even up to a year and you're already complaining. Haven't you seen people that dated for 10 years before they got married? Ah, Charles. So you want us to date for 10 years before we would get married? Flora, do you know you are a rude fool? And you are an idiot. Cynthia, get out of my way now because I don't have your time this afternoon. I won't get out of your way until you tell me the reason why you call Charity a bipolar disorder patient. Oh, now I see. A bodyguard on a mission. Yes, I call her that. And I remain unapologetic about that. Flora, you are playing with fire. And who is the fire? Oh, come on. I am not afraid of a chicken like you. Do your worst. Look at her, barring witch. This is the reason why your village people tied your womb. You are very rude and it shall not be well with the rude. <laughs> you call me barren. Okay, I won't say much on this because you didn't mock me rather. You mocked him who is the giver of children. And I believe that very soon he's going to reply your mockery. Have a nice day. Cindy, your face looks brighter today. Yeah, because I'm happy. Wow. Tell me what's the good news. I spoke with my children today. So excited to hear my baby's voices. Wow. How did you get them? Through their school welfare department, I have the phone number of one of the welfare department personnel. Wow. That's good. So are they coming home anytime soon? No, but they will be having their school open day next week. They are already anticipating my visitation. I should be there. I don't understand. You should be there or you definitely gonna be there. Why the uncertainty there? I'm definitely gonna be there. That's good. So, am I allowed to come with you too? Sure, why not? 
Mommy, you have been crying since yesterday. Is it not your father? Your father and his friend called me a bad woman. After they finished eating the food I suffered to prepare. I don't understand. What happened? Why did they call you that? Because they wanted to borrow 20,000 Naira from me. And I told them that I don't have such amount of money for now. Because I just finished restocking my goods some days ago. So because you refused to give them the money they asked for. That is why they gave you the title, bad woman. Yes, I didn't do them anything bad. Mommy, it's okay. You see that name isn't a bad one. At least, there is still significance and importance attached to that name. Jumbo, what are you saying? Mommy, as you are now called a bad person, you can be used to elaborate and illustrate the characteristics of a bad person. Sorry to say, you can be used as a bad example. Mommy, am I communicating? Chopu! <laughs> uh, oh, Flora, what have you done to deserve all this? They now address me as a bad witch. God, I believe that you can see all this that is going on. God, please do not be silent anymore. Come and speak for me because I'm tired. Hey. <clears throat> Flora, please, it's okay. God will surely turn their mockery into a testimony someday. Let's just keep having faith in him. He will wipe away your tears soon. <laughs> soon? Come on, how soon? Because I'm already getting weary. My enemies is now used me to catch fun. Before I got married, I have always wished my marriage to be the happily ever after tale. But why are these things not working the way I expected? Hey, why are we facing such predicaments? Flora, please let your heart not be weary. The ways of God are not the same with the ways of man. After the storm comes the rain, troubles may last for the night, but joy surely comes in the morning. Let's keep our faith strong. The God we serve neither sleep nor slumbers. At his appointed time, he will perform a miracle for us. And all those laughing at us will now come and congratulate us. It's okay, my love. Bring your hands. Let's pray. Let's talk to God this night before we sleep. <music> Babe, what's up with your so-called husband? Cynthia, please, don't bring up Caleb's matter here. I have already told you that I don't give a damn about that idiot. Anyhow he likes, let him live his life. Good, but Hope is still sending money for his children upkeeps because you won't be the one to carry his cross while he is with another woman playing dirty games. He came back yesterday and dropped 10,000 naira. He gave the money to his son to give me. Good for him. Hope he has given you back the money you paid for his son. The competition money. He hasn't given me all. He is waiting for me to ask him and I'm not going to do that. That reminds me, has Andrew gone for the competition? No. They postponed it to next time. Okay. Charity, I think it's high time you got yourself a better man to take care of you. A man who will pamper and wash your entire body with money. Another man again? Cynthia. I am not always lucky in finding a good man. For now, I just want to be alone and take care of my children. Charity, a woman can't handle all her problems alone. You need a shoulder to cry on. Listen, there's this guy from my hometown. He is very rich. I met him at the club last night and while we were discussing, your call came in. So I put my phone on loudspeaker in order to hear you well. Because the background was too noisy. So what now happened? Calm down, let me finish my story now. After answering your call, he asked me some questions about you and he also confessed that he fell in love with your sweet voice. Guess what? He said he would like to meet you as soon as possible. So we are all gonna hang out this weekend. Whom am I gonna leave my kids for? Cynthia, please, just let me be. I am tired of men and their wala. This is one reason why I always get mad at you. Sometimes you are primitive. Why are you obsessed with your kids? Are you the only one that has children? 
or will they die if you leave them just for one day? Now you they always say make a call so for you. Now I won't give you link to get the soap. You can't they misbehave. No make me vest for you. <music> Hello there. Welcome. Glad to see you home. How was work today? Great. How are you today? I'm good. Just came in some hours ago. Where went you? Went to the market to get some soup items. Guess the delicious meal I made for you. I don't think I even have the time to get. On hearing this, my stomach now rumbles. <laughs> you leave your for me. Okay, I made white soup with pounded yam. Oh my heavens. My favorite. Dear, I can't wait for my stomach to dilute this content that you just mentioned now. You know what? Let's have a deal here. You go in and start arranging that package. Please don't forget to garnish it too. Myself will rush into the bathroom now to have a shower. So we'll be meeting in the dining in the next 10 minutes. Now, hurry up, madam. Ah, oh, kill me. What a foodie. <music> Charity, so you sent your bodyguard to come fight me, isn't it? Flora, if you know you've come here to display madness, you better get out of my shop before I throw you out myself. You wanna throw me out of your shop? Oh, come on. You better don't hack any silly drama here, cause I promise you that you will regret it. Just take a look at yourself. A mature woman like you, that lacks wisdom. Charity, why are you using your hands to tear down your marriage? And how is that your business? Flora, is it your business? I'm asking you, busybody, fly. You have already labelled yourself as an illiterate, so I won't be surprised to see any silly actions from you. Now listen to me. It is only a foolish woman that tears down a marriage. A wise woman whose marriage faces turbulence will always find a way to manage it, rebuild it and preserve it. Charity, a word is enough for the wise. I tell you again. If you want to help yourself, separate yourself from your good for nothing friend. One who mingles with a chicken, clocks, but one who rolls with eagles, sounds high. Have a nice day. MD, I'm suggesting that we should get a single loan. That is, let one person collect the 10 million naira. Then we share the money. Why? And who is gonna go for that loan? MD, you know I don't have any tangible asset to present as collector. The car I'm even driving now is not up to 1 million. So apart from your car, you don't have other properties like electrical appliances inside your house? MD, you know banks do not accept such as collector. They prefer properties like house, land, or a very good and pricey vehicle. MD, you have all that. Therefore, it will be easy for you to collect that loan sharp sharp. Even if it is 100 million that you ask for, them go give you. See, he's smart. Them go give me because now my papa face, they for the money. See, Charlie, I don't understand this game. Where you they want to play here? Guy, I don't send you. You are on your own, no? O Y O, or your. Ah, ah, senior man, why they for my hand now? <laughs> So, Barrister Vicent, how are your children? They are fine. I spoke with them days ago. Did you tell them about their mother's absence? No, I don't have to do that. Telling them such might distract them from their studies. My children are too fond of their mother, especially my son. Hmm, they are too fond of their mother. I wonder how they would handle this when they finally get to know that their mother is no longer staying under this roof. I know they will be hungry and uncomfortable if they come back and find out about this. Anyway, I am still their father and I can control them. You better do, because I don't understand the meaning of they are too fond of their mother. Let them know that their mother is an irresponsible and undisciplined woman so that they won't follow her footsteps, especially your daughter. Don't worry, Felicia. I already know how to handle all this. So, Vincent, aren't you hungry? Let's go out and find something to eat. Felicia, today is Saturday. I think we should cook something in this house instead. Vincent, you know I don't cook. Please, let's eat outside. Charity, meet my kinsman, Francis, a noble and wealthy man, alias importer-exporter. 
Francis, meet my good friend Charity. Hi, Charity. You look charming. Nice to meet you. Hi. It's a pleasure being here. Thanks for the compliment. Nice to meet you too. Ah, she is well cultured and sophisticated as well. Oh yes, she is indeed a sophisticated woman. You're definitely gonna fall in love with her when you know her better. Come on, I think I'm falling in love already. She has such charming eyes and succulent lips. Francis, don't be naughty. Remember, she is your guest. Okay, pardon my manners, but I confess your friend is so beautiful. So, what drink would you like to have? I have red wines, beers, rums, liquors, and some whiskies, of course. Let us have some whiskey. Someone got to be risky today. <laughs> Cynthia, the risky babe. <laughs> <laughs> Francisco, my homeboy, I defeat you, Joe. So the why I was going through a newspaper at work today, I came across an advert for a cooking show. It seems more like a competition, and the winner will be awarded with lots of gifts and cash prize. Wow, where is this taking place? This state, apparently, it will hold at event center in the town, not too far from this city. I would like you to get the form and apply. Hope you are interested. Why not? Cooking is my hobby, and I always wish I could stand in bigger platforms someday and showcase my talent to the world. I would really like to seize this opportunity. That's good. So we will be going to get the form this weekend so that you can register before registration closes. Oh, thank you so much, Caleb. I pray we succeed in this. I am grateful, thanks. You are welcome, my dear. Andy, I have a good news for you. Yes, Daddy, we have good news for you. What kind of news is that? They gave Jumbo the bat of the nicest child in his school today. Who? Jumbo? Nita's child. Oh yes, daddy. And they also gave me an alarming round of applause. Tell me that is a joke. Which joke? Why are you sounding like this? Why are you not happy that your son was awarded with the Nita's child badge? For now, I don't have anything to say until tomorrow when I get to his school. Uh uh, daddy. What are you going to school to do? I just need to see all the students in that York school. I need to see what they look like because right now I am absolutely flabbergasted. Cynthia, please, I really want you in my life. Please stop pushing me away. I want you to be my wife. Please accept me. Ben, why are you this stubborn? I've already told you that I am not interested in having any relationship with you. Cynthia, please, I promise you that I will not break your heart. I may not be rich as you want, but I promise to do whatever that's within my power to make you happy for the rest of your life. Cynthia, please give me a chance. You know one major problem I have with you concerning this marriage proposal? It is that you have already said you can't afford to have an elaborate wedding. Your plan is just to carry one jar of palm wine and draw for the elders of the village and after that, you will drag me home as a goat that was given to you for free of charge. Ben, I'm too classy to marry a broke man. I'll be traveling this weekend. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. For how long will you be there? Just a week. A week is too long for me. So I'm gonna be here all alone for one week in boredom. Dear, I'm gonna miss you, but I just have to make this business trip. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you lots of interesting movies that will keep you busy. Oh, I really appreciate that. But I think I will need more of culinary books and magazines. You know the cooking competition is fast approaching, so I need to prepare well for that competition. Wow, that's true. Please remind me of this tomorrow afternoon, so that immediately I close from work. I will go to the bookshop and get the culinary books for you. All right. Thank you so much, Caleb. You've been very supportive of my career. I wish I had known you earlier. God will bless you for all your kindness. Amen. And bless you too, my dear.
So, Charity, you said you were once married, isn't it? Yes, but we are not together anymore. Okay, you are a divorcee. We haven't divorced yet. We just separated. Right now, he is already living with another woman. Are you serious? Hmm. Okay. So if we start dating now, hope you will agree to move in with me. For now, I can't say. But I will think about that and I will give you a response later. All right. I believe your friend already told you. I am a married man with three wives. My first wife is in the village. The second one is abroad with her children. And the last one is in this same state, but not living with me. I am a chief in my village and I am entitled to many wives as I wish. I am also a banker by profession, a bank manager to be precise. Okay, good to hear this. You have a nice personality and I respect your openness. Thanks, sweetie. So you said you need 100,000 Naira to support your business. Yes, sir. I actually want to change business because the business I am doing now is really stressful. It wears me out daily. Hey, uh, don't worry. I will see what I can do on that. Hopefully, by next week, you will get my message. Okay, sir. Thanks for your concern. You are welcome, my darling. Can you give me some of that, your charming smiles? Why do you always like tickling my fancy? That's because someone is obsessed. Caleb, can you stop all this? How can you abandon your wife to be with another woman? Caleb, you call yourself a Christian, but you are not exuding the Christian life. Caleb, leave that woman and go back to your wife. Gabriel, point of correction. I haven't abandoned charity. I am only giving her space for now. I still go back home to be with them. And I also make sure I give her money every week for the upkeep of the children. I have chosen not to be under the same roof with charity lately because I really want to have peace of mind and concentrate properly on my job. Her troubles sometimes haunt me to the extent I won't be able to concentrate at work. Gabriel, every man wants where he will have peace of mind. Caleb, that is not a plausible excuse for you to be living with another woman who is not your wife. You have been accused of adultery already. Your actions now might prove their accusations right. And you are also risking your integrity as a Christian. A goat can never be with a yam without eating it one day. Caleb, don't create more problems for yourself. Go back to your wife. So baby, what's up with your cousin? The one that promised you one million naira. Is he back? No, he isn't back. But I spoke with him some days ago and he told me his flight would be this month end. So we all are expecting him this month end. Okay, that's fine. There's this container I want to ship in next week. It's worth 50 million. Wow, 50 million! Are all the goods for you? Of course, they are all mine. It's coming from Hong Kong. I'm just running Helter Skelter now because I will be needing like 3 million naira to run that container when it lands. I literally use all my savings to ship in that container. Ah, and you really need to clear that container once it arrives. So how are you going to do it now? I'm thinking of getting a loan from a bank. So have you applied for the loan? Not yet. Still contemplating about that. I want to see if I can borrow from a friend first. If I couldn't, I would then go to the bank. Alright, I pray God grants you favor in all your endeavors. Amen. Thanks, baby. That's why I want to make you my wife. You're a very good prayer warrior. <laughs> Please don't make me laugh, Charles. The man is a very nice man. He gave me 10,000 naira for my transport yesterday. Wow, a whole 10k just for transport. <laughs> Charity, didn't I tell you that that man is thinkingly rich? Babe, we don't see MAGA. So what is he saying about the 100k? He said he will get back to me on that. Though he kind of said something like, I will get a message from him on that next week. What? Next week? 
Babe, we don't blow. Baby, give me high five. In fact, chop knuckles, Jare. I believe me, Joe. Money where you never see. You they rejoice like this. I will hold my peace until I get the alert. Babe, this money we go share and 50-50. Why? Am I not the one that will date him? Which kind of nonsense to be that? How did you know him? Am I not the one that connected the both of you? You have to settle me as a middle man, Joe. Okay, you take 60 while I take 40. Okay? Cynthia, you too like money. Shut up, now you will not like money. See her big head. Crazy girl. <laughs> So MD, how far now? Have you started processing the loan? Yeah, they already came to inspect some of my properties. Wow. Okay. So what's the next step? I have to submit some required documents, which I'm yet to do. MD, please be fast about this. You know the month of December is just a few weeks from now. We have to buy those vehicles as soon as possible. Have you seen a car dealer that has your BMW brand? MD, that will not be a problem. Once we have cash at hand, we will purchase those vehicles sharp sharp. Eh? Guy, how about that one million naira that you want to collect from your babe? I won't collect or I won't scam her. Don't know how to run that Mogu street. She said her brother will be returning this month end. Hopefully by next month, I will brainwash her and collect the money from her. Charlie, are you sure you will make heaven? Now you know. Young lady. Are you okay? What did you take me for? A fool? Oh, so you think I am for a Christmas that would just give 100k just like that? You must be out of your senses. You better cooperate now or I will force this on you and nothing will happen after now. Francis, I am not going to have sex with you. Do your worst. Do I look like a whore? So because you gave me 100,000 naira, that is why you want to force sex on me. Don't you know I am a married woman with kids? You dare not intimidate me with your stinking money. Charity, turn the fire you. Oh, it is now that you are claiming a married woman. After you have collected 100k from me. Charity, you have met the wrong person. It is either you surrender your body to me or else you are not stepping out of this house. Hello, Musa. I want you to listen attentively to what I'm about to say. That woman that came here this morning, don't ever allow her cross that gate. If she leaves this compound, I will fire you. Have I made myself clear? Young lady, you will remain here. If you refuse to comply, for now, I don't have your time. Let me go to work and return. Then I will have your time. Excuse me. Cynthia, I can't agree to sleep with him. That man is a beast in human form. Cynthia, I will never commit adultery because of money. He only asked me to date him and I agreed. I never forced him to give me that money. He willingly did that. Why is he not forcing me to sleep with him? Do I look like a whore? Cynthia, you better call your so-called kinsman and tell him to release me from this bondage before I call the cops on him. Relax, Charity. I will call him now. Sometimes Francis can be a difficult person. You should have just agreed with him to avoid all these problems. God forbid. Cynthia, I am not a harlot and I will never stick with any man because of money. It is never in my blood. In fact, I don't mind returning his useless money to him. Charity, calm down. I'm going to speak with him now. Don't worry, he will let you go after I finish speaking with him. Cynthia, you better do that quickly because I'm about calling the cops. Please calm down, Charity. Dokas and Jumbo, I don't understand what is going on. What are those children doing in this house since yesterday? Their mother went out yesterday, but didn't return. So we brought them here so that we can take care of them until their parents return. Hey, Charity, 
Ha! Charity went out since yesterday and hasn't returned. Have you tried calling her? Yes! I have been calling, but she is not picking calls. What kind of Olingo, where person go they do, where she no go pick call? Anyway, that's none of my business. Now, the expenses I make in this house will now be double. I will have to start feeding other people's children. Daddy, don't complain. It is a nice business. We can actually use these children to establish a motherless and fatherless baby's home. We will be getting gifts and support from many NGOs. According to what my teacher, Madame Philomena, taught us in school. Or we can also rent the children out to children sitters. For example, Mr. Caleb and his wife never return again. We can sell their children and make money from them. Daddy, consider this motherless baby's business. Tempo, shut up that you're getting mouth. Felicia, I don't like the way you mess up the room where you sleep. You haven't swept that room for once. I'm the one that always sweep that visitor's room where you sleep. Felicia, is this right? Vincent, please, it's too early for this. Spare me this nagging this morning. What do you expect me to do when I didn't see broom? You didn't see broom? Did you ask me about that and I didn't show you where to get broom? Felicia, you are a woman. You should have a good personal hygiene. What? Vincent, are you trying to say I don't have a personal hygiene? Not at all. Come on. How can a woman finish combing her hair and leave strands of her hair all over the floor for days? Isn't that weird? Vincent, I was not trained to do domestic work in my father's house. Don't expect me to come here and do that for you. If you need a cleaner, then go get a maid. Excuse me. Bank man, nah. The one that wants to help me forge some of those documents required so that I can get the loan easily. Oh, okay. So are you to give him any money? Yes, now. Nah. That's the reason why I wanted us to see. He asked me to pay him 50k. So we will split the money. You pay 25. I pay 25. Okay, no problem. But hope this is gonna work. I mean, the man is legit. Of course, he's genuine. He is a bank manager, to be precise. Once we give him this money, we will definitely get the loan. In one week time, according to him. Well, that's good. It's all right. I will send you the money first thing tomorrow morning. What time do you intend leaving for his house? Anything from 10 a.m. All right. I wish you best of luck. You will surely succeed. Amen, oh. Gabriel, I don't just understand charity. How can I be calling my wife for three days now and she isn't picking my calls? Gabriel, can you imagine? Has it gotten this bad that I can't hear from my wife? Maybe she's really angry because you haven't been coming home the way you used to do. Did you tell her before making this trip? No, I didn't. You see, how do you expect her to be happy when she doesn't know her husband's whereabouts anymore? Caleb, I think you and your wife should bury this hatchet and reconcile. Because of your children's sake. Come on, for how long will the both of you be living like cat and rat? Caleb, you are the man and you are the one who needs to take this bold step. Sit her down and iron things out with her. Gabriel, I have tried all that in the past, but it never worked. Anyway, I have heard what you said. Thanks for your advice. When I get back home, I will talk to her. Is that a promise? Come on, Gabby, trust me. I am a man of my words. I will surely do what I just said now. All right, that's good. <laughs> Francis, what have I done to you to deserve this kind of punishment? Francis, please free me now. Let me go and see my children. I beg you. Oh, so you know how to beg. When I was begging you, you were behaving like a mad dog. So you can beg this way. Now listen, you are not going anywhere. You will remain here until I am done dealing with you. Francis, you have done enough to me already. Please release me out of this bondage. Consider that I am a mother who has little children. I don't know what would be the condition of my children now. Please, free me, let me go. You are talking trash. I don't give a damn about your fucking children. Who cares? As I said earlier, 
you're gonna remain here until I am ready to release you. Hello, how have you been? Been fine, and you? I'm doing great here. I'm really missing you. I miss you more. Can't wait to see you. When will you be returning? Hopefully by weekend. Okay. That's close. Can't wait to see you again. Thanks for the books you got me. They have really helped me. I've learned so many things from those books. God bless you for buying me such wonderful books. One reason why I like you is that you really know how to thank people. And your expression of gratitude always makes me happy. God bless you too, Cindy. Can't wait to see you. Hope all the gadgets in the house are working well. You not having issues with them, isn't it? Oh yes, all are working perfectly. No issues at all. Thanks for showing concern. Alright dear, take good care of yourself. See you soon. Take care too. Bye. Why are you delaying to give me that money? You know it is this morning that I am going there. I bet give me the money, Joe, make I go. Calm down, Joe. Every time you'll be shouting. Did I say I won't give it to you? Then give it to me. Why are you delaying it? You want to use guy man's brain for me, Abby? Don't play dirty games with me, oh. Give me the money. MD, I don't know what you are saying now. Which one is I'm playing dirty games with you? Didn't I tell that I was expecting some money this weekend? Why won't you be patient? If I have money, will I be seeking a loan? Oh boy, calm down now. Charlie, I don't even have the time to listen to all this nonsense. Just give me the money. Let me get out of here. Um, the cash is not with me here. You follow me. Let's go to the nearest ATM terminal and rejoin the money. So because of common 25,000 Naira, I should be following you around like a dog this morning. It's all right. Just get out from here. Let's start going. Finally, we are leaving tomorrow. Hope you have packed all your belongings because we will be leaving here before dawn tomorrow. Yeah, I'm done packing. What about you? Yeah, I'm done too. So are we going to see the chairman today? Sure, we have to see him today. I hope he comes around. I thought I heard someone saying that he traveled. Who said so? No, he didn't. I saw him yesterday. You saw him yesterday? Yeah. Okay, I just hope he comes today. As you said, I have important things to discuss with him. Me too. So, Mr. MD, you said you need 10 million Naira loan. Yes, sir, 10 million. Okay, our interest is 20%. 20%? Is it not too much? Why 20%? Don't ask me that question. That is our interest rate. So, are you in or out? Um, let me be in now. I need this money badly. Better. So, did you come with the 50k based on our agreement? Yes, sir. I came with it. Very good. Um, excuse me, sir. I am pressed. Can I use the restroom, please? Sure. Just go straight down this way. You will see the visitor's restroom just by your left. All right. Thank you, sir. I'll be right back. Hi, Jumbo. Hello, Andrew. You are back. Welcome. Thank you. Jumbo, I want you to help me with my assignments. I don't really understand. Today's own work. Okay, which topic is it? Proverbs. Our teacher asked us to write out a proverb and explain the meaning. Okay, that's very simple. I know one proverb. I actually coined this one myself. Wow. Can you say it? Sure. Here is the proverb. Person way chop palliative. Nahim go take vaccine. What does 
That's mean. Meaning, it is someone who eats palliative that should take vaccine because it is not good to take injection without food. Nice proverb, Abby. Oh no, I will not write this. I am sure I will fail this. You are an evil man. Thunder fire you. How can you kidnap someone else's wife and tie her down in your house? Oh, so you want to use her for rituals? All your plans don't scatter already. MD or whatever you call yourself, you are playing with fire. This is not the reason why you came here. Better mind your business and get out of my house. Sure, I will leave your nonsense house, but mind you, I am not living without her. MD, you better don't try me this morning. You are living with who? I used the one that brought her here. MD, get out of my house before I deal with you. Ta! You can't do anything. You are just making empty threats that will never move me. If you do anything funny here, I will make sure I use blow to uproot all your teeth. I will make sure I beat you to stupor. Forget this suit you are seeing on me. I am not a gentleman at all. Me, I be Agbero. I am a born tout. I go pieces bottle for your head. Just try me and see. Charity, get your bags. Let's leave here immediately. Why will you agree to such? How much is the money that made you take such risk? Imagine if I was never there. That evil man could have succeeded with his plans. He might even kill you without no one knowing. Charity, I am disappointed in you. Even if your husband is cheating on you. That wasn't the best way to react. You should have come to me and tell me you needed some money. I will help you instead of risking your life. Charity, please, don't ever go back to such again. Okay, MD. I have heard all what you've said. Thank you so much for what you've done for me. Thanks for saving my life. Thanks for also taking care of my children in my absence. God will reward you for your good deeds. I promise I will never go back to that man again. I thought he was a kind and generous man. I never knew he was a beast. I won't have anything to do with him anymore. Does your husband know about this? I don't think so. According to your wife, he hasn't been here ever since I left. I guess he traveled for business as usual. So when he comes back and finds out, what will you tell him? I won't tell him about this. Unless he hears this from another person, then I will explain this to him. Besides, he has already abandoned me to be with his second wife. He doesn't like me anymore. But please, MD, don't tell him this. Okay, but if you feel you need a man in your life, Instead of going to meet all those sons of Pharaoh, why not come to me? I am also seeking for a second wife. I can give you the form so that you would apply. Trust me, I'm going to take good care of you. Excuse me, Mr. MD. Is she walking away? You better grab this opportunity. Oh. A lot of people are even queuing for this. Baby girl, MD you are seeing here is a hot cake. Oh. Welcome. Thanks. How have you been? Been fine. Charity, you have been fine and you refuse to pick my calls for days. Charity, what happened? I lost my phone. Just found it this afternoon. You lost your number and you never bothered to call me with another line, knowing that I must have been calling. Charity, consider your actions. Are they right? The way yours aren't right. You abandoned us to be with your mystery woman. You come back home anytime you like. What do you expect from me? Besides, you already said we are now strangers, not couples. Therefore, don't be surprised if I display any strange attitude. Really? Exactly. All right, where are my kids? They are inside.
Dockers and John Bo, I am very grateful for all you've done for my kids. You told me how you took good care of them. God bless you. Amen. God bless you to charity. It is our pleasure. But please, next time, don't abandon your children without handing them over to someone. Just imagine if we were not around. Charity, please, don't repeat this again, no. It's all right, Dockers. I won't. I never planned to stay as long as I did. Something happened that restricted me from coming back. But everything is fine. Thank you so much, Dockers. You are welcome. Thanks to John Boo. Don't thank me because I'm not happy with you at all. Later, I would really like to know where you have been since all these days. And you are going to tell me nothing but the truth. John Boo, am I the one you are talking to like that? Don't you have respect? John Boo, is she your mate? Will you apologize to her now? Mommy, I am a very good civic education student. And I know my fundamental rights. I have every right to sue her to court for abandoning her children. And she needs to pay us all the money we spent on her children. And she has to pay that with interest to or I will report her to human rights. Excuse me. Charity, please forgive me. Honestly, I wasn't around. I went to see my stepbrother, the one I told you about that lives in Canada. He came back last week and asked me to come see him. No wonder I was calling your line, but you weren't picking my calls. I thought you lost your phone. Cynthia, that man has a god to rape me three good times. What? He raped you? Oh no, Charity, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, just leave this battle to me. I will definitely deal with that idiot. I will treat his fuck up. Ah, that man is a beast. Frankly speaking, I don't know he is that mean. He made me leave my children for days. Hmm, I regret knowing that man. Cynthia, you see why I told you initially? That I wasn't interested in having any relationship with any man. I am not always lucky when it comes to that. I just want to be alone for the rest of my life. I don't want to date or marry. I just want to be like this. Even if Caleb refuses to come back to me, I would be fine living this way. Charity, I understand how you feel. Trust me, I feel your pain too, but I want you to do me a favor. Please don't allow this to make you too distraught. As for that wicked man named Francis, I will surely deal with him. Does your husband know about this? No, though he was angry that he called me for days and I didn't pick up his calls. So what did you tell him? I told him that I misplaced my phone. Good, even if he later finds out, don't ever make the mistake of telling him that you were raped. If you do, you have four couple. Mommy, we miss you. I miss you too, my angel. I'm sorry, my babies. I won't leave you guys again. Something happened over there, so I couldn't come back. Mommy, what happened? As I told you guys, something bad happened, so mommy couldn't return. Mommy, please, not leave us again. Sure, my angel. Mommy won't leave you again, okay? Come, my babies. Come and hug mom. Cindy, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, dear. We can now address you as Chef Cindy. Thanks for the compliment. Honestly, I owe you lots of things. I am dedicating my trophy to you there. Wow, I'm honored. Caleb, you made this possible. You brought the information. You supported me financially. You encouraged me, motivated me. And despite your busy schedules, you made our time to be there on the competition day. Your smiles and cheers made me more confident. I don't know where to start in expressing my gratitude. May the blessings of God never cease in your life. May you experience peace and joy for the rest of your days. You've made my dream come true. God bless you. Thanks for the prayer. 
God bless you too for making me smile and laugh every day of my life. It is a great pleasure knowing you. And what will I say? It is a blessing knowing you. I just feel like sleeping in your room tonight. How I wish it is possible, but the walls of marriage won't permit that. Anyway, maybe I should come to your room and sing you a sweet lullaby for you to sleep well tonight. Should I say yes or no? Because a lot of things are running through my mind right now. Kill, please. I don't want to laugh tonight. I'm out of here. Good night. So, baby, when will he be giving you the money? He said month end. Okay. So, how far with your container? Have you cleared it? Not yet. I have money to gather 1.5 million. It remaining 1.5 million to complete the 3 million required to clear my container. Okay. So, how do you intend raising the balance? Baby, I'm still trying to see if I can raise money before this month ends. I have been running Helter Skelter because of this. Hey, yeah, I wish I had. I would have given you. Baby, don't worry. God will provide, okay? Amen. Thanks, love. You see, I am more bothered about this because I want to quickly sell those goods in that container so I can use the money to plan our wedding. Wow, are you serious? Of course, baby. You know we men don't always voice out our problems. All we show is actions. Just start getting prepared because very soon, we're traveling down to our hometowns to see our parents. Wow, I can't wait. Thanks, baby. Jumbo, you said you want to see me. Hope no problem. Maybe there is a problem. How do you mean? Mr. Taylor, I am not happy with you and your wife. Why are you not happy with us? What did we do? How can you and your wife Abandon your children for four good days. Jumbo, what are you talking about? Mr. Keller, please don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. The both of you left those little children without telling anybody where you were going to. My mother and I became nannies that took care of those children. Mr. Keller, you and your wife must compensate us for that. So, baby, how is your health now? Hope the fever has stopped. Yeah, I'm fine now. Thank God. So, tell me, when you went for the test at the hospital today, what did the results say? Malaria and typhoid, I guess. No, not any of what you just mentioned. Really? Hope is not the ulcer again, because I know you hardly eat these days. Not that, baby. So, what then did the results say? I'm three weeks pregnant. What? Baby, are you pulling my legs? The result is there inside the drawer. You can go see for yourself. Wow, I'm just speechless. I don't even know what to say again. Oh, congratulations to us. He has finally wiped away our tears. The God we serve is indeed a faithful God. Oh yes, he's very faithful. Ever since the news was disclosed to me, I couldn't hold back my tears of joy. God has turned my sorrow to laughter. He has finally lifted up the walls of barrenness in our lives. To God be the glory. Oh yes, to him be all the glory. It can only be him. Baby, come and give me a warm hug. I'm over the moon right now. Mommy, why did you give me that hundred naira last night? Because I don't want you to tell your father about the one thousand naira I took from his back yesterday. So you mean the hundred naira? Is a bribe for me to close my mouth, Abby? Yes, JB. Please, don't tell your father, okay? I will buy sweets for you when I'm coming back from the market today. Okay, agreed. Welcome, my husband. Daddy, welcome. Eh? How on a day? Daddy, myself is not fine. Why are you not fine? Daddy, you promised to give me 1,000 naira this week to buy ice cream and shawarma, but you failed to do so. JB, actually, that 1,000 I wanted to give you, I kept it inside my bag yesterday. I already planned to give it to you today, but I don't know who stole that money from my bag. 
Therefore, I don't have another one to give you. Chopo, don't say anything, no. Mommy, I will talk. What's going on here? Daddy, my mommy stole that money from your bag. I saw her with my naked eyes. She said she wants to use the money and buy Mary Kay powder. Eh? Docas, you want to use my money to buy Mary Kay? Now, before I close my eyes and open it, go inside and get me that money now. Jumbo, you are a very naughty boy. Mommy, don't be angry. Go and get my 1,000 naira. Don't worry, I will give you back your 100 naira. I can't be penny wise and pound foolish. Charity, can you tell me the truth about your absence in the house last week? Where were you last week? Caleb, I already told you that I went for prayers. I went to the camp to pray. You went to the camp to pray? So why didn't you go with the kids? Why did you abandon them even without telling anyone to look after them? Charity, you are a liar. Besides, someone that is praying doesn't pick call. Caleb, I told you that I misplaced my phone. It got missing at the camp. It was on the day of my departure that I found it. The issue of abandoning my children. I never planned to stay more than a day there. But due to some circumstances that occurred, I was led by the spirit to stay for more days. You were led by the spirit to stay for more days. Tell me, what did you even go there to pray about? What's that prayer point that you can't pray inside your house? Caleb, you are the prayer point. I went to pray against my love spell working on you. <laughs> you went to pray for me? Charity, please, pray for yourself first. Your major problem is you. Pray against the spirit of bitterness and incorrigibleness ruling your life. Excuse me. So tell me, Cindy, when are they giving you the cash price of 1 million naira? They will surely give us our money. You know, this is just like the first tournament of the competition. So the three of us that emerge as the winners will be representing this particular seasoning cube brand in an international cooking competition coming up next month. So after this competition, we'll be awarded with the cash prize of the previous competition that just ended and also the one we would win in the forthcoming international cooking competition. Wow, so Chef Cindy is already becoming an international chef. Wow, I'm so proud of you. The sky is your starting point there. I am going to become your prayer warrior this time around. You will also win this international competition. Amen. Thanks, Dad. So how about your children's school open day this week? Will you still be going? Sure, I'll be there. All right, that's good. Felicia, this is almost a month you have been living with me in this house. You haven't for once on the cooking gas, not to talk of cooking food. Felicia, I want you to cook today. We can't be eating outside. As in, I don't understand. Vicent, why will you be asking me to cook for you? Do I look like your wife? Come on, in case you have forgotten, I am a career woman. I'm not a kitchen wife. Please don't disturb me. So Felicia, you are trying to tell me that career women don't cook, isn't it? Don't ask me such frivolous questions, please. Whatever. So Felicia, I should keep cooking for you to be eating, isn't it? Anything bad about that? If you think it's wrong, then get a maid. We are only dating. I'm not your wife. So as we would be going to visit my children at school this week, are we not going to make something for them? Simple. Hire a cook to do that. Vincent, please stop disturbing me. John Boo, what gave you the audacity to report me to my husband? Eh, answer me before I slap you. Mommy Eva, cool your temper. I will answer your question. You want to know what gave me that audacity, Abby? Yes, John Boo. Why did you tell him? Fantastic question. What gave me that audacity is the fact that I was the nanny that took care of your motherless and fatherless children. As at then, they shortened my ration of food. They drank all the juice my father bought for me. They also scattered our house and increased the percentage of my house chores. So, all that gave me the audacity to let you and your husband know that I need to be compensated greatly. <laughs> hey, one that shall never cease to happen. Oh. Imagine this small rat talking like an old man. 
Come, little boy, how old are you? I am as old as my sense. Don't ask me such funny questions. You people should compensate me. Else, I will keep exposing you by telling everyone in this city the kind of careless mother you are. Hey, John Boo, if you try me, John Boo, I will flog the hell out of you. I am not that, that your primitive mother oh, that doesn't beat you. All she does is to shout with that her tiny pussycat voice. If you dare me, I go beat Shege come off for your body. John Boo or John Goat, whatever nonsense they call you, you better don't try us. I will beat you in a way that your parents won't recognize you again. <laughs> You know what? I won't say anything now. I chose to reserve my comments for now, so that I comment my reserve later. Cindy, what are you doing here? Came to see my children, of course. You are not allowed to come close to them again. Says who? Now listen, Vincent. You kick me out of your life. But you cannot kick me out of my children's life. I still remain their biological mother. My womb housed them and my breast fed them. That is an indisputable fact that guarantees me the access to those children as long as I live. I see you now have the God to raise voice at me, Cindy, because of the wretched fool standing beside you. Young man, watch your tongue. Don't ever insult me. A wretched man with integrity is far more better than an easily manipulated rich fool like you. How dare you talk to my man that way? Your man? Fascinating. So you are the mistress behind all this. It's alright. Cindy didn't lose anything. And my children still belongs to me. Vincent, let's see these two idiots to court. Instead of standing here and exchanging words with them, we will show you both that we are honorable barristers and not common men like you. Vincent, let's go. Nonsense talk coming from so-called barrister. Barrister under my foot. Mommy, who is that strange-looking woman that came with daddy today? I think she is your daddy's friend. I don't like her. She has a bad attitude. Sarah, what did I tell you about hating on others? Watch your ways. Mommy, I don't like her either. She bought me some chocolate, but I am not going to eat that. Okay, so tell me, Jason, why are you not going to have them? Because they are white chocolates, and I don't like white ones. I prefer the dark ones. When I told her this, she snapped at me, and I felt bad. I already gave the chocolates back to Daddy. Told him I don't want them. Okay, it's all right. Mommy made some meat pies and sausages for you. I also prepared a yummy, delicious fried rice and chicken. Wow! Perfect! Thanks, Mom. You are the best. Who is he? The young man here. I don't think I have seen him before. He is Mr. Caleb, Mommy's best friend. He's the one that gave me the money to prepare all this. Aww! Mr. Caleb! Thank you so much. God bless you. Mr. Caleb. We are grateful, thanks. You are welcome, my dear. Cindy, your kids are so smart and lovely. Thanks, Dad. So, Charlie, that was what happened. Because of that, I didn't succeed in getting the document I went for. But, MD, you four couple, why will you leave what you went for to fight for useless matter? Charlie, I don't get you. So, my tenant's life is useless, Abby. I should leave her so that the man will take her do ritual. How is that your business? Now you carry her go there. Guy, you fuck up, Joe. You for leave the yeah woman there and make sure you remain there. Now how do you want us to get those documents? Charlie, you are heartless. Now today I know say you no go make heaven. How do you expect me to ignore someone I know who was at the point of dying? When I saw her, she had already cried out all her strength and was so weak. So because of money, I should have abandoned my tenant to die, Abby. If she dies, how will that one concern you? Now you kill him. Do you even know that this lady I'm talking about is your woman's best friend? She and Cynthia, now five and six. Don't have fire both of you, dear. Who cares? Come, you go find out to get this document as quick as possible. 
Me, I don't just understand why you go see that woman can't spoil you for us. Charlie, sometimes I ask myself if I am even safe with you because you behave like typical son of Pharaoh. I fear who no fear you. Now you know that nonsense. We the talk. Get out, Joe. Mr. Caleb, thank you so much for putting smiles on my children's faces. God bless you. And you too, my dear. It was a pleasure meeting them. They are so sweet and funny, especially your baby, Jason. Jason, the naughty boy. Who doesn't like him at first sight? Very trivial. <laughs> I'm telling you, speaks like an old man. He said to me when we were leaving, Mr. Caleb, you look like a typical gentleman. Can I know you better? I am inspired. I almost fell down while laughing. You don't even know that boy. He can say words that are bigger than him. Funny boy. I'm so blessed to have those two wonderful children. I also can't wait to meet yours too. My kids are still tender but very smart as well. My daughter Eva is the one that talks like your son. Anytime I go home, she always questions me like an old woman. Can't wait to go see my angel this weekend. Oh, wish I can go with you. I won't want you to take such risk. Don't worry, I will bring them here soon. Maybe this coming weekend. Wow, that's good. I can't wait to meet your kids, honestly. Daddy, that was what happened. I didn't do the anything, no. I was just on my own that very day when they walked up to me and started threatening me. They said they will beat Shege out of my body. Eh? Why are you telling me they should beat Shege out of you because you have refused to zip that your mouth that runs like tap water? Daddy, I wasn't expecting such response from you. I thought you would go and fight them for me. Daddy, they even threatened to break my head. Daddy, will you be silent and allow them to break the head of your hair apparent? So I should go and fight them. Let them break my own head, Abby. Daddy, it is better for them to break your head than to break mine. Because if they eventually beat Shiggy out of you and break your head, you have nothing to worry about. Even if you didn't survive the incident, as your hair apparent, I will take good care of all your properties. Jumbo! So your husband is still with a mystery woman. That man get mine, sure. Each time he comes here, all he does is give his children money and other times plays with them and check out before sunset. He doesn't even talk to me anymore. Are you serious? Ha! That lady has bewitched him. I'm not sure if your husband is still in his right senses. His action speaks that he is under a spell. Babe, is it not time you deal with that Jezebel and rescue him from her hands? I have already made plans on that. You see that Cindy or whatever she calls herself. I will deal with her. She thinks she can snatch my man away from me just like that. I will show her the stuff I am made of. She is playing with fire. Babe, I got your back on this. I'm fully behind you. We need to teach that idiot a lesson. After all the sufferings, endurance and pain I have gone through, now that my husband is now working and ought to be enjoying and refreshing myself, one harlot now showed up to deny me of my fruit of labor. She wants to reap where she did not sow. When I start my own battle, she won't recover from what I would do to her. That lady is wicked though. Even if you want to be someone's side chick, why separate the man from his family? It is wickedness now. Don't worry. I have already gotten the address of where they live. Well, how did you get it? Flora's husband came here yesterday to see my husband. And I told him that he doesn't live in this house anymore. So in my presence, he called Kerep and put phone on loudspeaker. Caleb, who never knew his friend was at his home, gave his friend the direction to his new residence. And I heard all he said. The place they live is not even too far from here, and I have been in that area before. Good, so we are going there to deal with that bitch as soon as possible. Daddy, we want to be with our mother. We don't like how this woman here is treating us. 
We need our mother. Your mother packed out of my house. She says she doesn't want to live with us anymore. The man you saw with her during your school open day is a new husband. Daddy, I don't believe this. My mom can't do that. Besides, she told us that man is just her friend. And she never told us that she is out of this house. Dad, please, tell us the truth. Dad, it seems you chased our mother out of this house and brought in that nagging woman here. Daddy, you better send this Felicia woman away and bring back my mother or else I will run out of this country very soon and I will go out there to search for my mother. Same here, Dad. Now the both of you should listen attentively to this. Your mother is not coming back to this house anytime soon and none of you is stepping out of this house. If you try anything stupid, I will send the both of you to the village to spend the rest of your holiday there. Now the both of you should get out of my sight. Mannerless children, behaving like their mother, get lost. Caleb, why have you so changed? Caleb, what are you doing now? Does it seem right in your eyes? It might not be right, but I find it right because of the peace of mind it gives me. Remember? Peace of mind is the key. Caleb, don't tell me that nonsense. What peace of mind are you talking about? that warrants you to abandon your family to be with another woman. Gabriel, I hate it when you say abandon my family. I did not and will never abandon my family. I still take the responsibilities of the head of that family. I want you to go back and live with them. Caleb, you are playing a risky game. Don't shoot yourself on the legs in attempts to shoot another. Seeking for peace of mind may lead you into an extramarital affair. Gabriel, I am a disciplined man and also a man of integrity. I have been encountering such temptations before now, and God will never allow me to fall into such. But Charity still remains your legally married wife. What do you mean by she's not giving you peace of mind? Oh yes, I really need this peace of mind because when I was still in that house with Charity, her nagging and cantankerous attitudes were affecting me emotionally and psychologically. As a result of that, I lost focus and it was telling on my job because I wasn't performing my duties at work well. If I keep messing up at workplace and end losing my job, Gabriel, will you take on my responsibilities in that house? Answer me. Caleb, you can always focus if you really want to. Gabriel, it's like you are not getting this. Charity is my wife and I know her very well. She wasn't like this before. She used to be a jovial and lovely woman before we got married. She has been so supportive and I won't deny that. The problem my wife is having now is because she allowed our family circumstances to wear her down and that gave rise to the bitterness she is exuding now. Now she is directing that frustration on me, which is annoying because myself has been struggling from down to docks to make sure I bring out my family from the state of poverty. Gabriel, you have said enough to me and I appreciate your concern over this, but I think it's time you have to speak to her too. So MD, what's up with this new bank? How far have you gone? I've actually gone far with the loan process. God really gave me favor on this one. I believe by next week, I would receive the check. Wow, wonderful. So glad to hear it. So it is the 10 million that they are giving us, right? Yeah, 10 million naira. Chai, I can't wait to collect that money. Omo, see me see Range Rover. Guy, I they go for confirmed Range Rover sport. You want to try? Guy, I already they manage how we go take work in majestically into that party that very day. Guy, we also need to look for clean sharp babes that will be our escort on that day. You carry two, I carry two. Ha ha ha. Charlie, that's your idea makes sense. So, good talk. So, how are we gonna get those ladies? Don't worry, MD. Leave that parole for me. I go sort them out. Confirm. Charlie the bad boy. MD the authentic man. My one and only G. I they feel you, Joe. Just chop life before life chop us. Yes, yeah, so guy, we go chop life until we tire. So Cindy, how did you see this online cooking idea? Very good. One major thing I need is a well-furnished kitchen for that. 
and this house has it. Therefore, I think I have to start as soon as possible. Exactly. As long as you will be here, feel free to use any property here. This is your house. Caleb, <laughs> please stop pulling my legs. Guess what? Guess? Oh no. Just tell me, dear. I already have some customers. Wow. Really? Yeah. Met them during the competition. But for now, I am preparing for the international competition. When I return, I will start up the online cooking show. Wow, that will be great. So when is your flight? This weekend, the contest is taking place in Singapore. So how long will you guys be staying there? Just a week. It's just three days competition. Okay, that's fine. But I will miss you, Cindy. I will miss you too, dear. Wish you could come with me. Honestly, I wish I could. Zara and Jason, what is the problem? Daddy, I am not happy because of what that woman is doing to us. Which woman? You mean Felicia? Yes, Daddy. What did she do? She bought me a toothpaste I don't like. I told her the type I want, but she went to the market and got me the one I don't use. Why do you not like it? Dad, do you know I have sensitive teeth? The particular brand of toothpaste she bought used to hurt my teeth whenever I use it. Dad, she also bought an undersized singlet and bosses short for me. When I told her they were too small for me, she insisted I wear them like that. Daddy, if she doesn't get us what we want, we aren't going back to school this weekend. Yes, Dad. It is either she gets us what we want or we remain here. It's alright. First thing tomorrow, I will take you both for shopping. You will buy whatever you need. I will get them all tomorrow. Okay? Thanks, Dad. Cindy, I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. Thanks, Caleb. I give God the glory. I am very happy to come this far. Honestly, I never saw this coming. I remain humble to him who made all this possible. Thanks to you too. You also made this possible. Your words of encouragement, your financial support, and your prayers contributed to this success. God bless you and reward you abundantly. Amen. Thanks, dear. God bless you too. And may he continue to elevate you and keep granting you success in all your endeavors. I am so proud of you. Thanks, dear, and amen to your prayer. So when will they be issuing you guys the check of the cash price? All the prizes will be offered to us by this month end. We still have some other things to finalize with the company. Alright, that's fine. Welcome dear. I really missed you. I missed you greatly, but I'm glad I'm back now. Time to stop the hell out of you. You better don't or else I'm getting a cane for you tonight. Interesting. It's been long I got some shooting strokes of cane. Hey, guess what? I will gladly receive it. You are naughty, Cindy. And you like me that way. Charity, hope that your shirt is not too tight. No, it is okay. Are you sure? If it is tight, you better go and remove it now. I don't want anything that will make you flop when you get there because we will make sure we finish that lady today. She is going to experience what we call Nzobu Nzobu in my dialect. We must treat her fuck up today. After dealing with her today, she's gonna leave my husband. Husband snatch her like her. Don't worry, my friend. Don't talk too much. Save the energy. We would need it when we get there. See, even if we meet your hobby there, he won't stop us from beating that lady. Sure. If Caleb tries to mess up with me today, I don't mind fighting him. Enough is enough. Anyway, today is Monday. Caleb won't be at home by this time. He is definitely out to work now. I don't even want him to be around so that you can deal with her very well. Oh yes, after this beating, she will pack all her things and run out of that house. She won't only run out of that house, she will also run out of my husband's life. How can I be living in two rooms and my husband rented a duplex for that useless lady? Ah, Charity, after all your sufferings, someone else wants to rip the fruit of your labor. No, I won't let her succeed. She will never repay she did not so. Why 
didn't you come back home last night? Where did you sleep? I slept in the bush. Why are you asking me such stupid question? Daddy, it is not a stupid question. Tell us where you slept last night. Andy, answer this question quickly before I get angry. See me see trouble this morning. Dokkan, do you want me to beat you? Okay, I slept in my girlfriend's place. Do your worst. Andy, you have the guts to say this to my face. Andy, you left me to be with another woman last night. Andy, this is not fair. I know you can't do anything except crying like a pussycat. I beg, make the boat off when I get out of this room. I want to sleep. Mommy, don't worry. Let's go. One day, cinnamon go waka come out. He no go fit come back. And guess what, mommy? I will automatically become the hair apparent. And you will be my deputy. Mommy, we go enjoy life where where. Chompu! Young lady, so you have the guts to date my husband and even stop him from sleeping in his home. You are a big loser. And I will show you what a loser deserves today. You this cheap prostitute. You want to reap where you did not sow. You are such an idiot. Husband snatcher like you. Excuse me, young ladies. I don't understand what you're saying. How am I a husband snatcher? So you still open your mouth to ask me stupid questions. Or because we haven't landed the horse lab, that is why you still have the guts to ask us stupid questions. Oh, you think we came here to joke? Or we came here for question and answer session. For your information, we are here to deal with you and teach you a lesson you will never forget in a hurry. Cindy, or whatever you call yourself, you are a witch, an evil woman. How can you snatch someone else's husband, cast a spell on him, made him rent this mansion for you, and you see decided not to allow him be with his family? Cindy, you are a Jezebel. You are very, very wicked. Please, young ladies, I am innocent of this accusation. I am not dating Caleb, we are just friends. I didn't cast any spell on him, neither did I ask him to buy me a house. I think you are misunderstanding something here. Please, I am not taking your husband away from you. Shut up! Look at her face like sour soup. You think you can play with her intelligence? Now listen, you are leaving this house today and right now. Yes, you are leaving here now. Emily and I don't want to ever see you close to my husband again. No problem. I will leave. I will take my bags and leave. Sure, you will leave. But you will not just leave that way. We will have to teach you a lesson first. Caleb, what wrong have I done to deserve all this? Why is everyone accusing me of the things I never did? Why are they all against me? For a long time, I have been trying to find peace and comfort in life. But trials and temptations kept my happiness hanging in the balance. Oh God, how long will I continue to live in agony and rejection? What have I done? Cindy, I'm very sorry. I know I'm the one causing you all these pains. I'm sorry I came into your life and this started happening. <laughs> Caleb, don't take the blame. You aren't the cause. Even before you came into my life, I had been struggling to find peace in my marriage. Your presence in my life helped me to relieve me of some emotional stress. Let's just see. this is how fate has destined it to be. Cindy, I am sorry. I promise you that this won't repeat itself again. Caleb, I think you should just leave them. I don't want more problems to spring up because of me. I already told them that I will leave. I will go down to my hometown and be with my family members there. My only regret living here would be my children. I will miss them. Life has separated me from them for no reason. I pray they find a good person to take care of them and bring them up in an upright way as I've always wanted them to be. I will miss my children greatly. God knows why I'm going through this kind of unbearable temptations. What wrong have I done to deserve this? Ah, my chest. My chest. Cindy, what is it? What's wrong with your chest? 
Okay, I'm coming. Let me get my phone and call my taxi guy to come pick us immediately. He stays around here. All right. Please, be fast about it. I'm dying. Charity, why did you go to that house to fight Cindy? Oh, yes. Because I needed to teach her a lesson for snatching away my husband. Charity, I never knew you were dumb and senseless. How dare you? Who gave you the audacity to step your foot into that house? Are you crazy? Caleb, enough. Don't you ever insult me because of that prostitute. After suffering for you and enduring all these years, now that you've gotten a job, you decided to abandon me here and went ahead to rent a luxury apartment for that useless lady. And you want me to keep quiet? Oh no, I am done tolerating your nonsense. If I am not good for you again, then compensate me for all my sufferings in your house before I leave. Charity, I caused the day fate crossed our path. And I caused the day we exchanged marital vows. Charity, tell me why have you been bent on making me miserable in this marriage? What wrong have I done to you? Charity, you will surely receive your punishment for all this you have been doing. Mannerless and an annoying woman. Caleb, don't curse my friend. You are the one that will face punishment. You aren't even ashamed that you are an adulterer, shameless human being. Excuse me, young lady. Am I the one you are talking to like that? Yes, what can you do? I see. So you have been her life coach. Fantastic. Now listen, young lady. If you don't want me to give you the beating of your life, take your bag and get out of my house. Now. Oh no, she's not going anywhere. She's my friend and she came here to visit me. Caleb, you have no right to send her away. Caleb, you slapped me. So doctor, how can we help her? Mr. Caleb, we have conducted a test on her and we found out that she has a history of cardiovascular disease. So what she experienced lately was a cardiac arrest, which signifies that the disease has gotten to the critical stage. Oh my God. Cardiac arrest? Oh no. Why cardiac arrest? I thought it was just an ordinary chest pain. Doctor, tell me, can you save her life at this critical stage? Due to the severity of her present condition, she needs to undergo a cardiac surgery quickly so that her life won't keep hanging in the balance. Oh, doctor. So how much would this surgery cost? Five million naira. Five million what? Oh, heavens. Come to my rescue. I am finished. So, babe, Caleb haven't returned home since that day. Yes. I don't even care about that. He should remain wherever he is. I don't even want to see him. Hmm. That your husband is wicked though. He rented a duplex for his side chick and left his wife and kids inside this kind of house to keep suffering. Some people get mind, Sha. Imagine wickedness in high places. Don't worry. Very soon, I will shock him and that is concubine. Both of them will never go scot-free. I will show them. Inspectors, here are they. Arrest them. Young ladies, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent or else anything you say now would be used against you in the court of law. Now, the both of you should move. You can't arrest us just like that. You have to tell us what we did before taking us to the station. <laughs> Caleb, so you called the police to arrest us, including your wife. Will you both start moving before we use violence on you? Move! So, Alpha, you will have to go bail her now. Go do what? Me, Charles, go be one idiot. She remain dear. In fact, she go dead dear, grow gray hair. Don't that fire her. Did I send her to fight? Charlie, but I thought you said she wants to lend you one million. If you don't go and bail her, she might not give you that money. Oh. Listen, merely you called me and told me about her arrest. I removed my family and friends' sim from my phone. And that line is what she has. She go call Taya. If she asks me later, I will tell her that I lost my phone. See, I'm not going to bail her. She has family members. She should call them. 
As for the one million, she don't give me that money, put Jara. Don't that fire inside that prison. Charlie, you are wicked. Imagine what is coming out of your mouth. Charlie, go and bear that lady. It is not good. MD, don't make me tell you to fire you. Which kind of nonsense talk be that? I be a papa with Bonham. Bonham is saying I'm good fight. I go change her for you now. Two high young ladies. See where your foolishness and stubbornness are brought you to. Tell it to you, you are such a disgrace to womanhood and a very disgrace to motherhood. Imagine your kids hearing this issue when they grow up that their father arrested you because of your foolishness and immaturity. Tell it to you, you are a big disappointment. Flora, I know you have never liked me, but please, I want you to help me just do one thing. I want to give you my boyfriend's address. I want you to go there and tell him to come take me out of here. Please, I don't like it here. Cynthia, even in my dream, I won't do such stupid thing. Sorry to disappoint you. Look for someone else who said. You have always been claiming boss chick, a classy woman. Now it is your time to prove that. Cynthia, bail yourself. Flora, please help us get out of here. This place is hell. Flora, help me talk to my husband. Tell him to bring me out of this place he kept me. I don't like it here. You are very stupid. You must like here. The lady you beat up is at the hospital struggling with her life and you want to go back home to your comfort. Never. The both of you will keep remaining here. And if anything bad happens to her, I heard that her husband is a senior lawyer. I bet the both of you that you will spend the rest of your life in jail. Stubborn flies. Flora, please help us out of here. We won't fight again. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm not a lawyer, neither am I a commissioner of police. The only help I can offer is this food I brought to you. There is only two sachets of pure water inside the bag. Manage it. Bye. Thank you, Flora. I'm very hungry. So, Vincent, are you still in for this? What? The real estate investment we are talking about. Felicia, I don't have up to that 20 million naira needed. I can only afford 10 million, which I just derived from my newly established company. Okay, you have 10 million and I have 10 million too. Why don't we partner? Felicia, are you sure this will be lucrative? I don't want anything that would tie down my money. Listen, this real estate company is 100% legit. My uncle has bought so many lands and houses from them. Let's seize this opportunity and make more money from it. It's all right. I will think about it. We'll get back to you soon. Okay, I'll be waiting. Cindy, please, get well soon. Don't do this to me. Cindy, I have been trying my best to raise a 5 million naira, but I was able to get only 1 million. Cindy, right now, I am devastated. I don't even know what else to do again. Cindy, please, get back on your feet. Let's leave here. Please, don't do this to me. Caleb, if it were in my power to do so, we would have left here since I am weak. My strength keeps failing me. I am losing my breath gradually. Caleb, please, I want you to do me a favor. My dear, talk to me. What should I do? Please help me call my husband. Call Vicent and tell him about this. Tell Vicent to bring me my children. At least, let me see them once again before I die. No, Cindy, you will not die. Cindy, please, don't do this to me. Doctor, how do I make the payment immediately? Please, I want you to carry out the surgery as soon as possible. You can go make the payment at the cashier's desk. After that, he will direct you on the next step to take. Okay, doctor. Thanks. Caleb or whatever you call yourself. If anything happens to my wife, I will make sure you spend the rest of your life behind bars, animal. So you both think you are wise. You have the guts to beat up my wife. You will never go scot-free. Please, sir, have mercy. It was the devil's handwork. Yes, sir. Please forgive us. 
That will repeat again. We are very sorry. The both of you are saying rubbish. Look at them, disgusting things. You charity or whatever you call yourself. You thought you are wise. What permitted you to harm my wife? When I, that's supposed to deal with your husband, for snatching away my wife, haven't done so. I'm so sorry, sir. I don't know what came over me. Please temper justice with mercy. Come on, will you shut up your stinking mouth? The same you called me and told me my wife was cheating with your stupid husband. After you already know I have thrown her out of my house, you still went ahead to harm her. Why did you not harm your foolish husband instead? Oh, you took my quietness for granted. No, sir, it's not what you think. I think I allowed my emotions be cloud my sense of reasoning. I am so sorry. Yes, sir. We are indeed sorry for our actions. Please take us out of here. Mosquitoes are biting me. My skin is getting bad every day and my wedding is coming up in a few months time. Please, I don't want to have a damaged skin on my wedding day. Oh, I miss my boyfriend too. The both of you are Nikon poops. Now listen, I am a professional lawyer, a barrister to be precise. I will make sure the both of you spend the rest of your lives in jail. Nonsense. Feeling now? Very much better. Thank God. I am so happy to hear your voice again. I miss you. I have been restless since we came here. But I am glad that our God has taken control. Thanks to your husband. May God bless him. Amen. I never believed he would come through for me, despite the quarrel we are having. Please, I want to speak with Vincent. He just stepped out of the hospital this morning. He was here throughout yesterday. I heard him telling the doctor that he would be going to work today. So maybe when he closes from work, he might come. All right. Why didn't you go to work today? Cindy, why will I be at work when you are still here? Come on. Who is going to be here with you? But the nurses are here. They've been trying their best. Cindy, despite the nurses' presence, also need someone with you. Yeah, someone close to you. I already explained things to my boss in the office. He has given me permission. I am likely to use this period to substitute my annual leave. My heart beat now is just for you to get back on your feet and feel better again. Amen. God will do it. I don't want you to keep brooding over this. I will be fine in no time. It is well with our souls. God bless you for all you've done for me. May he bless you too for having understanding, simple, caring, and a compassionate heart. You are one of the sweetest souls I have ever met. I will never regret knowing you. And I will not regret knowing you too, Caleb. Thank you so much. bills what happened to our supposed lover why didn't he pay the money what did they take you for father christmas oh no vincent i am totally disappointed in you felicia in case you have forgotten cindy is still my wife we never divorced we only separated she still bears my name and still remains the mother of my children what did you expect me to do abandon her to die come on felicia be considerate on this one. Oh, come on vincent I am not considering any nonsense. Even if she's the mother of your children, and so what? She cheated on you in the first place and still went ahead to live with her lover boy. Ever since she has left this house, has she called you for once? Now, she's in a state of emergency, and that's where she remembers you. You should have told them you don't have money. Don't they have family members to assist them pay their hospital bills? Must it be you? So, Felicia, what you are trying to say now is that I should have ignored her to die, isn't it? What will I tell my children if they eventually grow up and hear that I abandon their mother to die? Will they ever trust me as their father? Oh no, it is my responsibility and I am glad that I did that. So what's going to happen to the investment we planned using that money for? Vincent, you are disappointment. Oh 
Oh my God. Baby, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were in such condition. I thought you went to visit your family members. But Charles, you should have called me or asked any of my friends my whereabouts. Charles, I'm not happy with you. You claim to love me, yet you won't look for me if you didn't see me. It's not fair. Angel, I'm so sorry. I already told you. I lost my phone. Besides, I've been busy running health skater since last week. My container I told you about was shipped in last week, but custom officers have seized it and they are demanding huge amounts of money before they will release it. Baby, please pardon me. So who bailed you? My stepbrother. That one that just came back from Canada? Yes. Okay, that's good. He has done well. God bless him. So, what is he saying about the money? He said he's gonna issue me the check by next week. All right, that's fine. My regards to him. I would love to meet him someday. Maybe after resolving all these issues at hand, I will come and know some of your family members. Oh, that would be great. They can't wait to meet you. I have told them a lot of things about my Prince Charming. My sisters now call me Princess Cynthia because very soon I'll become the wife of a prince. Oh yes, baby. The absolute love of my life. You can see that again, sweetie. Caleb, please, I'm begging. Go bail her out, please. Deborah, I am not gonna do that. If you want, you can go bail her. Charity deserves the kind of punishment she is receiving now. How can someone be that heartless? Caleb, please, I understand how you feel. But remember, she is the mother of your children. For the sake of your children, forgive her. Gabriel, I deliberately left Charity there to suffer. So that by the time she comes out, her crazy brain would normalize. She wants to make my life miserable. But before she does that, I will already make hers miserable. Nonsense. Killer, please, for the sake of your children. So tell me, now that she's in the cell, who takes care of those little children? I have taken my keys to my cousin's place, and I believe they are fine there. But no matter how fine they may be at your cousin's place, they must surely look for their mother. Please go and bring her out for their sake. Gabriel, what are you saying? What if Cindy never survived this? Don't you know that I too will be arrested for this? We won't be here by now discussing this topic. She should thank her stars that Cindy survived this. It would have been tougher for her. Caleb, I believe she must have learned a lesson now. And she will be coming out of that prison as a changed person. That's her business. If she likes, let her continue wearing the garment of bitterness and catechorousness around her. She will definitely land in another problem. Caleb, will you stop it? Mind your words. Charity is still your wife. Who cares? I am absolutely fed up of her nonsense. Charlie, I don't suffer for this money, Matao. Hmm. If you see what I went through. Hey, yeah. Uh, well done, bro. I'm so proud of you. You are indeed an authentic man. You can say that again. In short, I try. Don't be small. So when are they issuing you the check? Tomorrow. Wow, this tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow is the D day. From the bank to the automobile shop, enemies will be mesmerized tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so we go for their hands. Guy, I will follow you now. You want to collect your own share of the money tomorrow too? Yes, of course. But I thought you said the BMW you want to buy will be ready next week. Yes, but I need to make some payment in advance or else they will sell it out to someone else once it lands in. But I thought you said the BMW you want to buy will be ready next week. Okay now, just come to my house very early tomorrow. Let's go to the bank tomorrow. Okay bros, no wala. Can't wait for tomorrow. See your big head. Money where you never see, don't they shark you? Bros, I beg, leave that thing. You never need to shark Joe. Charles, you know my stepbrother just gave me this money and he's expecting me to start up a business with it as soon as possible. Please, I want you to give it back to me immediately you sell your goods. Baby, trust me. I will pay you back the money with interest. Baby, this one million naira you are lending me, when I'm gonna pay back, I will make it 1.5 million so that you can use the rest to pamper your skin and buy a lot of beautiful clothes because very soon, you will travel with me to our kingdom. I want you to be glowing like a goddess. Oh, that is so thoughtful of you. It's all right. I'm giving you the one million. I think we both should go to the bank together since we use the same bank. All right. 
That'll be tomorrow, isn't it? Yes, tomorrow. So how about the diamond engagement ring? I think it's high time I wear that precious jewelry on my fingers. Monday next week will make it one year I broke up with my ex. And that was the day I took the ring away from her. So I'm gonna create another issue on that day. I wanna make this a surprise. But your charming spirit has made me change that. Wow! So let me say, I can't wait for Monday to take what belongs to me, my precious engagement ring. Oh yes, I'm obsessed already. My sugar baby, it is all yours indeed. Hello my nigga. Guy, I have finally succeeded though. Magas and mugus don't peel. I'm actually on my way to the airport now. Yeah, I already booked my flight. My flight is in two hours time. Sure, I'll reach airport before then. My house isn't that far from the airport. No, are they mad? All I use taxi to go there. It won't make Babele people see me. Or those that I scammed. I already called the taxi guy to come pick me. And he's on his way already. Okay now, once we land, I will give you a call. I can't wait to join you over there. Yes, so horse must be. Dubai, here I come. Their father, Warino de Carilage. Hey, <laughs> Chai, Ewo, I am finished, oh. Where do I start from now? Hi. This is the handwork of my village people. What did I do to them? Why did they choose to disgrace me this way? MD, what is the problem? Can you open your mouth and tell us why you have been acting strange since last night? Dokas, I am finished. Dokas, my 10 million naira is gone. Money that I did not enjoy. How do I pay it? 10 million naira? Which 10 million naira is that? Money I just borrowed from the bank last week. I borrowed for myself and for my friends, Charles. I used my own share of the money to purchase a new car yesterday. As I was driving it back home, armed robbers attacked me and took the car away from me. Ha! Hey! Did they snatch your friends on too? My friend's case is another heartbreak. Someone I borrowed money for, and I'm expecting him to be paying back that money in installment so that we would be able to pay the bank their money. Dokas, guess what? I went to his house same yesterday and they told me that he has traveled to Dubai. Charles took my 5 million and ran away. How do I pay these debts now? So empty. You have 10 million naira. All this while. And I have been cooking food with only crayfish in this house. You went to buy a car. Well, I haven't even changed my hairstyle for 6 months now. I don't even know what to say to you at this moment. Let me return from market today. Jumbo, let's go. Mommy, hold on please. I want to throw more light on this issue. Daddy, firstly, I am absolutely flabbergasted because since I was born, this is the first time seeing my father crying like a wounded soldier. Between Accept my condolences. I will say your voice sounds interesting when you cry. One more thing. This debt you are to pay. Hope you are not touching any of my properties. I am to inherit as the heir apparent. If you sell any of my future inheritance, I will sue you to court. Mommy, oh yeah, let's go.
Charity, I am very disappointed in you. I didn't expect you to do such a thing. I have always seen you as an intelligent and industrious woman. Why did you change into a nuisance? Just imagine the amount of money that had been spent on that lady's health, all because of you not controlling your emotions. Charity, I have already made up my mind not to talk to you again. Continue being a stubborn fly. You will keep messing up your life. I pity you. Flora, please, no bitter words. Mr. Kele, please, I want you and your wife to bury the hatchet right now and right here. Gabriel, I appreciate your concern towards my family and your support as well. You see, Charity and I are not enemies. Talking for myself, God will bear me witness that I never kept any grudge for her. She has been the one pushing me out of her life with her bad behaviors. And it seems as if I found the peace my heart was searching for when she finally succeeded pushing me out of her life. As I said earlier, we are not enemies and we are still married, but I don't feel like staying under the same roof with her again because I won't want to risk my peace of mind again. No, Caleb, that decision is not normal. She's your wife and you ought to live with her. Gabriel, I won't. Everything is normal about that. Or do you want her to beat me to stupor as they did to Cindy? Living with a bitter woman in a house is like living with the devil. As I said earlier, my peace of mind matters most to me, and I won't want to risk it. I will go bring back her kids by tomorrow. I think that's the only thing I am owing her for now. I will be on my way now because I have a business meeting to attend in one hour time. You all should have a great day. Bye. Listen, please, can I use your phone for five minutes? My phone is inside. I'm charging it. Maybe you should go get it. Let me unlock it for you. Why not tell me the password? Let me just unlock it instead of coming back here again. No, I don't tell people my unlock password. Even my wife, Cindy, doesn't know it to date. Madam, go get the phone and I will do the unlocking. Besides, what do you want to do with my phone? I want to call someone with it. What happened to your own phone? I don't want to call the person with mine because he won't pick. Actually, I want to call a man who is owing me. I've been calling him throughout yesterday, but he has refused to pick my calls. That's why I want to call him with another number. It's all right. Just get the phone. Let me unlock it. Listen, please, just tell me your password. I don't want to come out here again. Please. The password is VIN313. Hurry up with whatever you want to do and bring back my phone. All right, dear. Thanks. Cindy, the latest millionaire in town. Wow, congratulations, dear. Thanks, Caleb. I am over the moon. Can't even explain how I feel. I keep staring at the bank alert SMS on my phone. And I'm just like, Cindy, is this your account? Is this your money? Gosh, just within a short period of time, God has turned disappointment into a huge blessing for me. I am forever grateful to him. Mr. Caleb, I don't even know where to start in saying thank you to you. You are indeed a godsend to my life. What I gave you is just a token. You didn't commensurate what you've done for me. If God gave us the grace of life, I promise to do more, Mr. Caleb. God bless you, sir. Cindy, after giving me one million naira, you still thanking me this way. How I wish every woman out there has your kind of heart. You have a beautiful heart and a wonderful soul. God bless you so much, Cindy. I am equally grateful. So tell me, how is your cooking show on social media going? It's been a great experience. I already have thousands of fans and customers who have been very supportive. I just employ some cook and also some dispatch riders to increase the working hands I already had. I am always amazed with lots of orders we receive every day. Sometimes all this seems as if I'm dreaming. God has really surprised me and I remain grateful humble to him. Hmm, indeed, our God is a miracle working God. To me, I see all these blessings coming your way as a miracle because it can only be God doing all this. Indeed, he is a faithful God. Oh yes, he is. I believe Vincent would be shocked to see me thriving in this career. He has never believed in my career. He calls it lazy man's career. Honestly, I already feel fulfilled at this stage in my life. Dear, this is just the beginning. 
greater days ahead. Remember, the sky is just a starting point. Ow, oh, my motivator, my biggest fan, and my life coach. Thank you so much, Caleb. Oh no, what have I done? I have really acted so stupid. How can I lose Caleb to another woman now that things are better? And I ought to be enjoying the fruit of my labor. I have acted foolishly. Maybe I shouldn't have listened to that Cynthia. Look now, my marriage is crumbling before my eyes. Truly, I have been so bitter to Caleb. I have kept stepping on his nerves, which is not right as his wife. I ought to be the shoulders he should cry rather. I became a thorn in his flesh. Will I still win his heart? Is he gonna give me a second chance? Oh no, I have really messed things up due to uncontrolled emotions. I need to find a way to fix back my marriage and bring peace back into my family. Charity, I am finished. Charity, Charles has abandoned me. He has traveled out of the country with my one million naira. Why would Charles do such thing to me? I tried reaching him through his social media handle, but he blocked me immediately on all platforms. Hey, my own have finished. Charity, help me. Cynthia, leave my house. What did you just say, Charity? I should leave your house? Why? What have I done? Cynthia, for now, I don't want you to come close to me anymore. Just be on your own, hands put. Don't come looking for me again. I want to call off this friendship. Just go and don't ever come back to me. Now, leave my house. Doctor, you said it's a fibroid. But how come? I mean, I haven't even given birth yet. I don't understand. Miss Cynthia, tell me how many abortions have you had? Seven abortions, sir. Hmm, Miss Cynthia. The tumor development might be as a result of the previous abortions you've had in the past. Nevertheless, this situation can be treated because of the smaller size of the fibroid. Okay, doctor. I will be glad if you start the treatment today because this is giving me sleepless nights. My lower abdomen aches me badly. I can't even sleep at night again. The discomfort is too much, doctor. Please help me. It's all right, Miss Cynthia. We will do our best possible and we believe you will be fine in no time. But I want to say something to you, and it's kinder and advice. Okay, doctor, I'm all ears. I will advise you to get pregnant as soon as possible because this will help prevent the fibroid from getting worse. Okay, doctor, I've heard you. Thank you for the advice. You are welcome, Miss Cynthia. Charity, I have already made up my mind not to talk to you again. Continue being a stubborn fly. You will keep messing up your life. I pity you. Charity, you fucked up. But I'm not here to blame you again. But take my words today as an admonishment. Charity, you are my friend. And I have studied you so well. You are not a bad woman. But your bad attitude was a result of the frustration which you allowed to grow into bitterness. You will compare your man with others. And your family with others. Life is not that way. All fingers are not equal. Besides, life itself revolves. One who is up might be seen below tomorrow, and the one down might be seen up. Tell it to you, you have messed up things, and you need to fix it before it is too late. Flora, please help me out. How do I fix my broken marriage? I have tried calling Caleb to come back home, but he refused. I don't want to go there again. Honestly, I am tired of living as cat and rat. I want us to make peace. Then take a bold step on that. Yeah, approach him and apologize. You also need to apologize to that young lady too. I will call her and apologize to her. I just hope she forgives me. Charity, don't call her. Meet her in person and apologize to her. Do you know the kind of pain you cause her? You think surgery is an ordinary thing? Her husband also spent 5 million naira for her treatment. If you were to pay that money, don't you know? You will still be behind the bars now. I will. I have a contact number. I will call her and apologize to her. You better do. That lady has a merciful heart that after all you did, she still had your husband to bail you out. Yeah, Caleb told me that it was her 
incessant plea that made him bail you out from that cell. If she has the intention to snatch her husband, she would have told him to do such. The same you ruined our marriage and also ruined yours. Charity, you are educated. I didn't expect you to behave this way. You did. Cynthia, I am surprised at why you suddenly accepted my proposal. Because I'm happy you finally gave me this chance. Ben, I'm sorry for turning down your proposal in the past. I've just prayed and realized that you are the one for me. Wow. God revealed that to you? Oh yes, that is why I've come back to you. I wouldn't want us to date for a long time. Let me just get married as soon as possible. Okay, no problem. God has finally answered my prayers. I knew you would come back to me one day. So firstly, I will have to introduce you to my family members. After that, we will start making our weddings plan. Remember what I told you earlier? No traditional wedding. I will just pay a bright price and go my way. And for the white wedding, it will be an intimate one. Just our families and few friends. Hope you are not still opposing that. Not at all. Even if we do not do wedding, no problem. Just come and pay my bright price. Hmm. I can't believe that you are the one saying this. Can you clean up your makeup so I can see you very well? Because I'm thinking I'm speaking with someone else, not the Cynthia I know. Ben, it is me, Cynthia. Hello, how far, Gerard? Have you seen the message I sent you? Yeah, that is company's email. Just send in that message through the email so that I can accept it now because I am with his phone right now. He has 5 million Naira in that account. Okay, hurry up and send it quickly. I'm waiting. Okay, I'll check. Felicia, I have been duped of 5 million Naira. I don't even know how it happened. They have wired all the money in my company's account. Felicia, please come to my rescue. I don't know what to do now. I feel like committing suicide. Why are you calling me? Am I your wife? That's none of my business. Please call your wife. Felicia, are you the one talking like this? Felicia, tell me, do you know anything about that money? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now I know that you are a dumb head. Now listen, Vincent. You think you're smart, but you aren't smart enough. I asked you for 10 million naira and you fucked up yourself. I just want to teach you a lesson. Yes, I am with the money. And as I am talking to you, I am traveling out of this country in 30 minutes time. You can go report to the police, but I beg you that you're going to end up wasting the little money you should have used to feed your dumb head. Don't ever call me again. I'm done with you, coward. Hello, Felicia. Felicia. No, please don't. Don't do this to me. Felicia! Vincent? Yes, he's my husband. What? He's at the hospital. What happened? Okay, I'm coming there immediately. Please send me the address. You are still crying. Since yesterday, you have refused to eat in this house. Andy, do you want to starve to death? Dokas, leave me. Oh. I am not hungry. How do you expect me to eat when I have such huge debt to pay? Hey, whoa. What will I do now? Very soon, the bank will come for their money. What will I tell them? Just tell them that you don't have the money for now. Tell them you will give them their money when you have it. Also tell them that your friend ran away with the money you gave him. Just explain yourself to them. Tell them you are a family man. I believe they will consider you when you tell them all these things I just said. Oh, primitive docas. When others we are marrying sophisticated women. MD, you went to marry this savage woman. Just imagine. This is all that my wife can say to me. 
at this critical situation. Oh, Dokas, please do something better this time around. I am dying. Dying? If you want to die, you still open your mouth to call me primitive, Abby. It is alright. Go ahead and look for a sophisticated woman to help you. Primitive Dokas can't do anything, you hear? Jambu, come, let's go to shop, Jerry. Mommy, please. I have something important to tell you. Mommy, my mind is telling me that before we go to shop now, we should remove all poisonous substances like sniper, insecticide, and otapiapia in this house. Why? What are you insinuating? That's because I don't want to add fatherless to my bio. Vincent, how are you now? I am fine, dear. Cindy, who called you? A man, I guess he is the doctor. So who brought you here? The security guy. He heard when I screamed. Luckily, the entrance door was opened. So he entered and came to my rescue. It is well. I'm just happy that you're fine. Doctor said you'll be discharged very soon. Okay, that is fine. But I am here to pay the hospital bill. The doctor said my bill is 120,000 naira. Don't bother about the bill. I have sorted that out. You have paid the bill? Yes, Vincent. How did you get the money, Cindy? Vincent, don't bother about that for now. All you need now is rest. Later, when you're strong enough, I will explain all that. Let me go get you something to eat. Oh, thank you so much, Cindy. God bless you. Cynthia, honestly, I don't know what to say about this. What's the meaning of you don't know what to say about this? Are you not an adult? Why would your mother still be controlling you? Cynthia, I respect my mom so much and I don't like violating her instructions. Just get pregnant, as she said, and we will get married immediately. Ben, I'm a Christian in case you have forgotten. And my faith is against premarital sex. How do you expect me to sleep with you when we are not yet married? Ben, you are a leader in our church, and these kind of words are coming out from your mouth. Ben, fear God and not your mother. Cynthia, please calm down. I am a Christian as well, and don't support the idea of queer material sex too. But let us reconsider that so that it will not be an obstacle to this marriage. My mom said I should tell you to get pregnant first before I will pay your bride price. So there is no way you can try to convince her otherwise. Oh no, Ben, I'm so disappointed in you. Since you trust me, I have tried all my possible best to convince her, but she insists you get pregnant before marriage. Gosh! Ben, you want to make me commit the sin of fornication? Cynthia, please, just get pregnant and all will be well. Young man, what is your name? My name is Charles. Okay, I will prefer calling you Charlie. Is that okay by you? It's okay, madam. So I am employing you as my private driver. I will be paying you in dollars. I will pay you $500 monthly but if I find you trustworthy. I will definitely increase your salary, okay? I will manage it. Alright, so you are to resume work by Monday. Okay, I will surely be here on Monday. Cindy, honestly, I am devastated. That money is all I have, and I just set up that company some month ago. I haven't even paid my staff their salary this month. Right now, the only money I have in my account is 20,000 naira. I can't believe I am starting life afresh. All my life savings, my hard end money, Felicia took them all. I just feel like committing suicide. God forbid. You won't commit suicide, Vincent. How much is the money in total? Five million naira. It's alright. I will transfer the money into your account tomorrow. You said you will do what? Yeah, I'll give you the five million naira. Where will you get the money from? The money I made from my cooking career. I won a national and international cooking contest. And I was awarded with 10 million naira in total. Also, I have gotten contracts from big districts and hotels, and also some couple of endorsement deals from some companies in the city. I would say I have fulfilled my dream of becoming a successful chef. Thanks to Mr. Caleb, who has been my backbone, he inspired me to achieve all this. And all glory to God Almighty, who gave me the grace to achieve all this. Cindy, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am ashamed of myself that I never supported and encouraged you as your husband. I am sorry, please forgive me. Vincent, I have already forgiven you. Besides, you came through for me when I was sick in the hospital. 
You spent 5 million naira to save my life. Had it been you never showed up and paid that money, I may not have been alive today. You have sacrificed a lot for me in the past. I should also make my own sacrifice at this critical period when you need help. Vincent, I will give you that money so that you can pay your staff and also continue your business. Cindy, God bless you. My mom is complaining seriously because you are yet to get pregnant. I don't know what to do at this point in time. But Cynthia, why haven't you got pregnant? Are you sure you are okay? Ben, what kind of stupid talk is that? I'm very okay. You are the one who is not okay. How dare you talk to me like that? Look at someone that wants me to marry her. She doesn't even have manners despite not being able to conceive. Get out, you harlots. Ben, you call me a harlot. Yes, that's what you are. Do you think I want to marry you? Don't be stupid. I only wanted to take my own share of the national food. You think I don't know about all your escapades? You think I don't know about your criminal boyfriends, Charles? And how he messed you up? Come on, I know you can't conceive because I know someone like you must have tampered with your womb. For your information, I am already engaged. And my fiancé is three months pregnant with my precious child. So you should get lost. Ben, me! Me, Cynthia! Shut up! Who do you think you are? Prostitute. After messing up your life, it is me you want to come and tie down? Impossible. Ben, God will punish you for what you did to me. You will suffer, you will regret saying all this to me. Ben, you deliberately want to add to my pain. Ben, it shall not be well with you. It's alright, I will go, I will never come back to you again. You are very evil. Caleb, from the depths of my heart, I am apologizing. Please forgive me. Vincent, I don't hold any grudges against you before now. I know you misunderstood the issue my wife reported to you, but I'm glad now that it has been resolved. I also want to use this moment to say a very big thank you for coming through for us when Cindy was at the hospital. Honestly, I never believed you were going to show up. You assisted me in carrying a burden I wasn't able to bear. I will ever remain grateful for that. God bless you. God bless you too, Caleb. You are such a gentleman. No wonder my wife has become so successful, staying under your roof. You did for her what I couldn't do. Thank you for all you have done for my wife. I have really learned a lot from you. And I promise you that henceforth, I will be a caring and supportive husband to your friend, Cindy. Oh, that will be great, sir. Cindy is a phenomenal woman with great talent and potential. And the sky is just a starting point for her. I am so proud of her. Oh, someone is blushing here. Mr. Keller, thank you so much. My husband and I are greatly indebted to you. God bless you. So, Caleb, I want you to go make peace with your wife. Now that I will be living with my husband again, I think it would be right time for you to resolve issues with your wife. And I pray God fixes your marriage the way he has done to mine. Oh yes, God will surely restore back peace to your marriage because you are a noble man with a pure heart. It is well with you, my brother. Amen. I pray this works out for good. Thank you so much. Mr. MD, who are these people that I have been seeing in this house? They are from the bank. Which bank? The bank I borrowed 10 million from. They are here to see some of my properties, including this house. What? So where will we go? I mean, we your tenants. What will be our fate? Mr. Caleb, you have to make your plan B. Even if it's your village, I am advising you to go. What kind of nonsense play is that? I should pack out where my rent hasn't expired. You borrowed money from the bank and you couldn't pay back. How does that consign with tenants? Okay, don't worry. When they come with bulldozers, that is when you will understand how it consigns you. As I'm talking to you now, I have already packed my bags. Very soon, I am living with my family for my village. This house does not belong to me again. Have a nice day. Philip, I am sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me.
I know I have wronged you greatly. Please forgive me of all my sins. Henceforth, I promise to be a changed person. I will never be rude to you or disobey you again. I will never be bitter again. Please pardon me. I allowed my emotions to be cloud my sense of reasoning. I have realized that I have made a big mistake. Charity, how I wish you did this before now. Caleb, please. Henceforth, I will be that loving, caring and supportive wife you've always wanted me to be. Please come back to us. The children and I have really missed you. Life hasn't been good without you. Please don't keep turning your back on me. If you leave me, I cannot raise our kids alone. Please forgive me for the sake of our children. I know I have really messed up. But please give me another chance. I promise I will make it up to you this last time. Caleb, please. Charity, it's all right. Stand up. I have forgiven you. We all make mistakes in life and learn from our mistakes. I still love you and you are still my wife. Thank you so much, Caleb. Please, where is Cindy? I want to apologize to her too. She's inside right now, packing her things. She's going back to her husband's house today. Cindy, please, forgive me. I know I have caused you too many pains. But please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Charity, I have forgiven you. It is okay. Stop crying. My heart is filled with so much happiness at this moment. I am glad we aren't enemies again. Thanks for the apology. Thanks for the forgiveness, Cindy. God bless you. Doctor, how is my wife? Has she put to bed? Congratulations, Mr. Gabriel. Your wife just delivered a set of wonderful twins. A bouncing baby boy and a beautiful baby girl. Both the mother and the babies are all fine. You will be allowed to see them soon. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, doctor. I'm overwhelmed with joy already. I can't wait to see them. God has finally wiped away my tears. Oh, I am now a father. God, I thank you. Daddy, I am not going to follow you to the village. Oh. I will prefer you selling me to one rich man. I can't imagine a boy like me living in the village. Andy, me too. I am not going to that village, oh. I wonder what we would be doing in that village. Andy, you want to turn me into a laughing stock. Just imagine. They have collected all your properties. I can't even call myself a hair apparent again. Because I don't know what I am inheriting. Instead of me to inherit poverty, Daddy, you better sell me out to a rich person. I will rather choose to be a slave under a rich man's roof than being a hair apparent to a poor man. I am not going to the village. Whether the both of you like it or not, you are going to the village. In fact, the lorry that will take us to the village will be here very soon to pick us. Lorry, why didn't you book a good bus with air conditioner? Not the only AC. For your information, we are going with one of these lorries that transports cows. Just get yourself prepared because your co-passengers will be cows. Eh? Empty. Hey, my own is finished. <laughs> what have I done to myself? Cynthia, you have messed up your life. How can I be this dumb? Oh, what will I tell my family? Will they ever forgive me for being so stupid? Charles, look at what you have done to me. Charles, you have destroyed my life. And you left me heartbroken. I have no money, no peace, no joy, no marriage. I've been craving for this same thing that will never work out again for me. No man will marry me in this condition. I won't even experience the joy of motherhood. My friends have all turned their back on me. At this point, I just feel like ending my life. Oh God, have mercy on me. Congratulations to you. To God be the glory. Oh yes. We are grateful to God for his wonderful blessings he has given us. Yeah. 
Our God is ever faithful. Laura, congratulations, dear. My heart is filled with joy. Andrew and Eva can't wait to see your babies. Oh, how are they? They are fine. They have gone to school. I thought as much. So when are you going to bring them here? It's been long I saw them. I will try to bring them by weekend. All right, that's fine. So when will be the naming ceremony? On Saturday. Okay, we will all be here on that day. Wow, I'll be glad to have you here on that day because it's going to be a big ceremony. We're going to be having a Thanksgiving service too on that day. So you are free to invite your friends and families to come and celebrate God's faithfulness in our lives. Great, we'll all be there. So your family members are yet to come, right? Yeah, my mom and my younger sister are on their way already. Wow, may God grant them Johnny Mercy. Amen, oh, thanks. Chai, I don't blue. Charlie, you are a sharp guy. Come on, sharp guy and no be thief. By the time I finish selling all these expensive jewelries, I will jet out of this country immediately. This woman is very wicked. She has so much wealth, yet she's paying me chicken change. I will teach her a lesson today, kid as woman. Let me call the cab immediately. I need to leave here quickly before this old witch returns. Gabriel, I am still searching for an apartment. Most of the tenants have already packed out. Are you serious? So where is the landlord now? The crazy man has gone to the village with his family. Hmm. That man is a disgrace to himself. How can someone be that reckless? I am not surprised, Gabriel, because ever since I have known that man called MD, he has been living an extravagant life. He kept notorious friends. His circle were a bunch of irresponsible gangsters. I only pity his innocent wife and his little son. I have no pity for him at all. Why will one pity that kind of person? It serves him right. You just try to get a house quickly before they demolish that place. Sure, I will put more effort on that. Hopefully by next week, you should be packing out of that house. Alright, that's fine. Now wow. Hi darling. Welcome. How is work today? I'm fine. I didn't go to work today. How are you doing, baby? I'm fine. Why didn't you go to work today? Hope no problem. No problem, dear. I had an appointment with someone today. And that's where I have been. Okay. A business appointment, I guess. Yeah. But this one is a spectacular one. Really? Yeah, baby. Can you guess what this business is all about? Hmm. I don't even know what to guess. Baby, please, can you tell me? I have just signed a multi-million naira contract with one of the biggest telecom companies in this state. Baby. This is my biggest achievement so far. This is a dream come true. Wow, I am speechless. So we are now millionaires. Oh yes, we are millionaires. Congratulations, darling. You see how God does his work. Last night, we were discussing about this house issue and how we're going to sort out things. Today, God surprised us with a financial breakthrough. Wow, I'm so proud of you, baby. Thank you, dear. So, I will speak with the house agent tomorrow. Hopefully before we can, we will move in into a new house. I may know. I can't wait to live here. Gabby, I really want to purchase that property. I think the bank are offering it for a cheap price. How much do they want to sell it? Just 2 million naira. 2 million? Yeah, a dilapidated house. How much do you expect them to sell it? Anyone buying that house will have to do a thorough renovation on it i just feel like buying it renovate it and then rent it out this is an opportunity to acquire property <laughs> so caleb you want to acquire your landlord's property this life no balance at all yes now that's one reason why i even want to buy the house because it was for my landlord do you know the kind of embarrassment and humiliation i faced in that house you know how many times that man insulted me because i was poor he even had the God to tell me that he would take my wife because I am not capable of taking care of her. Therefore, this is time I take this house because he is too stupid to be a house owner. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Caleb, please leave me. You and this your landlord. Hope after buying this house, he won't come back and start claiming it because it's now under Caleb's custody. I have heard lots of crazy things about that man. He can do such. He can't even try such. Unless... He wants to see himself inside prison. 
Caleb is now a boss man. A tenant is now a landlord to his landlord. So, Mr. Francis, I think I should give him a call so that he would come provide the documents you are talking about. Yeah, you have to call him because those documents are very important. All right, I will. So, when are we going to see again? Anytime he is around, just let me know. I will come down there to see you both. All right, fine. Have a nice day. Thanks, Mr. Caleb. Have a great day too. Flora, this Francis issue is the only secret I have kept away from my husband. And each time I remember it, it makes me feel guilty. I don't know how I'm going to tell him about it. I am scared if it will ruin my marriage. Flora, please advise me on what to do. Charity, you have to tell Caleb about this. As your husband, you must not keep any secret from him. If he later finds out about this elsewhere, the marriage you are protecting now might be at stake then. It is not a good idea to hide things from one spouse. Transparency is a vital one in marriage. Tell him and let him know about it. My husband and I will then take step into this matter and talk to him. All right. Thank you so much, Flora. You don't have to thank me, as I always say. All I am expecting from you is to be a changed person. No one is an island of wisdom. But if life teaches you a lesson, take correction and amend your ways. We are necessary. That is the true definition of perfection. Charity, I'm about to tell you a big secret about my marriage. And I want you to listen attentively. Alright, go ahead. I'm all ears. Charity, do you know that I and Gabriel had a lot of challenges in our marriage before we finally gave birth to these children? Few months after our wedding, my husband started experiencing low libido. It became so worse that it results into erectile dysfunction, thereby making conception difficult for me as a woman. My husband's mother and sister said so many demeaning words to me because of our childless state, but in all that, I remained silent and held my peace. Oh my God! So Flora, you went through all that and I didn't know. You don't have to know. And that's the reason why I'm telling you this story. You see, I could have voiced out and tell the whole world that the whole fault was from me, but from my husband. But that would have been the biggest mistake I would have done in my life. Charity, don't put your marriage out there for people to know everything that is happening between you and your husband. Okay, Flora, I won't. A lot of women make this mistake. And so many have lost their marriages because of this Marriage is between a man and a woman. Don't advertise your husband's weak points to others. It is only a foolish woman that does so. Had it been I told the old world about my husband's weakness, I might not be in this marriage till date and may not have received this wonderful blessing from God. A wise woman builds a home while a foolish woman tears apart us. Charity, a word is a norm for the wise. Thank you so much, Flora. I have really learned a lot from you. And I promise you that henceforth, I will be very reserved about my marriage and will never allow bitterness and frustration to control me again. So where is Cynthia now? I don't know and I don't care to know. I told her not to come close to me again. The last time she came, she was in tears telling me that her boyfriend has ruined her life. I wasn't even interested in what she wanted to say. So I shown her and asked her to leave my house oh no you shouldn't have done that anyway first thing tomorrow morning we would go check on her to see if she's fine <laughs> oh god please forgive me because i'm about to end my life i don't find any joy in this world again I know I have caused all this for myself. That is why I want to end my life myself. I have no money. Haven't even eaten for three days now. I can't keep begging for food. I have no roof over my head. My house rent has expired and I don't have money to renew it. I have no job, no husband. No child, not even the hope of being a mother again because the doctor has said I have damaged my womb. I cannot conceive again, Father, please forgive me for all the sins I have committed. 
most especially the seven precious lives that I've wasted. <laughs> I have lived a reckless life. I have to end it now. Cynthia, what are you doing here? I want to end my life. I'm tired of this life. Cynthia, please, I beg you, drop that cup down. Lucas, where did you get the money you used in cooking that soup you made today? It is the money I got from the firewood I sold at the market today. Lucas, you mean you entered into the bush to fetch firewood? Yes, I did that. Since there is no food in this house, what did you expect me to do? Or are we going to keep expecting village people to be feeding us? I have to look for a way to put food on our table. Yes, Daddy. Since you can't provide ordinary food for us, we have to look for a means to survive. If you see the kind of evil forest we entered to fetch that firewood, I even saw a ghost inside the bush. Eh? Tobu! Where did you see the ghost? Mommy, I saw the ghost with my spiritual eyes. He looked like my daddy a lot, so I assumed he was my late grandfather, and that was why I didn't shout. See, I will never allow these village people to feed me again. The fear of village people is the beginning of wisdom. I have to take precaution before someone would exchange one's destiny for a plate of abata. Chapu, shut up! <laughs> Charity and Flora, I'm totally confused. I have messed up my life. Imagine my stepbrother just gave me that money. It isn't up to a month yet. How do I tell him that I was duped by a man whom I called my fiance? My sibling whom he gave money to have all established something with theirs. I got the highest amount but I couldn't do anything with it. In fact, I'm still broke. Cynthia, please stop crying. It is not over yet. Where there is life, there is hope. I understand how you're feeling now. But please don't allow your past to define your future. Learn from the past. Pick up your pieces and forge ahead. To err is human and to forgive is divine. Please, don't take your life. You're still precious in the eyes of your maker. Please, be strong, my friend. All will be well. I am so sorry I abandoned you all this while. I never knew you were going through all this. Thanks to Flora who cajoled me here. Oh, had it been we didn't show up today. The devil is a liar. Cynthia, please don't ever attempt suicide again. You can count on us for support. Henceforth, this is whatever has happened in the past. Let's forget them all. The past is in the past. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friends. Flora, I'm so sorry for all I've done to you. I used to call you a barren witch. Now I am now barren too. Oh, life is not truly balanced. I mocked you and God has wiped away your shame. And I'm now the one bearing that reproach. Life has really taught me so many lessons. Do not mock anyone because of any condition they can't change themselves or else God might just put you into that same condition and you realize how painful it is. Indeed, karma is real. <laughs> you this criminal. You think you can steal from me and go scot-free? You must be joking. Now listen to me. Maybe you don't know me well let me briefly tell you amazing things about myself. I am a chief judge and a renowned politician in this country. I have never lost a court case, neither have I lost any battle. Over 1000 people are in jail in this country because of me and you sure gonna be joining them soon. Ah please, sorry madam. Don't send me to jail please. Instead, deport me back to my country. I am begging you. Shut up nigga. Next time don't cut me off that way, nuisance. Now listen to me, you are not going back to your country. You gonna rot in jail here. Please ma, I beg you don't send me to jail. Forgive me please, I won't steal from you again. If I am to release you, 
it's only gonna be on one condition. Okay, madam. Anything. Just say it. I will do it. Fascinating answer. You know the very first day I set my eyes on you nigga, I think I felt some spiritual connection between us. And as a lonely widow for 35 years now, I have been yearning to have a young blood like you to keep my weak bones warmed. And you know what? I want you to do that job for me. You gonna firstly denounced your citizenship from the country you came from. After that, we gonna head for a court wedding and finally you would become my baby boy for life. So you have the choice to choose between being in jail for the rest of your life, or being my baby boy for the rest of your life. Now nigga pick one option. Mommy, I missed you so much. I couldn't concentrate when we went back to school. I felt like running away from that school to go look for you. Me too, mom. I couldn't sleep well. Was dreaming about you almost every night. Mommy, please, don't abandon us again. Yes, mom. Please, whatever issue you and my dad have, please try and settle it. I don't want you out of this house again. All right, darlings. Firstly, I apologize for my absence in this house when you return for holiday. Secondly, your dad and I have resolved the issues we had, and I'm glad to tell you that. And now, best friends! Wow, good to hear that, mom. Yeah, we are now friends, and she's never leaving this house again. I am sorry for all those harsh words and strange attitudes that I displayed in the past. I promise it will never repeat itself again. Daddy is now a changed man, and your mom is the best woman on this head for me. Wow, kudos to you, mom. I'm so glad to hear this. Thank you, my angel. I am so glad to have you around me again. I pray God continue to preserve and protect this family. Amen to that. One more thing, kids. I am glad to announce to you that your mother is now an award-winning international chef. She has won several culinary competitions, and she is now a celebrity with her faces in magazines, newspapers, billboards, and many more. We now have a celebrity in our house. I am absolutely and I am totally mesmerized. Oh my goodness. Please, you guys should not kill me with laughter tonight. Young lady, please remind me your name again. I'm Cynthia, sir. So, Cynthia, you said you got my number from where? From a radio program, sir. I heard you saying you needed a wife for your father. Yes, I need a wife for my father. But I said I want a woman from 40 years and above. I am sure you are not up to 40, or are you? No, sir. I am 32. Oh, no. You are still very much young. My father is in his late 19s, and he's suffering from stroke. I just need someone who is just going to take care of him, like cook for him, wash his clothes, give him his drugs when necessary, clean him up when he messes himself up, and keep him company. You are a very young and beautiful lady. And I don't think you will agree to marry a man like my father. Don't worry, sir. I will marry him and I will do all that you have just mentioned. Yes, I agree to marry him. You are kidding me. Tell me you are joking. Cynthia, why will you agree to marry such an old man? And he is also sick too. Do you think it is an easy thing taking care of a sick person? Don't worry, my friends. I will marry him. I don't have any choice in life again. I've lost my womb. No young man will agree to marry me. Sister, will you stop saying such annoying thing to my hearing? Who told you that no one will marry you except a dying old man? The doctors that told you that your womb is damaged, are they God? Are they the one that gave you the womb in the first place? Why don't you talk to your creator and see what he can do about this? You better be careful so that you won't make another mistake. You will wake up one day to regret. Yes, Cynthia. I know you have to think twice on this. Come on, you are still young. I know you've made costly mistakes in your past, but I don't believe this is the destiny that God has written for you. God forbid. Cynthia, this is my father. As you can see, he is very weak and too old to do most things by himself. So henceforth, you will be the one taking care of him. I'll be paying you monthly for that, and if you do the job very well, then we, his children, will go pay your dowry so that you can fully become part of this family. Do you have any question? No question, sir. It's all right. Okay, that's good. Tomorrow, I'll be traveling back to the States 
where I stay. I have to go back as soon as possible to check on my kids. They are all there alone. I am a widower. I lost my wife some years ago and I have been the one taking care of my three beautiful daughters she gave me. Oh, so sad to hear that. Please take heart, sir. It is well. Thank you, Cynthia. So, anything you want, just let me know, okay? Okay, sir. I will. Good. For a start, I will be paying you 50,000 naira monthly. Is that okay by you? Okay, sir. Thanks. You are welcome. I will give your contact to all my siblings so that they can be keeping in touch with you too. My siblings and I all based abroad and that is why we want someone to be here taking care of our father. He refused staying abroad with us after all we did to convince him otherwise. So please, I beg you, take good care of him like your own father. And God Almighty shall reward you for your good deeds. It's alright, I promise to take good care of him. God bless you for that. Come, let me take you around so that you can get to know our house better. Sweetie, you are back. Welcome, dear. How was work today? I had a joyous and fantastic day at work today. Wow, baby, tell me more about this. I can perceive some good news. Spill it out. You never cease to amaze me with this your discerning spirit. Okay, it's a good news as you guessed. But this news is not just a good news, but a mind-blowing news. Then, I can't wait for my mind to get blown. Baby, please, blow my mind. Here's the mind-blowing news. This gentleman standing here has been promoted to be a bank manager. What? Oh my goodness. Congratulations, darling. Thanks, baby. Not only that I also got a multi-million naira contract, same today. This is a contract I've been seeking for years. Wow, this is incredible. Flora, you know what? We are giving birth to twins again. Now I have confirmed that superstition that says bearing twins brings multiple blessings. Not up to one month they came into our lives. Look at how everything is turning around for our good. Indeed, God's blessing is always perfect. Oh, yes. His blessings are wonderful indeed. Wow, this calls for celebration, baby. Mr. Francis, I have tried contacting the young man, but his mobile number isn't reachable. It's all right. You will have to get an affidavit in order to get those documents. Don't worry. We're going to help you fix that but you might spend some tokens on that. No problem, I just want us to conclude this as soon as possible. I know the crazy man that owns this house. Really? Yeah, the guy is a jerk. When he was applying for this loan, he came to meet me to assist him, and I was willing to help him until he showed me his high level of madness and stupidity. A babe I brought to my house, MD came in and snatched her away. Seriously? Oh, yes. He said the lady was his tenant, but I doubt it. That guy is a lunatic. He deserves whatever he is going through now. Charity, what are you doing here? Francis. What's going on here? Francis, do you know her? Charity, do you know him? Dr. Sanjombo. Mr. Caleb called me this morning. He asked me to come see him. Come see him where? In the city, of course. Hallelujah. Thank God, though. What is doing this one? Do you think you are going with me? I have already gone with you, Daddy. I am done staying in this village. Me too, MD. I am packing my bags this night. You can't go without us because we know you. If we allow you to travel back to the city alone, you will never come back to check on us in this village. Yes, yeah, so if we allow him travel alone, then, mommy, the both of us will grow old in this village. What am I even saying? Grow old? Hmm. If only village people will spare our lives in the next six months, this one that all these old village women have started looking at me with bad eye, I think it is high time who run away from this diabolic village. Charity, you shouldn't have hidden such from me. That's alright, I am very sorry for all that. Had it been I played my husband's role very well, you wouldn't have gone to him in the first place. I am sorry for letting you down. Caleb, you don't have to be sorry about this. I should be the one apologizing for having extramarital affair 
That's one of the biggest mistakes of my life. Each time I remember it, I feel heartbroken. Kelly, please forgive me. I will never cheat on you again. You make me laugh, dear. I have never condemned you for this. You know what? Let's forget about this. Let the past be in the past. Don't brood over this again, okay? I still love you regardless. And I will always be proud of you, my love. Caleb, I am just realizing that I married a perfect gentleman. Ow, oh, I am speechless. Thank you, my husband. I love you too and I am proud of you too. Charity, by next week, I'm going to give you a million naira. You use the money to shop whatever you and the kids need. I want you to also use that to take care of your physical appearance. I mean, giving your skin better treatment. Take good care of your hair as well and also change your wardrobe. Henceforth, anything you want, just let me know. As for the business you told me about, I have already rented a shop for you. And in no time, we will stock up that place. I don't want you to keep suffering again. This is the time for me to take good care of you and my children. Oh my goodness, Caleb. Ah, do I really deserve all this? I am mushy right now. Don't even know what to say. Caleb, God bless you. Cynthia, please stop crying. It is okay. It isn't your fault, dear. Mr. Oliver, my heart is so heavy right now. Why did Papa die now that I came? Why did he die under my care? Oh, no. I have not even stayed for a month. Oh, I missed him. He was such a gentle and simple man. I felt great peace living with him. It's okay, Cynthia. Please stop crying. He's gone. We can't bring him back again. My sibling and I know how much you have cried taking care of our father. We all saw the improvement on his health after you came. We understand it isn't your fault that he died. We believe his creator just decided to call him back. His time on this earth is up, so please don't blame yourself or feel bad about his death. All we pray for now is that God should grant his soul a peaceful rest. It is well, my dear. Please stop crying. It's all right. May he so rest in perfect peace. We will miss him. Sure, we will all miss him, but God will comfort us. It is well with us. Hey, baby boy, are you done cooking? Yes, ma. I am washing now. Hey, nigga, how many times have I warned you about addressing me as ma or madam? I have told you how to address me. Call me sweet baby, or better still baby girl. This should be the last time I am saying this. Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma. Sorry, sweet baby. I mean, baby girl. Oh, come on, baby boy. You have to feel free with your baby girl. I mean well for you, trust me, nigga. I have so many properties in this country. Yeah, your baby girl is rich, so relax and enjoy with me. I know you are sad cause you aren't going back to your country again. Come on, here is way more better than your country. Just remain here and keep pampering me your baby girl. Maybe anytime I too old to handle my business, you would become my heir apparent. Come on, smile for me nigga. Isn't that a wonderful privilege? Yes ma, sorry. Yes sweet baby. Dumb head. So you have to hurry up with the washing cause I need some romantic massage this morning. I kept some underwears in my bathroom. Take them and wash them too. Alright sweet baby. That's my cowboy. Cynthia, first of all, I want to thank you for all your support and contribution towards my father's burial. On behalf of all my family members, I am saying a very big thank you and God bless you. You are welcome, Mr. Oliver. God bless you too. It has been a wonderful experience living with this family. You are so accommodating with beautiful souls. God bless you all for the love you have shown me. Bless you too, my dear. I also want to thank you for how you took care of my daughters. In fact, I was so surprised how you easily connected with them. All the nannies, I got them here in this country. Those girls never got along with any of them. Guess what? They were even pleading to me last night to take you along with us to the States. Wow, I'm mushy. Your kids are so sweet. And it has been a great delight having them around me. Um, so they like me to that extent. Oh yes. Myself is even surprised about that. Since you are, you are a very nice person, I have studied you well and I found out that you are a simple woman with a very open heart. 
and I want to ask you this question. Okay, I'm ES. Since I love you so much, and I want you to be my wife and the stepmother to my girls, Cynthia, please will you marry me? MD, I want to say a very big thank you for what you did for my wife. I am just hearing about that incident. Thank you, MD. You are welcome, Mr. Caleb. I was very happy that I saved her that very day. Please take good care of her now that you are rich so that those sons of Pharaoh will not molest her again. It's all right. I will take care of her and I pray such incident never occur again. Thank you. So, Mr. Caleb, I heard you are the one that has bought my house. Yeah, I have bought the house and about renovating it. Hmm, Chai, MD, see the handwork of your village people. A tenant has bought his landlord's house, and now the landlord is homeless. Ewo, this life no balance at all. MD, you shall never be homeless. Please, don't say that again. Anyway, one of the reasons why I called you here is to tell you to bring back your family to the city. I will give you a flat for free after renovating the house and i'll also give you some money so that you and your wife can start up a business to ensure the upkeep of your family mr caleb god bless you you are a very kind man your pocket will never run dry mr caleb we don't deserve this you are a very nice man thank you for rescuing us from this abject poverty god bless you mr caleb I am also grateful, but I want you to do me a special favor. Okay, Jumbo, go ahead with your request. Mr. Caleb, please adopt me as your son. I just want you to be my foster father. So I will be among those to inherit your wealth. I just want to be hair apparent. That's all. Jumbo, will you shut up before I squeeze mineral salt out of you? go ahead and marry him since he already knows your predicament yet he insists you marry him yeah go ahead marry him yes Cynthia remember you said no young man would ever agree to marry you if he finds out you have a damaged room now this is a young man who already knows your predicament as Laura said and he still wants to marry you his family members and his children also like you so why the hesitation accept his proposal or isn't he a nice man? Mr. Oliver is a very nice and simple man, but I'm just considering the family and his children, expecting me to have a child for him in the future. Cynthia, you don't have to consider anything. Let faith determine the future. Our God is a master planner. His ways are not the same way with the ways of man. Cynthia, do you believe you can still conceive and give birth to a child? Flora, how is that possible? Tell me. Cynthia, what God cannot do does not exist. You know what? Let's suspend this discussion for now. Let's pray. All right. Let's all close our eyes in prayer. Our merciful and gracious Father in heaven, we thank you for and you are faithful. Oh no, what have I done to myself? I can't believe I am to live in servitude. For the rest of my life. I am sure this is the handwork of karma. Oh no, had I known, I wouldn't have lived a notorious life. Hmm, this is Nemesis dealing with me. Oh God, have mercy on me. Forgive me. This is a very severe punishment. I have lost total freedom. Hmm, how long will this be? How long? I'm fed up and tired. Oh God, please deliver me. Doctor, please, what is the result of the test? My wife's temperature keeps increasing daily. She feels this body weakness and she throws up regularly. I think she is suffering from typhoid. Yes, doctor. We really need to know what is the cause of this sickness so that we can start treating it immediately before it gets worse. Yes, doctor. We need to treat her as soon as possible because we will be traveling to the States in two weeks' time. Doctor, why haven't you said anything now? And why are you smiling? Please, can you see something? Mr. Oliver, your wife is three weeks pregnant. What? Please, come again. Are you joking or what? My wife is pregnant. How come? Doctor, please, if this is a joke, just stop it. How can you say I'm pregnant when you already told me that my womb is damaged? I won't be able to conceive. Doctor, what kind of joke is this? This is not a joke. I am very serious. 
That is what the test showed. I am shocked when I even saw the result. I don't even know how to explain this, but I strongly believe this is a miracle from God. Dokas, I am sorry for the way I insulted you in the past. I am still surprised that after all I did to you, you never abandoned me when life became hard. You stood by me, fed me, prayed for me, and supported me. Dokas, God bless you. I have just realized that true beauty isn't about having a pretty face or sexy body. Rather, it is having a pretty mind, a pretty heart, and a pretty soul. Dokas, you are the definition of true beauty. Please forgive me and I promise to treat you as a queen for the rest of my life. I love you, Dokas. All right, darling. I have forgiven you. And I want you to become a better man and live a responsible life. I love you to Andy. <coughs> I love what I am seeing and what I am hearing. But I want you guys to do me a favor. Since I was born and now I am getting old, I have never seen my mommy and daddy kiss before. Please. With all due respect, Mr. and Mrs. MD, can you both kiss yourself so that I rate your kissing? Darling, indeed what God cannot do does not exist. I never dreamt of this, but God has surprised me with his own wonder-working power. I have really learned so much about life and I will try to establish a program where I will be teaching young girls how to live right and the importance of being disciplined and focused in life. I will tell them not to go after material things because all that glitters are not good. Oh, I am very lucky one to have received mercy from God, despite all my past mistakes. Our God is a merciful God. God Almighty is a merciful and gracious God. May God bless my good friend, Charity and Flora, who God used as instrument for changing me into a better person. Also, may God bless you, my wonderful husband. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Oliver, thank you so much. I promise to love you till death do us part. I love you too, Cynthia. Thank you for accepting me. You're a very special person to me. And I promise to take care of you as long as I live. Flora, I want to thank you for all the love you have shown me. Ever since we got married, you endured and preserved so many things just to make this marriage work. I will never forget that in my entire life. The very first time I set my eyes on you, I knew you were going to be my soulmate. To me, you are the best woman in the whole world. Thank you for accepting to be my wife. I have never regretted that for one day. Thank you for all your prayers on my behalf. Thank you for always standing up for me when I needed you. If I'm to count my blessings, for, I will count you as my number one blessing. Thank you for also being a loving mother to our babies. God bless you abundantly, Flora. Amen. God bless you too, Gabriel. You are the best to me. Thank you for always being a gentleman and a nobleman. I've learned so many things from you. Your discipline, integrity, honesty, and openness make me fall in love with you every day of my life. Thank you for choosing me as your wife and a very big thank you for being a caring father to our children. May God continue to bless you and preserve you all the days of your life. I'm proud to be your wife. I love you, Gabriel. I love you too, my angel. Cindy, I want to apologize again for denigrating your career in the past. Indeed, life has taught me so many things. It has taught me not to look down on people because of their personality or profession. If I was told you would make such huge amount of money from your cooking career, I wouldn't have believed this. Imagine, you were still working as a salary henna. Maybe we might not be able to rise from the fall this family had. Now, I understand why it is very important for a man to be supportive of his wife's profession or career regardless the income she gets from the job. Hmm, that's true. Same with we ladies. As pals is, we should have each other's back. Yeah, exactly, my dear. Cindy, you have made me so proud. And some of my friends are jealous of me because I married a phenomenal woman like you. You are my perfect soulmate. God bless that young man, Caleb. It shall be well with him for the rest of his days. God bless you more abundantly, my love because you could have chosen not to come back to me or maybe walk out of this marriage and that would have been my doom. Thank you, Cindy, for your loving and compassionate heart. 
I promise to be a better husband and also support you in all your endeavors. I am proud of you, baby. I promise to be with you for the rest of my life. I love you too, Vincent. I am also proud to be your wife. You've proved to me what love should be. Imagine if I never had you at those moments when I was at the hospital battling with life. My life and well-being has been paramount to you despite all the ups and downs we had in this relationship. Your sacrificial spirit is one thing that made me walk back to you because it is very hard to find people like you out there. Thank you for being a good father to our kids. I love you, Vincent, and I never regretted marrying you. I love you too, Cindy. Charity, you said you got an email from Andrew School. Please, what is the email all about? That's what I'm about telling you now, but I'm glad you've asked. You remember the quiz competition I told you about the other time? Yes, I do. Are they doing another one? No, that very one they already did. Guess what? What should I guess? Andrew didn't participate, so why asking me to guess? He did. Yeah, your son went and he got the highest score. Apparently, there were over 20 schools and over 100 students that sat for that exam. And my own son came the fifth position and the winner. Oh my goodness! This is a mind-blowing news. But how did you register? Because I remember you asked me for money and I said I don't have. I managed to save 20,000 naira and I paid for his registration. I am so glad I did. Guess what again? He has been awarded with a scholarship from elementary school to his college education. He also got an endorsement with an NGO, which we are to sign by weekend. Oh my goodness. Charity, thank you so much. God bless you. Imagine if you never paid that money. These are all the good things we would have missed. You have always been a supportive wife, taking good care of my kids and supporting them in the academics. You are indeed my soulmate. Charity, if you weren't my wife, no one would have been. Imagine how you are training up my kids. I am very grateful to God for giving me a supportive wife like you. I promise you that I will always take on responsibilities and also do my best to make sure you and my kids are happy and living fine as well. I love you, Charity. Thank you for being my wife. Thank you for being my husband too. I couldn't have asked for a better husband. I promise to love you and make sure we live in peace and harmony for the rest of our lives. You are indeed my soulmate. I love you so much, Caleb. I love you so much. 